Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows on Herchanda, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows on Herchanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan, and I bring Spellbinders products here to Herchanda. Spellbinders are an American-based company and they have been in the industry for well over 15 years. Spellbinders have always brought us dyes with stunning detail, but today you will find tools, dyes and stamps within the Spellbinder range. What I love about Spellbinders is their partnership with licensed designers. This always keeps my creativity flowing. to inspire you with lots of hints and tips on how to use your Spellbinder products. So join us for the Spellbinder shows here on Achanda. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a channel because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a channel.
Hello there, good morning and welcome to a brand new hour, a brand new day here at Achanza. We've got a cracking day ahead of us and this hour we are dedicating to cricket because I don't know if you're aware but our machine of the month is the Cricket Maker, the ultimate cutting machine and the fabulous rose colour of the details on your screen as you can see. Now of course when we mention the name Cricket we instantly know we are in very good company and we've got fabulous wisdom and uh, creative knowledge from fabulous Emma Jewell. Good morning, how are you doing Emma? Hi, I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And I am looking forward to this ad because there's a lot of products that I've never come across before and I'm guessing brand new things from Cricket. Yeah, we've got some lovely new things to Hochanda, infusible ink, which is very exciting. Uh, lots of great things, very excited. I love it. Now, of course, I mentioned they're our machine of the month and we've been busy for this one already. Details are up on the screen. So, guys, if you have been thinking about getting hold of the Cricut Maker, now is the time to do it. You can see you've got the most incredible machine with that gorgeous rose gold finish. Have a look at that. How stylish is that? And, of course, it's not just about the looks. It's about what it does. Now, the Cricut Maker, I mean, this is one of the most popular ranges that we've got from the Cricut, isn't it, Emma? And why do people invest in this machine? Yes, this is the ultimate of the Cricut machines, and there's just so much we can do with it. So many different materials we can cut, more than any of the other Cricut machines. So you've got your thicker materials, any fabrics. You've also got that adaptive tool system that allows you to switch in different tools and blades depending on uh, what project you're making. I love it. Now, the details are on your screen, so if you do want to take advantage of this, you are saving £35 on this one. You've got your three flexi buys on this one. We have got extended delivery on it, but it's only the 15th of March, so not too long to wait. And if you have been doing your research, you will know what an amazing deal that is. And as I say, people taking advantage of that one already. 058209. Now, we are going to be concentrating on um, another bundle and other items from Cricut during this hour because we've got brand new to Hachanda products. So, Forgive me if we move on from this item, but the details are there, as you can see on your screen. Take advantage of that deal. As I say, do your research, but it's an amazing deal, and it's our machine of the month. So 058209 if you're wanting it. Now, the reason that I want to move on quickly is because we're going to be chatting about the Joy. Now, the Joy is the smallest. It's the latest addition to the Cricut range. And we have got the most amazing bundle here, obviously kicking things off with the machine itself. But then we've got some of these additional things that Emma has just mentioned to us. So the bundle on your screen, as you can see, £35 um, saving on this one, £229.94. Three flexi buys again, which means you can get everything on its way to you for just £76.65p. Delivered to your door if you are a Freedom member. Now, Emma, Fusible Inc., what is it? Tell me about it. <laughs> um, so it's a really cool material that instead of sitting on the surface of um, a, a fabric, it's going to actually infuse in. So it's scratch proof, it's not going to wear away because it actually becomes one with the fabric. So we can use this on lots of different compatible blanks uh, like tote bags, coasters, uh, there are also t-shirts and all sorts of other things. Um, and it, it's just so fabulous because it fuses in even to ceramic coasters, aluminium. So you're able to use it with lots of different mediums, um, but you haven't got that... Uh, <laughs> my, my it's sitting on the surface, isn't it? <laughs> it, it? Like you say, it becomes, it becomes part yes. of the element. Um, so it's not sitting on the surface. So I'm guessing that means that it's kind of protected. Do we, I mean, when we're working with toasters and things, do we need to varnish these or are these good to go? No, not at all. Um, as you'll see where the light shines on that, it's actually infused right into the ceramic. So it's not uh, anything that can wipe away but because it has become part of the glaze of the ceramic itself. So there is no need to seal it. I've actually had a couple of coasters I made last year sat in my garden all winter and they wow. still look absolutely stunning uh, because there is no way that that can come off. It can't wash off. You can't, you know, use your cleaning sprays or anything like that and take it off. It's actually infused into the glaze of the ceramic. 
And I must admit, I did have a look at some of the fabulous finished samples that you sent in to us. And it is, it is like it's actually in there. I, was, I kind of started off thinking, oh, is it a bit like screen printing? But it's not. Even with screen printing, it's kind of sitting on the surface. But this, you can see the fibres of the fabric there. It's actually gone into the fabric. It's not sitting on the surface. So, of course, you're not going to have that kind of friction where things are working away. You're not having to um, apply the heat in the same way as you might do with your um, fusible vinyls and things like that. So, it is one of the those things it becomes part of the actual element itself now the fabulous tote bags that we've got on the screen I'll be showing you these in a few moments but you can see here this is an amazing bundle you've got the the Cricut Joy which we will chat about in a few moments but you've not only got your machine you've got your carry case and then you've got these additional elements that things that you can start crafting with the moment this bundle arrives even down to your little coasters there and these are brilliant because they are all ready for you um, to, them to be accepting that fabulous um, ink and you can see it's ceramic coasters. How amazing is this one? Um, so 731945. The Joy. Let's have a very quick chat about the Joy as well, because, of course, that is a, a, one of the main features of this bundle. Emma, I mean, it's the, the latest addition to the Cricut range. Am I right with that? Yes. Uh, so it launched last March, so it's almost a year old, I think, oh. next week, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is exciting. And, yeah, it's the smallest of the Cricut machines, but um, don't let that put you off because it's it's incredibly mighty, we like to say. So you can cut up to 20 feet of in length of wow. material, which the other machines can't do. Um, there's just lots of different things you can cut without a mat with this one, which is the only one you can do that with. Fabulous. So although you've got that smaller width, you've got lots of length to work with as well. And I guess with that smaller size in the bag, you've got the portability aspect with this one. It's easier to move this one, I guess, from room to room. And when we do get back into our crafting workshops, then you can take this one with you as well. Love it. So 731945. We have got extended delivery with this one again, 15th of March. Um, but of course, definitely worth that wait. And again, we will look at that bundle in closer detail but I want to make sure we get to those demos nice and early now when you've been working with your projects um, and obviously you're creating your maybe your cut vinyls ready to go onto your projects and your fabrics then you need a way of um, applying these now I've got one of these and it's fabulous to work with it's a heat press now a heat press works so much better than working with your household iron for a whole number of different reasons but you can see we've got an amazing deal with regards to this one the deal on your screen is phenomenal because not only does it include, obviously, your easy press, the 9x9 version, but it's also including things like the machine mat, which many of us do add in after we've gone for this. So you're getting that all together. And then you are getting more of those fa fabulous elements that you can be able to work with alongside your joy. This is a lovely bundle and very good price with it as well, Emma. I mean, we're looking at some three flexi buys of £62.31. p. An amazing deal. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> um, and it's just such a fabulous thing to add to your craft collection and to accompany the machine. Because not only with your iron-ons, you're going to get that really great professional result. Also remember, infusible ink needs a higher temperature um, to be able to work. So you're not going to be able to do that with your home iron. So this is where the easy press is really going to come into play and make those projects really easy for you. Um, and of course, when you're applying that vinyl, you want to make sure that, that vinyl is applied. I mean, tiny elements like we can see on the T-shirt here. Um, if you're using a, a regular iron, moving that iron around, you can actually move those elements around. So by having that press there, you're literally pressing the heat into the surface um, and uh, yeah, getting those professional results. And I think that's what it's all about. You're getting the, the tote bag with this one. And of course, if you had gone for the joy that we were looking at a few moments ago, this is one of the ways that you could be working with it. Because again, that ink, that fusible ink, again, with the easy press going into the fibers you can see there how it becomes part of the the actual um, bag itself i mean this is professional results that we're looking at in our home here emma yes this is incredible like you know the way they work in a factory <laughs> yeah. and we're able to have this technology at home which is just incredible um, and how professional these projects look when i first used it i thought actual magic had happened and i hadn't <laughs> done it myself because it did look so professional you know the way it's completely gone into the fabric just doesn't feel like something you've crafted yourself it's really That's cool nice. um, so you know 
it, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite mind-blowing, really. It's phenomenal, it is. Now, we've brought the details up at the bottom of the screen because the Easy Press is available by itself. Now, tentatively, we bought those details because I don't actually want anybody to place their order for this by itself, and I'll explain why. Bottom of the screen, the details for your Easy Press. Now, that's just the Easy Press, which is phenomenal. I mean, it's an amazing deal, the price at the bottom of your screen. But you are getting your Easy Press, you're getting your cradle that it sits in. That's what you're getting for the price at the bottom of your screen. But look at the details on the side. For an extra £16.95, you are getting all of this. So you get your additional mat, and I'm sure the mat's about £30 by itself, if I remember rightly. Don't quote me. I'll £24.99, so I knew it was in the region of. So instantly you're saving with this bundle. But then you've got your additional um, fabulous vinyls, your smart iron-on, and you can see you're going to get those in a variety of different styles. So you're getting those. So you're getting six pieces there, as you can see. Well, actually, one of them is your transfer sheet, so that's going to help you position it. You get a project to start with straight away because you've got your tote bag included in here. And if you're a Freedom member, that means you are getting everything delivered to your door for £62.31, which is actually £7 more than the Flexi Buy for the, uh, the press by itself. So it doesn't make sense to go for this. So get rid of those details, bottom of the screen. Let's shoo them away. We don't want them because the details on your screen are the most economical and the most it's a fabulous way of getting hold of this because you will instantly want that mat. So straight away, the two together you are saving because you'd normally be paying £24.99 for this one. So it makes sense to go for it with the bundle that we've got on your screen there. Um, 476-480. Again, bear in mind, extended delivery 15th of March with regards to these. So, uh, yeah, if you wanted to take advantage, please do so. One more thing to share with you before we head over to Emma for a demonstration. And this is a lovely little additional bundle that you can get hold of, especially if you're going for the Joy today, or maybe you've already got the Joy and you're kind of a bit like me, you're intrigued by this infusible ink. Well, we've got a fabulous bundle for you. It's almost like a project bundle because you are going to get your coasters, so you can work with your coasters, as you can see here, but you're also getting some additional elements. So where should we start? Let's start with the pens. Infusible ink markers. Emma, are these for the joy and the joy specifically that's the first thing that i want to ask yes these are cricket joy size so um we have different size pens for joy than we do for the explore and the maker so those okay. pens won't fit explore and maker they're just for joy no that's fair i just want to make sure that because i know just in yeah. case people want to add those into your basket but these are incredible are they going to work in the same way as the ink we've been talking about Yes, so it comes in two types, either the pens and the sheets. So um, you've got a mix there uh, of pen. Those are yet yeah, pens. So we draw onto a paper. We either with our machine or by hand, and then we can transfer that onto our compatible blank. So hang on a minute. We could get the kids drawing. We could be doing Mother's yeah. Day, Father's <laughs> Day, grandparent gifts, birthday gifts, with kids sketches. They could be giving the giving them a pen, and they can draw something of their own design. Yes, I've actually got one here that my uh, one of my nieces did. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, this looks amazing. And when your niece's name, we need to give her a name check. Oh, uh, Hattie. Hattie. Oh, <laughs> what a three. fabulous name. Oh, Hattie, she you're an Hattie. artist. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i bet she loves coming around to auntie emma's <laughs> now oh, <yeah. laughs> again i'm guessing we can print on these as well because this unless you're a very very good artist i'm guessing that this has been done um printed yep so drawn with the machine and then um all we can color in and then remember some of those transfer sheets actually have a pattern which is what that one is so they have different patterns already on them now of course you are going to actually get the coasters in this set as well so it could be that you're creating with the pens that are included it could be that you're creating with the inks but you can be creating personalization and that is the key thing it gives you the control aspect for you to create in whichever way you choose and i think that's amazing so within this bundle just to reiterate all the elements that you're getting you're going to get those fabulous pens where you can do that sketch detail but apply it to your coasters again what an amazing technique can't wait to see this in action you're going to be getting your additional inks in here as well so if you have gone for the joy or you already have the joy then this is something you could be adding in and i know lots of people have invested in the joy already so that's not surprising that we are busy with regards to this one because just for 34 pounds and 95 pence you have the ability to try out the pens six pens in this bundle you have the ability to try out the fusible ink two sets of those as you can see within there and you've even got a project to get started with amazing value 
brilliant prize. And I would say, if you know somebody, maybe, I mean, Mother's Day is coming up. If your mum has got the Cricket Joy already, what an amazing gift. She might not have even seen this show. So this, I think, is a brilliant one for the price on your screen. Amazing. Um, at 111770. Just to reiterate, though, if you have got any of the other Cricket machines, the pens won't fit. It is a designed bundle, or the pens specifically, for the Cricket Joy. So just bear that in mind if you are taking advantage of this. But, of course, you could add it in alongside the bundle that we've been talking about with the Cricut Joy in it, which is at the bottom of your screen. And if you're spreading the cost of this alongside your machine, you're only talking about an extra, what, £12 a month, something like that? Not even that, to get hold of this in that bundle as well. 111770, we're going to leave those details with you. We're going to let Emma get herself ready for her demonstration because we want to learn more about this. But of course, Cricut is a huge brand here at Achanda and we have got loads of different things on the website with regards to the Cricut. So if you're wanting to shop and have a little look at the other things you've got that flexi order haven't you you could be added in additional bits and pieces add any of these in and you can spread the cost alongside anything else that you have gone for so if you've gone for the joy the joy bundle with the three payments you could be adding in some extra coasters there 12.99 you could add those in if you wanted to spread the cost and there you go you can see that easy press mat there you can order it by itself but please 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 do not go for the easy press and add that in the bundle that we've got that's already been put together is going to save you money instantly with regards to this. And if you do want to get hold of more of that infusible ink, which I can't wait to see in action, then you can see there we've got loads of different colours to choose from. Now, Emma, I cannot wait to see this in action. So over to you. Tell me all about it. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to use the pens to make a coaster. Um, so first up, I'm just going to pop the pen into the machine like we normally would. Um, so just take out the blade and I'm going to use one of the red pens from that bundle and just pop that in there. Um, now we can draw onto any paper. Um, the type of paper out of your printer is best, you know, like your laser copy paper is perfect for this. So all you want to do is cut a piece of um, that paper down to size and pop it on your mat and I'm going to load that into the machine. Oh, and do you know what? I've loaded that in upside down. Oh, that's, that's the new right <laughs> way around. Right, <laughs> I was doing it, doing it backwards. There we go. Let me get that out of there. There we go. <laughs> My brain definitely hasn't woken up yet today. Oh, that's okay. I the thing that I love as well, when you it kicked into action there, so quiet, that's the thing. I mean, it's so dinky, but like you said, don't underestimate the power of what you're going to be able to do with this one. I mean, you have got obviously the smaller area and it is going to sit beautifully. I mean, look at that. Hardly takes up any space at all. But as Emma said, you can use it um, to create so many amazing things. Obviously, the pen's going into play at the moment. Um, you've got the carriage there. Obviously, the blade is in at the moment. But open that up, pop the pen in there, and it turns into a totally different machine and uh, yeah that's the thing that um, Emma's showing us at the moment so um, is it, it, I can hear it drawing I can hear it sketching yeah. yeah it's in it's the right way round I'm gonna set it to go and we're gonna draw our design um, now oh do you know what Emma Jewel what are you doing today two seconds it's <laughs> I'm very just about early. to tell you something that I didn't actually even do myself here we go <laughs> let me start again <laughs> So what I was trying to tell you was that I had mirrored my design, so it was drawing it back to front. But then I looked at the screen and realised I hadn't actually clicked that button. So uh, let's start again. Okay. That's not, so it's in a, <laughs> similar, in a similar sort of way that when you're working with things like your heat vinyl and you, you're working with letters, you have to mirror that, don't you? Because when you apply it to your fabric, you kind of flip it over and iron it in place. So it's not something that uh, is completely alien to us, but it is very early in the morning, so you are very much forgiven for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yes, because we're gonna, and because I've got writing on this design, and I'm gonna flip it over. I need to make sure it's mirrored, as it's not gonna read uh, properly if I just okay. wrote it normally. Hopefully, that makes sense. It does. So I'll just select for the third time, <laughs> paper. There we go. Load into the machine, and let's click that go button, and actually get started with our drawing. That's okay. Fabulous. 
And just for anyone that's joined us, we're using these fabulous new fusible ink pens in the machine. So this is something that's um, quite new to us here at Achanda. Yeah, and it's so fabulous. It's a different way of um, working, but it's no different in um, ease to the way you would normally do your iron-on vinyls or anything like that. Um, remember, it comes in two different types, your pens and then the transfer sheets. And both of them, we just flip them over onto our compatible blank, heat it up, and then reveal, and the infusible ink is infused into the material, which is really cool. And you were talking about, um, obviously, while, the, while the, the machine, the Joy's doing its work there, the application, you need a higher temperature, which is why we have got the, the Yeast Press on with us as well today, because they do kind of work together, I'm guessing. Yes, exactly. You need um, minimum 195 degrees centigrade, but it tends to be nearer the 200, 205 uh, degrees. Um, so for that, your home iron just isn't going to get hot enough. And remember, normally when we talk about the Easy Press, we talk about how your home iron has uh, heat spots on it that are hotter and colder. Um, and what that means with infusible ink is it's going to be really patchy if you did even try it with an iron, which please don't. <laughs> Um, so with the easy press where you've got that constant heat over the whole plate um, you're going to make sure that every single piece of your project is pressed with the same temperature and the same pressure so you're going to get that lovely consistent color across uh, your whole project wonderful now the design that you're drawing at now is this a design that you've chosen um, from like a pre-designed one or is it something you created yourself um, this is a pre-designed design uh, from the Cricut Design Space Library. There's now over 170,000 images, hopefully I said that right, yeah, uh, in there. Uh, so there's so much to choose from. And so this is going to be a lovely uh, coaster with a flower that says, you are my sunshine, but already Aww. designed. So all I had to do was pop it in. But remember, you can design completely from scratch and you can upload your own design. So there's no limit. Uh, to what you could design or it's only your imagination is the limit here. I love it. And is it a similar sort of concept so as if you wanted to use two different colour pens or multiple pens in the same way as your vinyl? You kind of do each stage of them but I'm guessing on this one you don't remove the mat. Yeah, exactly. You would um, tell it you're using different colours on the on the design space software, so you would just change the colours, and then the machine will tell you when to change the different pens in. I'm just doing one pen here for ease, um, but yeah, if you were doing a multicoloured design, it will just do each section, and then you can switch in your pen, no need to eject anything. I love it. Now, we're very, very busy for the bundle where you have got the fusible ink and the marker pens, because of course, um, the Joy was a very popular machine when it was launched here at Achanda, so lots of people adding these in. Do bear in mind, you do need to have the Cricut Joy in order to work with these, because of course, the pens, they're a slender pen, so they're going to fit in that housing unit that you've got within your Joy. They're not going to be big enough to actually fit within, um, obviously, any other of the Cricut range. So this is the one that you need to make sure that you have got your Joy to work alongside these. Now, you might already have it, so what a minimal investment of trying out a brand new way of working with it for just £34.95. pence. You get your six pens, some amazing colours in there. You're also going to get your infusible ink, which, of course, we're going to learn more about as the hour progresses. And then, of course, you've got projects to get started with those fabulous coasters. It's £34.95. And if you do want to get hold of your joy, then we have got the availability of a fabulous bundle for you that you can take advantage of as well. And this is over three flexi buys, which means if you want to, you can add that additional bundle in that we've just been looking at and spread the cost of that as well. So if you've not got the joy, we still have got an amazing deal for you. And the deal is on your screen there, £229.94. It gets you your joy, it gets you a project to get started with, it gets you some of those pens, and it also gets you some of that fusible ink. But of course, these are different elements to the bundle that we just saw so it makes sense to go for both of them at the same time to extend your usability how are you getting on there emma yeah we've just finished drawing so Ooh, okay. i'll unload that from the mat um so if i hold that up you can see although oh, it's backwards wow. <laughs> you can see our lovely flower okay. and i'm just going to add a little bit more color in by hand because you can color in or just use them by hand if you want to so i'm just going to go in and add a little bit of yellow um, to the drawing Fabulous. and now the thing to note with these the pens and the sheets is that when you first when you use them they look quite dull in color mm -hmm. um, so this bright 
pink looks like a kind of burgundy. Nice. And when it's heated up, the true colour will come to life. So uh, don't think, oh, this looks horrible. <laughs> That's not what I thought my project would look like, uh, because I promise it will uh, come to life once it's heated up. And it's the same with the um, sheets, which I'll show you um, later in my second demo. They look, uh, you know, a lot more faded than they do on the packet, and you'll see that come to life later on. And I love this, because you don't so. have to apply one colour and then come back and add the additional colour, like you perhaps would do with your vinyl, which we accept, that's the way that it works. With this, you can apply all those different colours, you don't have to wait for anything to dry in between? No, not at all, no. And as well, um, what's quite cool is uh, we could draw this today and then not press it until next month. Um, oh, wow. There's no time limit on the, these pens. They're not going to uh, dry out and not be usable. So uh, if you have got nieces and you wanted to send them some pens to draw something and then they send it back to you and you press it, you could totally do that. There's no time I limit, which that. is fine. And just to reiterate, for anybody that's joining us, because quite often people will join us about half past seven in the morning, is the pens that are doing the magic work. The paper is just regular paper that we'd use with our, our printers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally regular paper. Just yeah, literally, I just stole this out of my home printer, so nothing <laughs> special here. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so I'm just going to cut around my design, and just to make it a bit easier to manage. And now I'm going to stick this down onto my ceramic coaster. So I'm going face down onto the coaster. Okay. Um, I've already prepared some heat resistant tape. Um. Obviously, because we're going under the easy press, we don't want to use anything uh, too hot. Oh, no. Oh, I'm you not quite sure what I'm happened back. there. Oh, oh, she's back. She's I back in the room. I had a moment there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not sure what I think. I had a, had a, decided it needed a break. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's turned the kettle on. That's it. Your Wi-Fi's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just taping this all the way around just to make sure it stays in place whilst we press. Wonderful. Now, um, talking of pressing, we brought the details back up on the screen. So if you are wanting to go for the Easy Press, um, we have got a bundle which I'll share with you in a few moments. But of course, it's the Easy Press that's got that higher temperature that Emma spoke of. It's an amazing deal that we've got with regards to the Easy Press here. So you'd normally be paying, is it £166 for the. 169.99 for the easy press by itself but what you're actually getting with the bundle on the screen there for a little bit more you are getting it's an extra 16.95 you're getting the easy press mat you're getting the machine obviously that you're going to invest in but then you've got the additional elements so you've got projects to get started with it works out an extra seven pounds a month on those three flexi buys so it does really make sense to actually go for those to be honest if you're going for the easy press alongside obviously the infusible inks then go for it this way don't go for the machine by itself because it doesn't make sense. You're going to get all those additional elements there for that extra £16 or so. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, how are we doing, Emma? Fabulous. We have um, stuck our design onto our coaster. And now you can see I've set up my Easy Press mat and I've set it up a little bit differently to normal with iron on. Um, and all I've done is protect my mat with a couple of pieces of paper or card, whatever you fancy. And then over the top of my coaster, I'm popping a piece of uh, what Cricut called butcher paper, but here in the UK, it's just baking parchment, baking paper. So oh, right, um, okay. a piece of that over the top. And then we're going to go down with our easy press. Um, and I'm going to click go. Um, and the reason to protect um, both the easy press and the mat is that the infusible ink turns into a gas. Uh, to work so it turns into a gas and then it infuses into um, in our case the ceramic coaster here okay uh, so you don't want any of that gas getting onto your mat or onto your plate because when you press the next time uh, that the same kind of shadow of your previous project will then uh, infuse itself onto your next Makes project sense. Uh, so you just want to make sure that you protect that it's and we'll like see that your happen on the butch it's a bit like cleaning Sorry. your rubber stamps, really, isn't it? You don't want that impression to go on to your next project. So, yeah, it makes sense. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you just want to make sure. And you really want to make sure you've got a nice firm surface to do this on. You want it to be as flat as possible. Um, if you've got a nice firm surface, the weight of the press is enough. Uh, for me, I've got a trestle table, which is a little bit dodgy. So I'm just giving a firm press down myself just to help that. But no, I'm not moving the press at all. You mm -hmm. don't want to move it in any way because you can get a slight ghosting if you do that. Okay. Um, yeah kind of a 3D looking effect uh, yeah. where you've moved it slightly. So just make sure you're getting that really nice, firm, flat press. And that's something that I find instantly by using the Easy Press. I mean, I use it obviously with my heat vinyls. And if you're using an iron, you instantly want to move the iron around because that's kind of the way that we work with an iron. When we're ironing our clothes, we move an iron from side to side. And of course, that can have a detrimental effect when you've got something underneath it because that will move as well. So as soon as you're using the Easy Press, you kind of place it down as Emma said that. It's almost like a, a comforting feel. You just hold on to it um, and it's just doing its work. Now, with regards to the actual settings, where do we learn about the settings that we need to use with the infusible inks? Yeah, so if you search the Cricut Heat Guide in your favourite search engine, um, it will pop up and you'll be able to say, oh, that was good timing, just finished. <laughs> and you'll be able to say, I'm using the Easy Press with, um, and you can be really specific and say, I'm using the infusible ink markers with the ceramic coaster, and it will tell you the exact time and temperature uh, that you need for that project. And you can do that with your iron-on projects as well. So whatever medium you're working with there, with the Easy Press, double check it, and it will tell you the exact time and temperature Fabulous. to pop in. Oh, let's have a look. What have you created? Ooh. Let's see. So it's going to be very hot. Now, normally, if you're doing this at home, obviously, don't touch it for okay. a good 15 minutes. Um, I've got asbestos hands, so okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to peel away uh, that uh, heat transfer tape so that we can reveal our design. Carefully peel that back. So you're kind of peeling it as, oh, I can see that it's just coming away as a whole piece. Yes. So that just peels back. And in some cases, you'll see that the colour is completely drained away from your original piece. Now I'm going to try and sticky, hold this up. And you've got your sticky tape, obviously, that you applied that, that paper to beforehand. So you've got to remove that as well. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yes. Yeah. So that I, I realise it's off centre, but... <laughs> I kind of <laughs> like that. Would have paid more attention. That's uh, okay. But you can see how different the colours are. So that first one, it was really burgundy and dark, and now we're getting the same colour as the marker told us it would Perfect. be originally. So that's what I mean when you, you know, you get these pens out and you start drawing in their burgundy, and you think this isn't burgundy. Then when you apply the heat, that lovely colour is going to come through, and you're going to get that beautiful, beautiful coaster. And that's completely scratch resistant. Um, I actually use one of these <laughs> uh, to paint my nails. So I use it like to hold uh, like a blob of nail varnish whilst I'm, you know, doing nail art a bit. And yeah. then obviously wiping it off with the nail varnish remover. I actually have this one here. Um, and as you can see, uh, I mean, I use, every two weeks I do my nails. And this oh, is wow. still... Uh, Beautiful. I wipe this, yeah. So <laughs> that hasn't had any effects at all. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Now, me, me being a frugal crafter, and you're probably going to guess what I'm going to ask, when you actually peel that um, piece back, there's still a lot of colour on there. Could we reuse that at all? Or is it a case of that it's just a, a one hit with it? Um, you you sh might be able to get a little bit of colour out of this. It okay. might be a bit fainter than that there. Um, so it's worth a try. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, but it might sense. not be as bold because there's not as much ink left in the yes. paper. Makes sense. Makes sense. Emma, thank you so much. Now, we're going to learn more from Emma as the hour progresses, because, of course, we've been talking about the pens, which I will show you again in a few moments. But, of course, the benefit is that you've got those fusible inks as well. So we'll learn more about those as we're working with Emma. These are some of the coasters that you could be creating if you are going for the bundle that we've got on the screen. Um, oh, no, actually, no, it's the one at the bottom of your screen.
Or is it? No, hang on. No, that's the one with the square coasters. But yeah, this just it reiterates the bundle with the joy itself. You're going to get your round coasters. So these are coasters that have been printed using that infusible ink. Obviously, Emma has just been showing us using the pens, which is another way you could work with these. But these are the round coasters. So the round coasters are included with the bundle that's on your screen. The square ones are at the bottom of your screen. And of course, if you wanted to go for the square ones, you could do reiterate just was um, as Emma was doing there using those pens, drawing your design with these and getting some absolutely amazing results. Now, they don't have to be designs that they've been drawn, um, drawn with using the Cricut Joy. Um, it could be something that um, the children have, have sketched down as well. So imagine creating things like that that the kids could have done. Love it. But one thing you need to make sure is you've got the application method. As Emma said there, you need to have that temperature. Your household iron is not going to be hot enough for you to activate those inks, for them to do what they need to do for those inks to penetrate and go into the project that you're working on, whether it's fabric at the back of us or whether it's those fabulous ceramic coasters. And you can imagine the quality of the ink to actually go into the ceramics of those tiles. Phenomenal. So the deal on your screen, that's what we've got with the Easy Press. Now, if you've not already invested in the Easy Press, I can highly recommend it. I have got one of these and it's brilliant for applying my heat transferable vinyl. But of course, now we've got even more things we can use it for. Beauty is, it's a good size. So you've got your nine by nine. Now, if you do want to go for a different size we have got another one that's available on the website but this one is the most affordable bundle and it's brilliant value for money so you've got your nine by nine your machine and the cradle that is what you would usually be getting that's what you'd normally get in your bundle that's it nothing else but the deal on your screen is an amazing deal where you are paying around 16 pounds more but you are getting so much more than just the machine you're getting the mat now the mat you'd normally be paying 24 pounds and 99 pence the reason you need your mat is because it's got that fabulous uh, coating on there. You can see there it's almost got a sparkle in the fabric and it's got that gorgeous foam in there that's going to give you the support that you need. The idea is, as you can see there, that is going to sit that side down so that's going to go down onto your area because when you are pressing, you're not pressing into the cradle. The cradle is going to support and protect your surface underneath. It's got those little aeration holes in there. Is that a word? I don't know, I've just made it up. Um, there, you've got that there so you're not going to have the heat going through and hitting your table. But when you actually come to a Apply your heat vinyl or your fusible ink, as Emma just showed us, you're going to use that mat. So you instantly, if you're going for one of these, you'd be wanting to get hold of one of those mats for $24.99, but not in the bundle. You're not paying $24.99, you're just paying an extra £16. So you're going to get that in there. You're also going to get projects to work with. So as we move over to the other side, you're going to get straight away, you've got your transfer paper, which we'll learn about in a few moments from Emma, but you're also getting your fusible, um, or your smart iron on, should I say, with this one, not your ink, you're getting your um, iron on with this one. This is specially sized to work with the joy, so they're the narrower rolls because obviously the throat area that you've got on your joy is smaller. So the joy is at the bottom. If you've already got the joy, then this is a brilliant addition to work with um, alongside it. So you're going to get your vinyl and your transfer um, tape. You're also going to get a project. Now, your project is going to be this fabulous little tote bag, but you could take that vinyl, you can apply it um, on if you're wanting to, and there you go, you've got your project. But if you have got the additional bundle with the inks in there and the pens, you could actually be printing your design. So this is where those fusible inks have penetrated the fibres of the bag and actually become a part of the bag. It's not sitting on the surface, it is there within it. There's no scratch cheese surface on there that I can pick out and pull away it is a part of that fabric and that means it could be going onto a t-shirt it could be going onto the bags it could be going onto your ceramics as we've seen as well it's down to the technology of that fusible ink isn't it when you're working with that bundle so if you're wanting your easy press for the temperature that you need to work with the fusible ink then the details are on your screen there at 476480 so lots to share with you during this hour as well we've got a little bundle as well so if you have already got your joy do consider getting hold of this because I think it's going to be a really interesting one for you to work with so this one is going to be perfect for you to do just as Emma has been showing us so if you've already got your joy then obviously you don't need to buy another one because this is going to work alongside it so you've got your markers now these are the markers you can see in your six different colors brilliant range of colors with these that you're going to be able to use freehand if you want so you could be sketching with these you could be tracing out designs if you wanted to the kids could be making up their own designs or you could be using the designs from design space and actually drawing them out yourself 
Um, then you've got your fusible inks. Now your fusible inks, we've not seen these in action, but we will do. And this is where, again, you can take those designs and uh, create those fabulous images that um, we're going to be able to see from Emma in a few moments. So I'm um, looking forward to learning about these. But then a project, you've got your project to start with. You've got your fabulous coasters, and these are corkback coasters, really good size that are going to work alongside all of those elements that we've been speaking of. They've got like a coated surface where those inks are going to penetrate in and give you the most incredible results. So whether you're taking designs from the design space or whether you're creating freehand, taking those designs into your, um, obviously your design space when you're working with it, using the pens. The pens come with these as well. Again, you could be sketching out those designs, creating your own designs and applying them to your coasters for just £34.95. It is proven to be a very popular bundle. Now, if you do want to get hold of it, just be aware you have got extended delivery of the 15th of March with regards to this one. But the moment it arrives, you are going to be able to have so much fun. In fact, you could be designing before it arrives and then the minute it hits your doormat, then you can get straight in there and create those love it um uh, 111 is the item number for you to get hold of your bundle so there you go if you want an app pop it into your basket now don't forget jumping onto the website you'll see everything cricket is a huge brand here at chanda and our brand section is always open so you can go in and have a little look there and see all the different products now of course from time to time we do see our lovely emma i think she's here a couple of times a month i think it is i'll check with her in a moment um and she comes and she educates us and shows us about all these wonderful products so if you need anything in addition like a new cutting mat then you can get hold of those and of course you've got fabulous fabrics and you've got your sports flex for you to iron onto your sport and um, t-shirts and your, your jogging bottoms and your lycra things that I heard people wear and they go running in the street and they do all sorts of things. I just look out the window to be honest and watch them. Um, so uh, yeah, all of those are available on the website. Now our machine of the month though, this is an amazing deal for you. We are looking at the ultimate cutting machine with your rose colour. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this. It's like a metallic rose absolutely gorgeous as you can see there very stylish look to it as you can see it just looks amazing and it is an amazing deal that you've got you're saving 35 pounds on your monthly mega deal three flexi buys there of 115 pounds gives you the ability to work with the two cutting units that you've got here one for your accessories one for your blades and it's also coming with your rotary blade so if you do want to cut your fabrics you can do that with it as well and of course it comes with the mat full warranty all the instructions that you need and of course the knowledge that lovely emma is joining us um, on a regular basis now we're going to go back over to emma um and uh, emma is it once a month twice a month that you join us here at a chander now um, a bit of both, sometimes twice, <laughs> twice a month this month, I'll be back in two weeks, uh, but Fabulous. sometimes once. <laughs> I love it. And of course, we can find you on social media. So if any of our viewers um, need to, any advice or anything like that, they can find you. Um, what's your, your Facebook page? Um, yep, so I have a Facebook group called The Cricket Club. Uh, you can find me there or at Emma Jewel Crafts across the internet. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, open to any questions that you've got to ask me. I love it. Now, of course, um, we're, we've been working with the Joy that fabulous infusible ink. We've probably got about 12 minutes or so left, Emma. So we're going to come back to you. Um, did you want to tell us about the infusible ink this time? Yes, let's do the transfer sheets instead of the pens. Uh, so I've got this lovely kind of patterned sheet, which is one of the ones in one of the bundles there. And I'm going to pop that face up onto the mat. Um, so pop it down on there. Um, I've already prepared my design. And I'm going to pop this in. And you can see I've got the blade in the machine this time. So we're going to cut the sheet into our design. There we go. Joy's just checking it had the right amount of material there. And I'll click go and set that to work cutting. So I've told it that I'm cutting an infusible ink sheet so it knows the exact depth to pop the blade. There's no settings or anything for me to set there. And now it's off on its way, uh, cutting out our lovely design. Now, remember, like I said uh, earlier, you'll see that the colour here is quite different to the colour on the packet. Yeah, I know um, it's on the back of the gonna packet. it's going to brighten up. And on the back of the packet, yeah. it kind of talks about the before and after on there. I noticed that earlier. Yes. 
uh, because it can be a bit confusing when you get you get something out, especially some of the darker colours. Uh, like black will come out as a brown sheet, and then uh, when once you heat it up, it's going to turn black. Uh, and lots of our sheets, they look quite dull in colour, quite sad, and then when applied, they're going to come out and be beautiful and bright and stunning. So um, if you're a bit confused when you get out of the pack and think, oh no, it's gone off or something, it hasn't. Uh, it just needs the heat to be applied, and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison at the end so you can see how bright that colour comes out. Love it. Now, Emma, excuse me for jumping in, but this is I'm doing a, a public service announcement here, just while the, the joy is cutting out. Somebody has added in one of the Easy Presses by itself into the shopping basket. I'm hoping that you haven't checked your basket out yet. Don't go for it. I know that sounds the wrong thing to say. I mean, do go for it, but not in the format that you've been looking at because you are buying just the machine by itself. You're not getting the additional mat. You're getting the machine in the cradle and you are paying, was it 169? Uh, um, £159.95, that's what you're paying for that. But for an extra £16 or so, you are going to get the additional bundle where you're going to get the, the mat that you'd normally pay £24.99 for, um, for and the additional element. So if you are that person adding the easy press in by itself, please just check your details. I'm sure you've done it by accident because you wouldn't knowingly go for that deal by itself, would you? So just be aware, we have to establish prices here at Achanda. So that's why it's available by itself. But please, anybody watching, you don't buy it that way buy it within the bundle you're getting better value for money sorry emma i just needed to let somebody know that because uh, you'd be really disappointed wouldn't you if you expecting everything to come and you were paying that higher price so yeah so how are we doing is it still busy cutting we are still busy cutting we are about 70 percent through so we're not far away okay um, and now Now's a good time for me to mention that Infusible Link works best with the compatible blanks that Cricut have made. So okay. uh, these do come in quite a wide range. I know on the show today we've got uh, tote bags and coasters. Um, and these are either a high polymer or high polyester content. And that's what makes Infusible Ink work. If you go and pop it onto um, a, a cotton uh bag for example you're going to get really poor color and um, it's going to wash out quite quickly so just make sure that you've got um, a compatible blank to do it without you're going to be quite disappointed okay just want to make that clear wonderful um and any, almost, uh, any tips for getting the most out of um obviously the film that you're cutting from um with the infusible ink on there because obviously again frugal crafters we like to maximize the area that we've got so any top tips yeah, you can move everything around on your mat screen on Cricut Design Space. You can make sure you're using everything. Um, you'll see me in a minute cut around my design as well because I can pop that sheet, parts of the sheet, back into the machine uh, to be used another time. Um, and I have a, a thing of scraps, and I like to use um, paper punches sometimes. That's uh, a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So I can use them sometimes. I put them on sleeves or like on collars, any bits and bobs, but. It, you know, teeny tiny parts where I can't be <laughs> bothered to put them back through the machine. I can just use a punch yes, and so that works quite well too. So don't throw anything away. And those are the kind of pieces yeah. that you could give to the kids to play with as well because they'll have loads of fun, won't they, with those little scraps? Exactly. Um, so I'm just going to trim around my design now. And we, with Infusible Ink, we do something called cracking. So we just roll it between our fingers, and you can hear, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> this cracking noise. Ooh. And that's helping us to weave um, all of the pieces away. Uh, because it's it's strange. It's kind of a, a card consistency um, in Infusible Ink sheets. Um, so when you first get out, it's it's quite different to iron-on. Okay. Um, in texture, uh, it's quite thick. So is it sticky but, on the back? No. Okay. Um, the, the sheet that holds it has a bit of tack to it. Right. Um, but this just feels like a card with like a shiny backing. That's okay. all that feels like. Yeah. Fair enough. So peel away. And then where you've done that cracking, you can easily just flick out your pieces. I don't often use my weeding tool with Infusible Ink because it's just so easy to pick out the bits um, by hand, but by all means, if you feel you need um, the weeding tool to help you, you can use that too, okay. just to get into all of the parts. So we just pick away everything, it's 
set for our design. So we're going to leave our design on the mat, on the piece. And just while Emma's doing that, shall I um, show you a couple of examples of what you could be creating, just as Emma's taking those elements out. I mean, we are coming towards the end of the show, so I just want to maximise the time that we've got with you. So this is a design that was created in a similar way to how Emma has been creating her designs. But you can see that it's actually a part of the fabric. This is the amazing thing. It hasn't seeped through, so it's, it's kind of protected the layers that are underneath. You can go, as you can see there, it's, it's sitting there, but it's not sitting on the surface. You can actually see the fibres of of the fabric coming through the design so with your heat transferable vinyl obviously that sits on the top the adhesive on the back is heated up and it fuses on top of your project but this has become a part of um, the actual bag itself so uh, it's such a clever clever idea I love it absolutely amazing um, and of course you are getting some of that fabulous fusible ink and when I say fusible ink it makes it sound like it's an ink cartridge I don't want anybody to get confused you're actually buying kind of a, an infused sheet I suppose the ink has been infused onto the sheet that you are then die cutting out using you, your Cricut Joy and then applying it to your final project. Emma, how are you getting on over there? Fabulous. So I've weeded my design. Um, that's all done. Now I've set up my easy press mat, a couple of sheets of card again, and then I've got a tote bag. Unfortunately, a different size to your tote bag, but it's exactly the same uh, thing. Okay. And I'm going to pop my design down onto here. And then again, cover with that sheet of butcher paper, the baking parchment. And this actually comes in the packet with your infusible ink oh, transfer right. sheet. Okay. So um, you know that you've got that. And the important thing when we're using the easy press is that the press plate is bigger than your infusible ink design. With infusible ink, we can only press it once. We can't do lots of different sections. Uh, because even the tiniest bit of movement will make it look like it hasn't joined up. Um, so just make sure that your design is smaller than your press plate. So I've okay. gone for something seven inches to go underneath my nine inch plate. Okay. So we're going to pop this over the top. Press go. Uh, this is a short press this time, just 40 seconds for the bag. Okay. Um, whereas um, my ceramic was a little bit longer. And you're talking about the design um, not being bigger than the easy press, but what if you had several designs? Say if you had got different um, sheets of your infusible ink, could you come back and add elements to it? Yeah, that's totally fine. Or what we like to do is transfer everything onto one sheet if we can. Uh, so we can move those pieces and that tacky backing will hold everything in place. Then we can just press in one go. Makes but yeah, sense. you can come back and press a few times. Wonderful. I love it. And of course, don't forget, um, visit the Cricut website and you'll be able to find all the settings that you need for your Easy Press. We have got an amazing deal for your Easy Press as well. So if you are wanting to take advantage, the details are up on your screen. And this is an amazing deal because you're going to get the fabulous easy press with the cradle with all the additional bits and pieces that you can see around it three flexi buys are just 62 pounds and 31 pence i'm listening out to hear a little beep with regards to the easy press that emma's working with because we, <laughs> we are down to the last kind of three and a half minutes of the hour has it beeped yes it did it it was quiet today <laughs> <laughs> um, so all done so now i'm going to peel off my piece First of all, you'll see that that piece has completely lost colour now because okay. that's infused into my bag. And if I turn this around, oh, wow. um, you'll see that fabulous bright colour. So you'll really see the difference um, between that original sheet yes. um, and then now we've got that super bright, lovely colour and that's completely infused in there. So there's no way I can scratch that off because it's in the actual fabric. Um, and that's that. ready to go, ready to wear, and ready to wash. Well, talk as well, about washing. I mean, anything that we need to know? I mean, do you have to turn things inside out? Is it certain temperatures? Uh, what do we need to know about maintenance afterwards? Um, just like with iron-on, um, go go easy on tumble drying temperature, so go a little bit lower. But apart from that, you're good to use as normal. Fabulous. Um, and I want to just show you that I didn't put anything inside to protect the inside of my bag, but you can see it hasn't seeped all the way through. through so um, I haven't got anything on the back or anything. It's all Just very on the front exciting. Barrel, I love it. 
How amazing. Oh, my goodness. My mind has gone into overdrive now of all the different possibilities. <laughs> and using up those little tiny areas, that's another thing. I mean, I'm so pleased that you can punch them out and, and cut and, and do other things that you're wanting to maximise it. So it's not that you're throwing a lot away after you've created your design. So um, absolutely amazing. Um, Emma, um, it's phenomenal. I mean, you must have had so much fun working with these fabulous um, fusible ink um, sheets. Yes, I mean, well, as you can see with the samples we sent, and I've got loads of stuff here, uh, it just makes such professional things, which I love, and it just still wows me. I mean, uh, this came out maybe a year and a half ago, so for a while now I've been using it, and it's still every time I'm like, what? I made that. It doesn't, like, what? <laughs> you know, it's crazy. That's what I love about it, is it still shocks me every time that... I did that. <laughs> well, this is the thing that's amazing. Now, can I just ask, obviously you were using those, um, heat, um, the infusible ink sheets on fabric there. Can we use them on coasters in the same way as we saw with the pens? Yes, exactly. They both work either way. Um, so, yeah, that is actually, uh, the hello there is uh, a sheet cut out and then the leaves behind are the pens. So you've got oh, both on okay. your project there. I love it. And you yeah. can get, I mean, I love this with the coffee beans. I mean, that's very apt, isn't it, for your coaster? Love it. Yeah. And then personalization. <laughs> oh, the letter E. I wonder who that could be for. Do you know, actually, that's from my garden. And I was looking for that all weekend, thinking, where have I put that? It oh. turns out. I'll let you, <laughs> so I've got it. <laughs> I've got it here, Emma. I've got it here. We'll look after it. We'll get it back to you. Um, now, talking about getting back to you, you're back with us at 11 o'clock, um, a little bit later on. Um, is it 11? No, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yes. Yeah. Don't tune in at 11. You'll be too late. Um, and you're teaming up with Yanis. Fabulous. Yeah, well, I have lots of lots more infusible ink uh, makes them too. Well, I will warn you, this is going to blow his mind. He's going to absolutely love what you've brought to us. So thank you again, Emma. I'm going to say goodbye to you for the time being. Um, but, yeah, everybody tune back in at 10 o'clock. Anything in your baskets, please do check your baskets out. What a phenomenal deal they've been bringing to you during this hour. I'm going to see you a little bit later on. So it's 8 o'clock, so of course it's time for us to look at the one-day special. I cannot wait. The Studio Light, Just Lou Butterfly Collection, beautiful. Then I'm back with Janie a little bit later on, and then we're back with Emma at 10. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples, and I've been crafting since I was a little girl, and I have a massive passion for anything crafty-related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town. Um, it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows on Achanda and have some fun. from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda.
exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate. Um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. I've been looking forward to this. Good morning, everybody. A warm welcome to Hochanda. So our first look at the one-day special today, the beautiful release by the exceptionally talented Lou Withers. It is Just Lou, brought to you from Studio Lights. Uh, let me introduce you to the lady of the moment. It is our lovely Lou. Lou. Hey, I'm here. Yay. I'm Lou, here. Is this your Goodness. third release? Yeah, it is. Third one. Third release. Yeah. I'm so glad that you are now releasing your own designs because you've got such a big following yep. out there. You're very talented you and much. everything you design, you kind of design it from the perspective of what you'd like to work with. And Absolutely. if you have fun with it, odds are we're going to be having fun with it Absolutely. too. Absolutely. I love to do research and I love to sort of, I'm very much followed by trends and, and yeah. not followed, but I, I follow trends and stuff. And then you see things happening and then you, you plan it at six months in advance and you, you think when it comes to release, Oh, I hope you still like it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's so far in advance. But I don't think anyone's offended by butterflies and dragonflies. No. I'm you've not. Given us, well, you've given us such, I have to say, every aspect of this release I like. Now, um, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to start by showing you the one-day special. There are two options there. If you like what you see, just hold back a moment because then there is a complete collection. Now, within that complete collection, you can buy the elements individually. So. What we're going to do, we thought the best way to show you everything, we'll have a look at the one day special, the two options. We'll go through all the individual options uh, and then we'll just anything you see, just wait until I tell you about the complete collection because the price on the complete collection is exceptional. All the savings will be carried across into that complete collection. But if you're a Freedom member, that complete collection is where most of you have been going. It's really good value for money. Should we start with the one-day special, yep. Lou? Because this is beautiful. So uh, two different options here. We'll start at the top. Uh, top option, this is your butterfly and poppy. So tell me a little bit about this, Lou. Well, this is uh, very much looking under oh, the microscope at the wings and yeah. the formation in the wings and the wing patterns of... Uh, and very much driven by patterns and I also do a lot of patterning at the moment as well so this is very much it you can moodle and doodle in this one so bit of moodling yeah. and doodling yeah you know, we love it yeah it's so the the pattern always sort of then goes into the stamps or yeah. vice versa so that you can see the elements like the marigold fits really well with the the round stencil oh. and then these are all um, hand-drawn um, and there's a sort of hybrids, yeah. a sort of take two butterflies and maybe like, I like that bit yeah, and that yeah. bit. 
um, and then the like a, die cuts are off. Scientists creating your absolutely. Uh, the best Al it's a bit more than alchemy, but yeah. yeah. And then die cuts in plants, and um, almost the, the bobbly one is a spore. Oh, okay. Oh. And it very much, it's like mag magnified and it's, it's oh, from the so legs, cool. the legs you know of it. It's really interesting. Actually, it's a privilege to chat to Lou and hear her mindset and how much thought goes into... Mm. This isn't just like zapped up, like, oh, I'll just do this, I'll do this for the sake of it. The thought, and when Lou was talking about the fact, we, the theme being the butterflies and the poppies, but magnifying it, so you've got the sort of magnification of the detail of the butterfly wings here. The dyes are stunning, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful style, uh, dyes. And then we've got the stamps, and then we've got more stamps coming through. That in itself, you've got me, Lou. Right, already you have me, but as I say, please, 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 if you're looking at this now and you think I'm going to go for it, just just hold back a moment. When I finally get to the complete collection, that's where I would be at home, and you'll see why when I get there. So do, do wait. Uh, okay, so um, and actually, we're already getting big for the complete. So that's your first option, the one day special. If we come down here, we've got another. Ooh, ooh. Hey, that was good. There. Another option. I didn't realize <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> With big hands. Uh, so here we're looking at the dragonfly and the peacock. Oh, the butterfly, sorry, dragonfly and the peacock. Yeah. Again, talk to us a little bit about this. Well, now. the stencil's made to go on the new die cut, and ah. the die cut is a butterfly journal. And then we've got this wonderful... Now, these are the little tiny hairs on, um, on a moth or yeah, yeah. a moss back or, or a uh, anything like caterpillar. So uh -huh. these also look like flowers or um, the Japanese... Um, Plants that they do. Oh, uh, ginseng. No, not ginseng. It's ginseng, but there is a Japanese plant. And okay. then the die cuts again are all sort of mirrored with flowers. That you've got um, layers of flowers. That's you've got a background, dye. foreground, and then you've got some some of the shapes that I've drawn yeah. on stylized flowers, so uh -huh. that you've got something a little bit different. And then the stamps. You've That's got a moth funny. there, the atlas yeah. moth. So Moths are beautiful. They are stunning. They are stunning, and it's uh, like butterflies. See, mo moths get a bit of a bad rap. They do. You say butterflies, everyone's like, oh, we love butterflies. Say moths, like, Ugh. Well, that particular one, when you see it, it's about a foot, maybe two foot big. What? Yeah, and, and the edges of the wings where it curls over, rep uh, they foot look... Foot long? Yeah. Moth? Absolutely. And they look like snakes, the, the edges so of the wings, so that it scares, uh, scares the predators. But they're really, really amazing. clever. Sounds like something from uh, Godzilla. But All they right. are really massive. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do. Just give me the uh, details of the uh, one day special. So that's your second option. So you're picking uh, either option there. You are saving five pounds on each option, 24 96 your price. So if you go for the complete, the five pound saving here, the five pound saving here will be factored in. So that's 10 pounds there. We've got the details for the complete at the bottom of your screen, and I know I've, I'm going to be going through the individual options. At the moment now, and it was exactly the same way yesterday, everyone was going for the complete. All I will say, and I know I haven't got to the complete yet, is it's a why not deal, and it's something we talk a lot about here at Ho-Chanda. You're better off becoming a Freedom member. I'm, try I'm not trying to upsell Freedom membership to you. I'm trying to save you money. So as a Freedom member, you'll cover your Freedom membership. You get your postage included, and you get an additional saving. So uh, if you do want to become a Freedom member, it's worth it to go for that complete. You'll save money. And then all I would say is at the end of the month, if you don't want to complete your, uh, if you want to continue your Freedom membership, then just opt out. But you do need to opt out. Right, we're going to continue along. There's a lot to see here. And I know you want to obviously watch Lou in action with the collection. So. Top two dies here, they did sell individually, not once, twice. Uh, they are back for a third time, but they are busy. So if you want to go for those. Uh, oh, we sold out. That's it. Sorry, they're not back for a third time. I apologize. Uh, but we'll just show you. That was uh, the price individually, £4. You cannot get it individually anymore. You can only get these as part of the complete. Let me show you, though. Where are we? <laughs> Where is it? I had it. Here we go. They're my favourite. I've got to say, these are some of my favourites. Oh, come on. Look at that. Because the, the little swiggly lines are so good yeah. for everything in your journaling. But the butterflies, you can use the back or front. That is a really nice set. Now, you can only get these as part of the complete. So let's add another £4 to our tally. So £10 from the one-day special, £4 here. Uh, coming down, we've got some more beautiful stencils. And you're also getting that, oh, that die as well. Look at that. So what would we make him with the die, Lou? The die itself is, was made for me. It's a journal cover spine. So what it does is you make, that's the spine. Yeah. 
um, and then the squares are the journal pages, so it all fits together. Yeah. But you can make it as big or as little. And I prefer to use. Edges, yeah. Oh. I use prefer to use uh, square. Okay. So I've got a little book that later on I'm going to show, but yeah, they make fantastic so books. Journal die, yep. and you've got uh, four stencils there, which are just, Lou, your stencils are amazing, and I kind of, I've got a lot of admiration for your mixed media. You can do, look, you can do it all, but mixed media is a real passion of yours, and you can see with the designs it and the stencils, mixed yeah. media. That's your journal die, so you're getting your journal die, and uh, you're also getting the stencils. So five pounds saving there, adding to that, we're up to 19 pounds. Now, as we continue our journey, look at these rice papers. They are beautiful. These and beautiful. Just fit with the theme so wonderfully. Yeah, and we've got Mrs. Com um, I was getting, we've got like a, an entomologist and stuff on there, like a Victorian one. We've got different ty uh, types of butterflies and plants that go with them. And I used little bits of it last night. Not all of it. You don't need all of it. Just little bits will do. Yeah. Um, and even my scruffy scribbles go quite well with it as well on the sides, yeah. but there's not anything on there that's wasted, nothing The at tone, all. the balance, every aspect of these. Now you are getting six rice papers and you're also getting four A4 double-sided papers as well. So we've got our moss, our butterflies in there. Absolutely, oh wait till you see this next one. Each one is stunning. Come on, look at that. That is... That is screaming to be used on a project. Well, that's just, I mean, you could just bit, put uh, that down and uh, that's it, done, isn't it, really? I hadn't even read that bit with The Secret Garden and instantly it comes yeah. up uh, conversations of instant, uh, The Secret Garden. Okay, so those are your rice papers. We've also got our double-sided papers as well. These are pared down a little bit because we've got so much detail in everything else. It's just more or less a, quite a neutral background. It's and nice. I think sometimes you need that. Yeah. Well, I... And, it's another reflection of just how much thought you've put into everything that you're bringing I'm very here. lucky. I work with Angela, the designer, and she's very, very talented. Yeah. And between the two of us, we sort of oh, we, we understand each it. other. And Lou, that's great for photographing on that. When you consider the papers and the rice papers, uh, the cardstock, I should say, and the rice papers, so we're saving another three pounds here. We're up to 21 pounds saving. Uh, 21 or 22? 22, I apologize. Oh, I'm so glad the Katie, our producer's on hand. My <laughs> math has already failed me. Um, I was getting blasé there. So uh, 11 dollars if you want to get these individually, saving three pounds, but wait, everything I'm showing you individually is in the complete collection. Where are we up to? So we look, ooh. We got some more stencils and dies at the bottom. We'll just have a little look. Uh, I'm fearing I'm gonna knock everything down here. So just having a little look there. Oh no, okay. Got a little example here. So the stencils are amazing in this collection. Have a look at this die. Because, Lou, you've been clever with this. Now, have you paired this with the yep. other journal? The, the journal? stencil. Yeah. The stencil fits the die over the top and the other two layers as well. So within the die, you've got three layers that all sort of wow. um, fit into each other. And then the stencil fits on every one of them. But the actual here to create this album, yep. is that from, that's from, from the, the journal yeah, die? From my journal die, yeah. So now that's clever. A butterfly journal. You make great mobiles as oh, well. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a good shell. Another five pound saving. So we're up to 27 pounds. Uh, there's still a couple more things to share with you. So we're having a look here. Uh, this is really nice way to add a bit of con uh, context yeah, to a piece. It is, and and the book is one of my favourite books because yeah. it's actually got a, most of the stuff I'd use in this, regardless because it just fits so well yeah. with everything in it. Um, and this is a lot of these I've written, handwritten, which they said mm -hmm. that you know I hope they're not too scruffy. So we've got our die cut blocks in here. You've got your two chipboard sheets as well. Um, wow. 59 pieces in total when you consider all these elements that we're getting yeah. imagination will take you everywhere it's very true oh i love that love what you do do what you love create so all these little elements hey darling uh i, don't know, I, just, I really like those and here's this should i have a flick through this the book's really nice because the, the pop out elements are so you could just use them anywhere on your scrapbooking, everything. I think they've been really nice, these, really clever. Yeah. Uh, I really like this one. And they've That's got... Nice. Um, oh, someone's turned that around. Really nice go. big butterflies as well, like these. Oh, yeah. 
and they're right. easy to pop out really really easy to pop out two yeah. sheets of them all okay. um, so that's another two pound yeah. saving so we're up to 29 pounds saving um, I did talk about a complete collection so we showed you everything individually if you were to go for the complete collection so you get both options of the one day special everything else that I've shown you what you see in front of me right here is the complete collection. Well, there we go. Oh, look at that. So that's uh, the complete collection. That's the saving is £29 factored in. So that's already taken off your price. And then you're saving a further £20 in there. But if you're a Freedom member, you're actually saving a further £29.77. Uh, so it's 10% extra. So that is a total saving of £58.77. But the salient point I want to take to you from this is first become a Freedom member. You've still got access to the three flexi payments as a Freedom member. You'll be saving money. And of course, as a Freedom member, your PMP is included. So you can factor that into your decision. But secondly, how about this? Now, we did the maths. And I've got to thank my producer, Katie, for this because she, she broke down. She's very intelligent and she's a savvy shopper. And she said to me, look, if you factor in everything that you're getting there, and what I like about Katie, she included, so when we talk about the rice papers, well, we broke everything down to how many elements you're getting. So we, we counted 24, but we didn't count each individual rice paper sheet or the paper. We, we broke those up. So one, uh, we counted all the rice papers as one. The papers is another option. So that's 24 elements. Then if you factor it in that way, it works out at £3.67 per element. So let's think about this. The journal die that you're seeing here, £3.67. Each of the stencils, £3.67. The stamps that you're seeing, how about look, look at the stamps here, £3.67 per stamp. That die set, £3.60, you get the idea. Look, £3.67 per element I is think, ridiculous. I think you can really break that down and think, right, well, how much is that a day? I can put 50p or a pound a day in and you more than covered it yeah, yeah, yeah. or even every other day and I think if, if you do it like that it really makes sense can I afford it can I mm. and that way it, to me it's it, you really can go for it we're over 60 percent of the stock we are very busy and one, once we start playing with this you're going to appreciate just how good these are for me what's really standing out the dies are do you know so much and I, I kind of turn into a viewer as well and a crafter this set, when I came out, genuinely, I was looking at this and I was excited. And it's the kind of thing I think would excite you, because looking at all the stamps, I would absolutely want to use these stamps. Then you look at the dies, and you look at the stencils are incredible for mixed media, absolutely incredible. I want to get some texture praise through them, I want yeah. to spritz on them, uh, do all your different techniques with the uh, stencils. Then you look at the rice papers, the papers, the chipboard, the, you've got uh, more dies, the journal die. There is just so much going on in this set to get you excited. Do not pay full price. I want everybody to become a Freedom member. You will save money that way. Uh, and your first flexi payment, 29.32. Look at what you are getting. It's the first of three payments, but for under 30 pounds today, you get the complete collection sent out to you. Everything here. I think enough from me. We're going to head to Lou for a play. If you do have any questions, by the way, do get in touch. Studio at hochanda.com. But this, the complete collection, is an amazing deal. An amazing deal, Lou. I've really loved doing this. It's a bit of a labour of love. I mean, just to show you, I've, you sort of get carried away with doing colouring in, and everybody loves colouring in. Yeah. And I think this is—it's been a real, a real new surge of people colouring in. So when I got this, I, I spent hours just going really oh. mindfully colouring them in. Can you give so us a little you, peek at your book, Lou. Just yeah, I'm, just, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it looks amazing. Um, this is just um, the stencil that I did with, on brown paper in, with coloured pa uh, coloured pencils. Not expensive coloured, I'm going to bring them to you, but yeah. just to show you this. And then that one, and it's followed by, so... Oh, wh wow. So Ooh. this is a pattern on its own. I you love put that. like a flower in the middle or just, I mean, even That'd that. That'd be good for under the sea. Yeah, absolutely, you see, because a lot yeah. of this could be transferred to coral and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I've done that, but they've also then, I wanted to show you that, uh, you know, the, the butterfly on brown. Oh, you oh. You can make it as nice, colourful as Lou. you want. That is, that is stunning. 
and there's some behind me as well and yeah, yeah. you can put gems and jewels on if you want and I've put the, some on the wall behind me just so you can see you don't have to have them mm. on a card you could put them they're on the edge of the shelf oh, you could have nice. these hung up on the wall you could just put this in a little square frame yeah. and that's it done yeah, so yeah. if What's, you've got um, a room you can yeah. just ch uh, tailor them to that color sorry the page there is yeah that, no, just just there Oh yeah. yeah. What can we see that? Oh right, of course, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the marigold, and I used my souffle pens. And yeah. souffle pens have got this white, wonderful white, um, not white, sort of light colour to them when they dry. So I'd go over with a black pen then. But just to show you, you can use your pen. That's just a white pen going over the dragonfly stamp. So we've got these stamps in the collection. Yeah, these They're are stunning. all in them. They're stunning. These Ooh, are all in that. them. Looks so good. And then. In the next respect, you could just do a watercolour with it. Um, and all I've done, that's pencil crayons. So it's just pencil crayons. And then it, there's a couple half done to show you. And then this is how they start. So we've got midway and then how they start. Oh, Lou. So I'm going to go through that at some point. Lou. I'm going to make a little card first. Like yeah, them. let's do it. But I really everything. like them myself. You know, sometimes with a complete collection, and it's natural that there's certain elements that actually jump out to you that you Absolutely. love more, maybe more than others. I know, yeah. Where, and when we were prepping for this show, so we also have a production meeting in the morning, and I was going through the complete collection, I didn't have a favorite, I loved it all. And I, I was looking at one thing and I was thinking, well, I, I really like the stamps, I mm. love the stencils, and then I came on, I like these uh, dies, love the papers, like there, everything here. I, I love. Yeah. There's nothing that there's nothing where I just love this and the other ones. Mm, okay. There, there's no dodgy bits. No. Well, and really I'll totally Not that I say there ever is, but instinctively, normally when we get a big bundle, yeah, there are there items is. you go to first, of course there and is. the others you kind of leave maybe to a bit later. Yeah, absolutely. And I can't find favourites for this yeah. at all, and that's why I like it because it's. There's something for everybody, but you, there's not going to be any dodgy bits that right. you're not going to look at. Well, you would never bring us any dodgy bits. Well, no, but you know what I mean. There's something. Yeah. It's like when you buy a collection of anything, you'll buy, use something more than others. Yeah. So what I've done is I've got a piece of uh, craft card. Okay. Uh, I love craft card. I've just yeah. been drawn to it. And I've got um, pearl card. I think okay. it's pink frog. Yeah, and it's about, yeah, it's about five... Six, six inches square and I just okay. thought I'd make a really nice watercolour card sure. but with a bit of a difference so yeah. it's a pearl card and then I've just made a layer just mm -hmm. a thin layer on black and that's five five and a half and then brown at five so mm -hmm. I've just got a nice matte layer and yeah. that gives me a nice sort of contrast of colours as well. You've opened up my eyes Lou so craft card and I, I I don't know at home if you do the same. I tend to go through periods yep. crafting. And at the moment now, with regard to uh, cardstock, I do a lot of white emboss on, yep. on craft card. Absolutely. Which I love. You've opened up my eyes to colour. I'm going to get my pencils out because just seeing you colouring in the moth onto craft card looks incredible. And pencils. I don't, I've got these bronze and eels and I've got the expensive ones, but mm. I can honestly tell you I'm ab super impressed with them. And we've got these coming up, you're yep, saying? Yeah, I brought them not long ago and I'm bringing them again. Okay. Um, I'm super impressed with them. Right, I'm using a VersaClair mm -hmm. just to show you how detailed they are. Now, if you're not into this colour, You've got two sides of this, so you can always go turn it over and use yeah. a grey one. So what I'm going to do is just, I don't need to press too many times with this because the detail's so fine. So I'm happy nice. with that black colour because yeah. it's, it's bright enough. Like and that? Yeah, it's dark enough. Now what I'm going to do is clean it up. Okay. I didn't clean, clean it like properly then. So I'm just going to go like that. Well, you've done such a lovely, lovely job designing these stamps. I really like them though, I really, you know, this, like you've just said, your favourites, mm. I haven't got one. I, seriously, <laughs> I, I love, have not got one. Do you know what my favourite is the complete collection? Yeah, That's I it. like I that. I love everything. And I'm not, um, and any regular viewers, genuinely, I know we're a shopping TV channel, but I always like to think I'm honest in uh, what I convey my, my sentiments. And genuine, I'm not just saying this for the camera. And I'm sure you agree with me though as we're looking through, I love everything. They are really, this is the kind of collection that I would get excited getting at home and having a play. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we, we've got to be careful. We can't sort of show too much. But mm -hmm. everybody's been saying, oh, I hope it's this, I hope it's that. And I'm thinking, 
oh, it's butterflies. I hope everybody still likes butterflies. And then I thought, yeah. like butterflies, everybody loves butterflies. How can you not like them? But so it's butterflies yeah. with the Lou Withers twist because you're bringing your own personality and the fact that with the stencils we've got that kind of m microscopic view, that cellular view of the wings and you just put so much thought into this. I think, um, I think when people know where your ideas are coming from, they understand it more because if you just look at something and think, oh, that's a load of nice circles, well, that doesn't really say much, but when you say, oh, those circles are from the wings, ah, I get it, I get it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's what I like to do, is make sure it's like all connected, because right. I don't want it all disjointed. Yeah. So what I've done is I've just done it on craft card, I've done yeah. it in black, I've got a smudge there, but who cares? Right. I'll put my dragonfly on that. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got some paints. I'm using the studio light paints. Now, I'm just going to use a blue, and it's so quick and easy to do this. I'll just put the blues down to show you. I'm going to zoom it up a bit with um, a little bit of green as well, dark okay. blue, so just to show you. Because you're using black ink with a dark card, you need to have a, a contrast of light and dark. So yeah. just to show you that all I'm doing is I'm putting dots in the middle. Right. Seriously, hard work that. Seriously not. And then just bring it out a little bit and then okay. water it down and what you can do is just you need to do this a couple of times and it is really quick to do don't be tempted to start coloring coloring them in just yet you need to sort of just put this as get a, a bit of color down yeah you need to put like a foundation down and mm. um, so that it's got like a, something to sit on and yeah. then you do this uh, get bit. your pads out get your uh, pills ready and all that for it it was funny you, you talk about that it's similar to makeup um chris our director was saying he's getting into contouring oh yeah yeah and it's Is a it? similar similar sort of pro uh, process he's doing it well chris yeah. i need some lessons then do mate. you know the key and he was telling me this because you wouldn't know the key is not to notice it it's that's trying it. to be subtle so it looks natural that's that's the whole yeah. point isn't it less yeah. is more and now well i've put, started to put some dark on now uh -huh. even darker now you might think well but it's dark card why would you want even darker than that because you want this huge contrast between very light and very dark because this is your mid-tone so again i'm just adding because there'll all be different colors um even hydrangeas you get yeah. different blues or depending on the soil as well so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a pearl and I'm going to use a white pearl and I'm just going to mix a tiny bit with the blue because I don't want it too white yeah. because it will really stand out on this. Yeah. So I'm just toning it down and I'm just going to put it oh, yeah. on the edge. Now it mm. sinks right into the card yeah. so that instead of it looking white you've got like a hint, a shimmer or a shimmer. Uh -huh. um, the shimmy shimmer. A shimmy shimmer. And, and it's hard to see like this, but it, it is there. I think people are tempted when they get to this point to think, oh, it needs more. No, it, no, it, do it really doesn't, because when I hold that up to the light, you will see how different that looks. Mm. So what you do need to have is a white pen. Okay. And you need some pearls, um, if you want to use pearls or little gems. And then this is when it just comes to, comes to life after this. Yeah. So take your time, use any colour you want. Mm -hmm. You can go lighter with your pen and um, with your, your paint, sorry, and do light blues, or you can go darker. But at first, don't use too much of the white because it, you want to leave that to your pen mm -hmm. and um, the, the decoration. So I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. I mean, you can just see now, I'll wob wobble it. You can just Ooh, yes. see it's quite, it's not too iridescent, but that'll catch the light nicely. Lou, you have mastered the crafty wiggle. Wiggle. I'm getting um, there and I'm wiggling it just uh, a little bit. You've got a lovely email in, by the way. Oh, have I? Uh, this is from, is it from Joe? Joe. Uh, so Joe's just saying it's lovely to see you back in the studio. Oh, thanks, Joe. It is Joe. lovely to have you back in the studio. And she's also saying that you're inspirational and that she couldn't resist going for the complete collection. For the oh, unique well, she won't be up, you won't be upset, Joe. Right. And anyone really else, won't. thank you yeah. for all your support and, and your emails. I've got such lovely messages. I do appreciate it. And you yeah. won't be upset. 
You'll like these, honestly. When you get it home, and I can't wait to see what you make. Joe, two things. Please um, post anything you make in Crafting with Hochanda. We've got our own group on Facebook. But also, do join um, Junk Journaling and Mindful Mixed Media. And that goes out to everybody, actually. It's such a fantastic group. Blue set up, and it's a really nice safe space for everybody to enjoy their crafting. Good vibes there. So, junk journaling and mindful mixed media. How many um, followers are you up to? 14. 14,000? 14, yeah, for, well, 14,100. Uh, wow. I've got another group now, which yeah. is part of it called Mindful Moodling. Okay. And no, this sorry. is this is where we do there, yeah, and um, nice. I've trademarked it, so it's, it's now my company. Well, wow, it's a great name. Yeah. Moodle means. Um, to do something aimlessly, yeah. so to mindfully do it, it mindful means to mindfully mindful. take time. So I've added Moodle and Doodle to make Moodle. It's nice juxt juxtaposition. Absolutely, mm. yeah. So what I've done now is I've just got a white pen, and all I want to do is just, and you'll see, I think Liz has done one or Rachel, we're just bringing some light to it, because yeah. this just gives it airiness. And it sounds daft, but you just randomly put your dots there. Yeah. And it just creates like a halo around it. Um, it looks better on the screen than it does, because I can't really see it here. But you could just see now how that yeah, creates yeah, like so. a shimmer. And it's almost like you can see the pollen and stuff. Um, so you do that. Then, once yeah. you've got enough, uh -huh. you can start to just put some little lines in. Now, this is what I meant about having... It's got to be dry, though, so... Some of these aren't too dry. When it's dry, you'll be able to just put some nice white lines on yeah, and yeah. they'll really bring it up. But when it's wet, or even just dots on the, uh, on yeah. the tips there, and then that Ooh. seems to wake... I don't know what it is. What it, is life? Is that a highlight? It just... I don't know what it is, but it sort of it makes it look... To me, it makes it a bit magical. Well, cause it, it's like it's capturing the light. Absolutely. And then, you know, to just... If you want to, you don't have to do this. You can get your, um, because it's wet, it may not stick. Just put oh, that's nice. one or two of these. Little now, gems, yeah. that to me is such a pretty card. And, nice but it's, it's, it's also grungy as well because it's on brown. Yeah. You've not got that, you know, that sort of it's feel not... of it being pure white and yeah. clean. It's sort of still got the grungy element. Uh -huh. And then if you've got a black pen, right. it's nice to make it even darker, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm not going to do them all because that's so boring watching me do that. But yeah. I'm going to get a black pen now, and this is about the light and the dark again. Oh, You're okay. going now to so the opposite. Pen, yeah. yeah, both uh, these. This one is glaze, and that's a souffle. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is you can just around it if it works. Yeah. Come on, you've got to coax these. You do some bigger dots um. just here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, I see what you mean. And that just really brings it. So we've got the light mm -hmm. and the dark. Do you know, by adding the white and the black pen at the end, it's like you're bringing the image into focus. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it just, it's quite magical. And I think this is so easy. Anybody can do it because there's no great shakes, but it's mm -hmm. having that knowledge of, oh, yeah, if we put light and dark on a mead, on a neutral background, mm. it really does work. So I'm quite happy with that. What yeah. you could do mm -hmm. is you could come in with one of these. Uh, let's just imagine, or something like that. I don't know. Oh, one of these as well. We've yeah. got... We've got a die-cut block. Yeah, you've got, like, the sayings in here. All these die-cuts. Stop and look around. You see, I quite like something inconspicuous like that. But if you have got a little piece of um, craft card left that you want... I've nice. pulled the wrong one out. Um, say you want a little board around this you can easily do that so i've got this here okay. now you can cool. go for these individually and we've got those at the bottom of your screen so you're getting your die cut block and your two chipboard sheets so um, over 80 percent of the stock has gone individually so a lot of you enjoy getting them individually but they are included in the complete collection as well now i'm not if, if you wanted to it'd look nice on um, a piece of black card this or white not white sorry a black card but it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to stick it on that because I don't care. But what you will, will, it's best if you do do, is just around it, do your little dots, and you can just give it like an air of, 
I think it just makes it look magical and a little bit of black around the edge there. Yeah. So we've got that, just that tiny bit. Stop and then when you that. start to, everything needs to dry. And I mean, I'm gluing stuff on wet paper, so it might flick off. It Hopefully it won't flick off at home. Mm -hmm. But if I'm just going to put this on here now, and I think that is the sort of card that people can make and batch make yeah. and sell. They, you know, that could be for any occasion male or female and then you'd have it a bit straighter than that look at that it's like i've been on b right and you can just oh no not with them just here finish it with if you want you don't have to do this but you could put a line of them if you want i mean that's way too many it's like a dog's dinner that right i'm putting three on and then three at the top because yeah. three's the number that you've got in art. Three's and um, what is it? Even numbers don't really go in no, art. It's the odd numbers that. Yeah. yeah. It's right. apparently the brain. When it comes to uh, odd numbers, our brain reflect oh, it works crime. better with the brain. And that's not phrased very nicely. It's <laughs> weird because although <laughs> it's not symmetrical, it is because you can put one in the middle yeah. and one each side. So. Although three is not symmetrical, it is, mm -hmm. and evens don't work the same. It's just strange. But anyway, so I'd put a bit more, a few more dots on that. I'll bring it up to show you. And I think that's quite a nice little classy card. Yeah. But that's just using one element of a lot. And, yeah. One, and it is one element of a lot. I love that. Look, but the stamps are beautiful that we are getting in this collection. And when you couple them with the dies and the stencils, there is just... So much to get excited about. Now, uh, ooh, we, we've done some research. Odd numbers, they force shy to move around. That's why it's more appealing. Yeah. Makes total sense, that. So you're kind of taking appreciation of everything. That makes uh, sense, Speaking yeah. of appreciating everything, look at the complete collection. It is an absolute feast for the eyes. There is so much going on here. The most beautiful stencils that you want to play with. Then you've got your stamps, you've got your dies, you've got journaling dies in there, more stencils, the most beautiful rice papers, stunning cardstock. Then you've got your chipboard uh, sentiments in there along with your die cut block. All of that included in the complete collection. But there, is so, uh, there are so many elements here to get excited about. Just want to tell you something. So you can get elements individually. These two dies here sold out twice yesterday. The only way you can get a hold of these is uh, included in the complete collection. And I have got a couple of boards to show you. So there we go. So these, you need to go for the complete collection. We will have a look at the one day special, which, and I would never force you to go for the complete collection. If your budget can stretch to a one day special, that's fine because a one day special is fantastic and you're still getting a great saving. You're saving five pounds there. So two different options with a one day special. Now the butterfly and dragon uh, in the dra dra dragonfly, I should say. The butterfly and dragonfly in the lead at the moment. That's just down here. That's your butterfly and dragon. I mean, look at that. That stencil there is stunning. And then you've got um, really background, and Lou was saying it's kind of inspired by Japanese flowers in there, or maybe it's the feathers, you know, the, the hair, sorry, you can find on a moth, so really nice texture. So those are two stencils, exciting. Then we've got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dyes. Instantly, you can see those dyes will look incredible. And then couple it with the stamps as well. Come on. Uh, we saw that stamped out, that wonderful moth. And this is a stamp we were just working with, with the dragonfly. So all of that, if you really think about it, for $24.96, you're getting two stamps, a die set, and you're getting the most beautiful stencils. That, for $24.96, is a great price. Already, it's a good price. But uh, we've also got the second option for you as well. So if you want to go for this option with a one day special, this is your butterfly and poppy. Lou has done such an incredible job with the stencils in this release. I don't know if anyone else is picking up on this, but every time I look at them, I just think they just look incredible. So you're getting wonderful sort of magnified cellular images uh, with regard to the stencils. Then the dies here, yeah. Now that, it's another like focused image uh, with the dies. The stamps, too, are just incredible. So that's the one-day special. But if you do go for the complete collection, 
Because the thing is, it's hard to, and I, I'm, I don't know if you, I'm struggling to pick a favourite there. So if you're joining me in that struggle, if you want to go for the complete collection, you're not only getting all the one-day special, so both options is one-day special, you're getting everything else to really set, and everything is designed to work together. Here's the point, and this is the big point. If you do go for the complete, firstly, please become a Freedom member. It's a why not deal. Whenever at Hochanda, we say why not deal. That means you are better off, if you're not a Freedom member right now and you want to go for this complete collection, you will actually save money by becoming a Freedom member. I know that's £5.97 pence. But when you factor in for £5.97, then suddenly you get access to a further 10% off the complete collection. And you've got to also put into uh, consideration your PMP, because as a Freedom member, your PMP is already included. So you get a saving, you get your PMP included as well. As a Freedom member, the complete saving for the full collection is £58.77. £58.77. But for me, the real salient point, and we broke down all the individual elements in here, it works out £3.77. 67 per element. You see this journaling die here. So that whole journaling die, £3.67. These fantastic, they're good size stencils, £3.67. The stamps up here, we have a look at the stamps here. Each one of these in the complete, if you break it down, £3.67. £3.67. This die set here, £3.67. You get the idea. In there, and I will show a few inspirations too. Because I just I'm really okay. remiss. I yeah, haven't, I haven't Ra showed any. Rachel Harris, um, Liz Wheeler, and Karen Gleave have been amazing. Wow, that's so nice. I love the way every one of them. Yeah, I love that. Every, every, not every designer, but every piece of work is different. Yeah. So these two are by Karen. I'm very, very lucky. Uh, you see, look at that. It's beautiful. The colours. Stunning. You can one's... choose anything you want. This one's by Liz. Oh, Liz, uh, this is with Wow Embossing Powder. What? Is that really? Yeah, it is, isn't it? And she's put it through a stencil, the stencil, and then worked through. So. And speaking of stencils, I'm going to show you. This is just techniques, just to show you how good yeah, the stencils look. Yeah, just coloured them in to show you what they look like. Oh, no. What do you use Don't on always you? have anger repeal, do they? Do the anger, oh. you know, when you look at them. See, now that instantly is a stencil you'd want to have a play with that. There are so many different directions you want to go in. Or how about this, adding this to a journal page. What a beautiful, beautiful stencil. Or do you like the look of this? I, oh. I went a bit blobby with that, but no, you got right. the idea. Yeah. And well, then this one I love. Oh, that is stunning. The stencils are incredible. I'll go through, I've got all the stencils here, so you get to see all the stencils that you're getting as part of that complete collection. And one thing that's striking me, Lou, is how well they all work together. Yeah. That's stunning. And you know, you've actually got a bit of a mosaic feel there too. It does, yeah, and it's, it's almost like um, an autolith shell. Not exactly, yeah. obviously, because of the shape's wrong, but mm -hmm. you get the feel for it. Oh, I love it. So those are your stencils, but say you're getting so much more. In, I, I like the um, example of using the butterfly wings with the journaling, because you have got that journaling die set as well. Yeah. And that, so just seeing here, you can create your own butterfly journal. Yeah. And it Isn't does hang together clever? without the spine as well, so it's got the holes for it. But yeah, you could put it with the other journals that we've already got and overlay it. Love so it. everything that you've got before will fit with it. Lou, it's such a good release. M most people, I mean, you can go for the elements individually, you can go for the options with the one day special, but I have to say, majority of you are going for that complete collection. I do not blame you. We are over 60% of the stock and we had an awful lot of stock. I uh, just got to remind you, because it's Studio Lights and it's coming from abroad, we uh, do have extended dispatch in the sense it's going to be dispatched on the 12th of March. Don't have long to wait though. Uh, so once it gets to you, or once it gets to us rather, we get it straight out to you. Please become a Freedom member and do take advantage of those flexi payments as well. Which means for under 30 pounds, your first flexi payment, you are getting everything that you're seeing in front of me. 
Imagine what it's going to be like when this lands on your door. And what, what are you going to start playing with first? That is going to be the hardest part. But I think, speaking of playing, we're going to head back to Lou. What are we going to do next, Lou? Well, I'm going to just show you a series of like little tricks to do when we're doing the flowers, because sometimes people think that if they don't paint, it's a bit scary. What yeah. do we do? So I'm going to show you a pencil. So mm -hmm. I've got a piece of watercolour paper. You can use anything, as long as it's got a good surface to paint and uh, colour on. Yeah. So I've just positioned it there where I want it. Now... When you put in pencils or anything on top of a stamp, you need it to be quite strong because it disappears, the ink. So my advice is use a strong one that doesn't run with water, um, so it's permanent and it's quite a nice juicy one because nice. otherwise the lines fade. Ooh. My archival's better for less sort of... Yeah. It's, it's, it's more grey now. So... Press it down, we'll give it a minute, well not a minute, a few seconds to just sink in because we whip, th whip this off and the ink hasn't had time to sort of okay. penetrate. So just press yep. and then you've got a nice crisp oh, element nice. there. Yeah. And when I turn it round you'll be able to see that all my drawing has got the dots in it and I always shade with Can the dots. Can you just show that to camera one, is that okay? Yeah, sure. We'll just stand that up. Because uh, one thing I wanted to show is all of this is hand-drawn by Lou. So you, and you, so you get that sense. So what, it's got a lovely feel to it. It's, I'm a very sketchy and yeah, I use I like dots that. in my work. And I like that. Because sometimes I don't want to shade heavily and I think using dots is a good way of doing it. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that to one side. So here, what I've done is I'm going to show you how I do it now. Now generally you would need to let that dry. Yep, it's mm -hmm. pretty dry. And all we're going to do is we're going to put a bed of wash on. And the wash is up to you what colour you want. Now, marigold, you can turn this to any colour. I mean, you could make it look like a cornflower if you want. Any colour you want. Nobody's there telling you what to do. You, you just pick your colour. So I'm going to go for yellow because that's what I've already got. And I'm just going to put... Now, this is too yellow for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mix a tiny bit of orange with it just to calm it down a little bit because this is an underwash. And I'm just going to really, I'm going to wash off the background. What I mean by that is I'm going to bring it around so it's not so bright and in your face. Because what I don't want, I want it to be subtle and I want the colour to be on the flowers, but I don't want it to end there. I want it okay. to be in the background. Yeah. So then I'm just going to put this on again. Okay. You do this a couple of times till you're happy with the colour, but... Mm. You really do need a watercolour card if you can, and you need a resistant ink, because if you keep doing this with your ink, mm -hmm. it'll soon, like distress will bleed all over. So you build up your colour, you get rid of that sort of colour in the background by just washing it out with clean water, right. because you do that, then you won't have any of those, what, mm -hmm. what I call tide marks. Okay, yeah, tide marks, I like it. You know, and you get... The, you see, it's really soft, that yeah. now. And I can mm -hmm. even, if I wanted to, just go in with pure colour, which oh, is right. not too bad now. So, because it's already damp, yeah. I can do that. So, I do that. I can drop a little bit of orange in it if I want Ooh, to yeah. just... Oh, I like that. Just so we're colouring up, to let you know, um, we flashed on the screen earlier on. We have got every element that you see is part of the complete individually, and the die-cut block and the chipboard sentiments as a, an individual option, very popular, to the point that they have gone at limited stock. So we are limited stock for those details on your screen. I, I, I imagine these elements, because it's something you're going to be using a lot, I think viewers are maybe going for the complete and also doubling up um, with those, or just go for them individually. Uh, 9 97 your price, you are saving £2. 376-866, your item number. Well, it's nice to know that people, you can get all the stuff out that you... Um, I've got in your cupboard. Get it all out, your pencils and all that. Make sure you use it. Because mm. we've got it there. Use it. Pastels, yeah. anything. So what I've done is, I've got this, you leave this to dry. Mm -hmm. Here's one, as you can see, on the brown, mm. I used the storm grey and it's, you can't see it as much, but there again, I've used a white pen, but I need to finish that anyway. I'll nice. show you that. So what I've done is, I've got one more or less done here to show you, okay. um, and I will be cutting it out. So I've got the better colour on. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some pencils. Now, I'm just going to go with two, three colours, and I'm going to go with white, orange, and yellow. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to do a bit of a blend. But the thing is, because I've got this on, 
it's perfect to work on. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the edges and I'm just going to work around the edges. Really, really, not neat, nothing like worrying. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about getting it out outside the on. edges. Don't worry yeah. about that. So we're just putting a bed of colour down. Pencils are good. You're laying on so smooth. Yeah, like they are really, really, really good. So yeah. the next is you don't want to go right to the edges unless you're doing the tips. You need to sort of just focus more on bringing it yeah. into the middle and out because the closer the petals, the closer the formation, the darker it looks. So I'm just going to do that a little bit and blend it out. Nice. Lou, when are you when you bring these pens? Because I know you have got them coming up. Do you know the date? Um, next week. Okay. Um, I think it is the ninth. Okay. So and then. Get your yellow again and go back over it. And the yellow will help to keep blending it. That's yeah. that's the secret. Keep blending it because blend if you blend don't, it. you'll get um, lines and tide marks. Now I'm just going to, going to go in the middle yeah. with the orange, and then this looks really strange. But you'll notice new flowers are green in the middle. Mm, okay. So you just put a tiny bit of green in there. Mm. Now what you can do. Then get your orange again, and then just work into the background. Now, you don't need a lot. You're just trying to put a little bit of a shadow in there, so don't press too hard. And you need to, so when you're shading mm -hmm. with pencils, you need to know how hard to, yeah. to uh, blend. So I'll give you a quick tip. You mm -hmm. press, 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 and then lift the tension off. Till you go to nothing ah. so that when i come to put the color back on i can go over ah, look at, i mean and blend that the out quality of these pencils yeah when really you're good. pressing hard you can see that the coverage that it gives you they lay down so well and the white blends it even better it pe oh, yeah. tames it right down so get to know what your pencils do so if i'm doing that now i would just i would just you sort of bring in the color nearer and darker and darker as it comes to the middle so mm -hmm. i put a little bit on there then i would get a light brown right. and just now and again just a tiny bit because you're just trying to pr produce a shadow and then you're going to get something like a gray or a dark gray and just around the edge you're just going to shade out now this is the bit that makes these pop mm. so you can use your pens on top of it. It's so easy to do. Once you've seen how to do this, you can apply this to everything else that you do. Okay. Um, when you pencil shading, it, it's... So I've gone round it a little bit, but that's not exactly what I want to do. I want to bring the whole of that out a little bit more. Mm. So I can go back to my colour and add a little bit more. Uh, just going to let you know the uh, chipboard uh, with the die cut block, we called limited stock, it is now technically sold out. So if it is in your basket and you really want it, do make sure to check out. If any do bounce back, of course I'll let you know. So I've put a little bit more colour on, which you, you're surprised, you don't think it can take all that, and then use a white pen on it. But I'll just show you what happens when I've done. I'm going to use what we call a storm colour in the back, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to bring the whole thing forward. So I'm just going to drop a little bit down and then oh yeah, blend that out a little bit and it looks like it looks like you've layered that up looks well, like this it's decoupage. Is, well this is it and, and you can decoupage them and you're going to put more on one side than mm. the other but laying down that that first element of of watercolor on it, it it's just a great foundation for everything else mm. and you can go darker on one side if you wish and it'll it will pop out don't be tempted to put a black pen there Everybody you know, they sort of say, oh, well, a black pen, no, a black pen don't work because it just over-saturates it. So now I'm, I'm letting it do its own thing. It changes mm. colour. Oh, yeah, look. And as it changes colour, the capilla reaction works, so it sort of works across. And then, again, while that's drying, I'm going to come down to the stems. Okay. It's really simple to do. Use your, use your watercolours on the top, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to go in with the coloured pencils again light medium and dark get to know your pencils i'm going to bring the 36 and um that's brilliant because this has got light medium and dark but that's got in between that as well so you're laughing no i'm really impressed by these pencils they are really good really so really do good. look out for the ninth next week lou's going to be here she's actually brought the pencils before i missed that show so i'm going to be tuning in um but yeah they, they just lay down so beautifully they do they do really really do and and 
I like the fact that you can layer them, not lot pencils, certain pencils, they won't mm. allow you to put anything on top because yeah. they've got a waxy resist. But this, now, nah, this this allow it. I so get... there you go. I mean, you've got a really simple little, simple little sort of stamp, but yeah. you've now put your own little take on it. And, and it's not a lot of talent. And on this one, I've just put me, can nice. you see my glitter pens are in the middle? So use your glitter pens as well, but that's from that. And then this is the other alternative, but I would need to go in with my black pen on that nice. just to bring that out. But there you go, two Lou, different ways of working. It's such a nice hour. I don't know where the time is flown by. Could we just have a very quick look? You know, we started the show by having a peek in your uh, your sort of technique journal book. Yeah, so of course. Could we just show? I mean, you've done some well, wonderful I pieces do, here. I do. This is my mess book, so sure. I do like to just. I started um, this one, which I haven't finished yet, and this is the one. But I've just the it's like the shell one I call oh, yeah, it. Okay. But I've just done it that way and then um, I've done like medium and dark. This one is the oh. mushroomy one or uh, it's like gills almost isn't Love it that, on coral yeah. and I've just again the same element as I've done on a flower like medium and dark and then each of it this one is done it's with these as well yeah. so it's like medium and dark on these and then we've got the brown paper elements of oh, this is that. done on white that one's done on brown so there's not much in you wouldn't think, would you, yeah. that that was done on brown. You would think that was done on white. Yeah. And again, on white paper. Just go mad with your colours. And then we've got these tiny little ones on white, which when you look at what I did before, you could almost, you know... Where's it gone now? Oh, here it is. Right, you could almost put that in the front if you wished. Mm. Um, but I think that's a bit... It is a bit too much, but if you didn't mm -hmm. want them in the black and you just wanted yeah. a, lo a lot of them, they still look nice on the brown. Lou, thank you so much. Uh, we are going to be joining Lou again at 12 o'clock, so please make sure to tune in if you can. I know Lou has got so many more techniques that she'd love to share with you. Yep. Uh, we are approaching 70% of the stock for wow. Lou's third release, her latest release. It is just Lou, and you are getting such a beautiful mix of stencils, dyes, stamps, all in there, we've got the die cuts, the blocks, everything, the papers, the rice paper, the cardstock, all of that that you've just seen, that beautiful sweeping shot is the complete collection and it has been busy. It's uh, actually the option most of you have been going for is the complete collection. Two things to point out, please become a Freedom member. Uh, you are saving money. As a Freedom member, your total savings are £58.77. and pence. It works out per element at uh, £3.67. So, dies £3.67, stamps £3.67, each element £3.67, and do take advantage of the flexi payments as well. Uh, under £30, your first flexi payment as a Freedom member. Lou, thank you so thank much. Thank you, I've loved it, really thank you. It. Doing it all again at 12, hope you can join us. I've gone from one great hour to another fantastic hour. Janie's here with her originals, so please make sure to stick around there. Uh, after that, we've got crafting with cricket and then make it Joe. That is an awesome morning at Hochanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda.
Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Emma, the cricket demonstrator here on Hochanda. Cricket is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. I love cricket because it allows me to take craft projects I have in my head and make them a reality. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows on Hochanda, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with cricket. So make sure you don't miss the cricket shows on Hochanda. Well, hello there and welcome, welcome, because we've got an amazing hour. Um, we're learning maybe a different side to somebody that you may not have come across before. And I'm looking forward to this one. We are talking Janie's Originals, and of course Janie is here with us. And this is kind of going right back, kind of, to, to where you start with original artwork. Yeah, so it's something I've done pretty much all my life. Actually, me and my mum were talking the other day, and I was like, I think I was probably crafting or drawing from the first moment I was able to hold a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. But yeah, I started off as a painter, yes, really. Yeah. Um, but only did originals, didn't yeah. do prints. It was very important to me to have everything as one off. Okay. Um, so that whoever bought them took ownership and it was theirs and no one else would have the same. Right. Um, I then started teaching yeah. workshops and, and bringing it to the craft market, really, because mm -hmm. I always kind of straddled art and craft. Yes which was a bit awkward when I was at uni because they were like, you're not really an artist, but you're they not, they, you they didn't really understand. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I just do what I do. <laughs> but yeah, this really coming here was really because of the first lockdown, because I had ah, to stop okay. teaching my workshops, obviously. Nice. Yeah. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll start kitting things up. And then it kind of went from there. So. And I follow you on Facebook and I see some of the amazing things that you're doing, obviously theatres and things like that, obviously when the opportunity yeah. was there. Yeah. But hopefully we'll be able to see that again very, all, very yeah, soon. Yeah, all sorts of things. I like to turn my hand to I love whatever it. I fancy. Well, this is, you do it so well. So that's how it all came about. So, uh, yeah, by all means, do jump ahead and have a little look at what we've got because I think we're going to have a busy, busy hour with Janie. So the bundle that we've got here, talk us around what we've got here and what the idea was. Okay, so I originally started calling them journals. Okay. However, I don't write in my journals. Okay. So I thought, well, it's more of an album of treasures. So nice. that's where the treasure album yes. kind of came up. Um, but it means because you've got the ring binders, you can add, you can take away. Sometimes I find that people find it scary if you've got a book that's pre-made to start putting things in because they're scared mm -hmm. they're going to go wrong, if that's the, you know, if that's the term. Um, but with this, you can add, you can take away. It can be a long project or you can do it in one. It's, you know, but the, the theme is from the Hidden Garden series. Okay. Um, this is Heritage Garden, which I named just because of the colorway, really. Yes, nice. So yeah. I've designed all the papers. It's a limited edition. 
um, there won't be any more of these. There's quite a lot of fabric elements, so this won't be repeated. I can't yeah, get all the same items. It's quite a unique again. little bundle, isn't yes. it? That's the key thing. Yeah. So obviously the, the unique elements like the fabrics and the lace, there's no, there's not an ever and never ending supply of these, no. is there? So no. um, that, that's one of the key things. Now, you see, obviously, you've got your board there with the holes in them. So those are going to create potentially your covers. We say potentially because at the end of the day, it's your kit. You can create exactly what you want and how you want to with this. But you have got some amazing elements in here. And I love this. It's kind of a fusion of um, kind of up to date um, new artwork yeah. with almost that vintage element kind of yeah. as a, a little essence running through it as well. But yeah. inspiring, obviously, the artwork that's featured. Well, yeah. a combination of elements yes me. but also you can make this the one that you're holding now is completely with the kit nothing else added apart from some distress ink and basics things like that we've that. already got but i think that they're really good if you want to add your own photos if you do write in a journal ideal for a gardening journal or for your thoughts you know anything you fancy really but i wanted it to be standalone but add to it if you want to so all the elements like the toadstools that we're seeing yeah. down here the little floral almost that little these remind me of the little cigarette cards that my granddad used to yeah. uh, have when yeah. uh, we were little in little pockets obviously little essences of the elements that you've got with the lace in here all coming together within this set yeah so they're all printed on 120 gsm which i find a perfect weight for if, if you want a fussy cut you've okay. got envelopes in there you've got tags you've got the little cards like you said but then you can fussy cut into those if you want to so there's lots of elements in there as well as your um cover images as well they are proving to be very very popular 24 pounds and 99 pence if you wanted to get hold of yours you need to be quick because 30 percent of the stock has gone literally just delving into those covers there obviously you've got vintage pages those obviously will vary because they are original so obviously yours won't be exactly the same as you're seeing featuring in here but it's going to be along the same lines of those because they're not replicated those are originals elements that are replicated though these fabulous little floral images there that you can see here so these are absolutely beautiful going through there and obviously all within those wonderful covers as well we need to move on because we are incredibly busy so 410758 um, if you fancy getting hold of that particular bundle pop it into your basket straight away now we are busy because we've got additional elements to share with you and you have jumped ahead to have a little look at these stamps brand new beautiful stamps featuring Janie's original artwork and that's quite yes. key with this because these are hand drawn yes and I said to you earlier, the yeah. old-fashioned way, well, I, I call <laughs> it the pen to paper range um, because it is, and I've got a few sketches I can show people later if we've got time. Um, I start off with literally rough doodles on a page. Okay. I don't work in a sketchbook, it's just on paper. Can I and bring then it this develops forward? from there. Absolutely. Let me bring this forward. Just look at that. How adorable is that? Absolutely amazing. Created using the fabulous art. I love the little daisy that you've got on his head there. <laughs> so cute. Absolutely adorable. But Beautiful. the idea is, so this is Hawking hair. Okay, so who's um, Hawking? Hawking? This is hair. Hawking, yeah. Um, Hawkins was my mum's maiden name. Oh, so I Hawking see. hair. Um, but it's the idea that, I don't know if you know, but I live on a nature reserve. Okay. So, um, and growing up, I've, I've always lived there. So for me, when I was young, it was kind of like a magical world where I would have my own little adventures. I was either always outside, yeah. uh, being a bit of a tomboy, or I was inside cutting up paper and making things and drawing oh, things. See. But this is kind of my idea of a world within a world. So mm. Hawking can be magical. There's a pair of fairy wings, if Hawking wants fairy wings, or you can have the hair. As is. And I love that little dandelion clock down at the bottom there as well. Amazing. Limited stock, not surprised. We knew we were going to be busy for these ones. £15.99. But the original artwork, have a look at this. This is the original creation yes. that you made with this one. Beautiful. And I painted that pretty much a year ago almost to the day oh, wow. and that one was painted for melissa from simply vintage oh, and talking of which it's melissa that's emailed that in and melissa um lots of love from us here at Tachanda. um hope you you up and about soon and we will see you back here very very soon technically sold out now it is technically oh. sold out but we have got them on extended living you know that demonstration you're going to show us with the stamps yeah that was the first one <laughs> okay right i don't know if it's going to last to be honest so we may need to rejig things we have got a few on extended delivery we're talking what was it a week with regards to these so the 9th of march but those are nearly gone as well so yeah we knew that they're going to be popular um, you're going to have to bring these well yeah <laughs> i said bring them back
back, but we can't bring them back to you. So anyway, the details are there on your screen if you want them to be quick. Talking about being quick, lots of you added this set in alongside because you've been doing your research, you've jumped onto the website and have a little look. My sister used to have an imaginary crow as her friend Everybody. when she was little, <laughs> when she was little. So this is very, very significant. Christopher Crow. And we've yes. got the original artwork again at the back here. Um, a beautiful piece. And again, about a year ago you created yes, this. Yes, but both of the paintings were done at the same time and they were my first paintings of the year. That one actually is a raven, but the, there's... There's not much difference between them. No, there's not much difference between them. I'm a townie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What can I say? The artwork, though, absolutely incredible. And, of course, those beautiful essence elements coming through. I love the ethereal star on the moon that you've got with this, the beautiful trail with this, the fabulous phrase, Christopher Crow. What a character. Not surprisingly, limited in stock, as you can see on your screen. It has gone green. Again, the artwork, phenomenal. And it's original artwork that's been creating these wonderful styles as well so naturally you know the next stage it has sold out but we have got extended delivery again with these but again not huge quantities so if you are wanting to get involved it's exactly the same item number but you need to be quick do not miss out on these amazing stamps coming to you again good size stamps that's the key thing with these and lots of detail within there so 072974 if you fancy getting hold of those stamps please be quick they're not going to last simple as so now treasure boxes this is something that I am fascinated with and I know you guys will be as well because we've got a couple of different um, ways of you getting hold of these with a different variety of elements in there but what you have got is loads of stuff in it and I love it when we get stuff yeah. and loads of it because you can do all sorts <laughs> with it can't you talk us about what we've got in here then so you've got all the elements to make everything that's within that box that you've got there okay. and you've got step-by-step -step instructions for every element so you've got a faux quill that you make which actually has the pen inside it so you can use it um, a little mini book um, depending on which option you go for that one is that the dark one you've got there I can't see from over here oh sorry this is the one where I've got um... the dark brown Yes, yeah, yeah so that's brand, yeah. faux leather right. that you've got to make the little book. Again, full instructions of how to make that. You've got your little scroll there, which has got a treasure map in it. Lovely. So you can roll it up as a scroll so like that, or you can fold it up. Either way, it fits into the box. Love it. Um, and, yeah, you've got, like, a little magical potion bottle there as well. Have, yeah, and the little fabulous charms. You've even got the little um, key lock element there. These are going to open up so you are getting your blank canvas so you can literally see that you're going to get your little box like so. You're going to get full instructions. You're going to get everything that you need in there to create these amazing elements with your faux leather to create your fabulous little book as you can see there. £19.99 772-299 if you're wanting to get hold of that. Please be quick. Do not miss out on that. You've got your tags. You've got your papers. I haven't even gone through these. These are literally flying out. And these are the elements that you're going to need to build up your design. But you're going to have way more than you need within that. And again, you can see full instructions, even printed on the sheets here, so you know exactly where everything sits with that gorgeous artwork that Janie has produced for us. So 772299, if you're wanting to get hold of that. But then there's another way you can get hold of something similar. Now, this one is a bit more of a pale tone. So you have the darker um, faux leather in that particular one. This one, you've got real leather. And this time, much lighter tone with these. So very, very similar a sort of setup so again you're going to get your box within there but then this time when you're creating you're creating your elements in a slightly different style so your lighter um, quill as you can see there your lighter cover book but the similar elements just a different color tone yes exactly so you've got all the elements within there and as you said this has got a real leather rather than faux leather so if you're not keen on that I would go for the darker tone um, and you've got the pale feather that you make rather than the black one now I've got a little pot of goodness. What's the little pot yes. in there? So um, with all the kits that are on today, I've made a bespoke colour for each of the kits. Oh, wow. So, and all of the kits are limited edition. So I've made the colour that I would personally use on the key. Um, you'll have a little bit extra as well. It's quite thick paint, so um, for, for a good coverage on the MDF key. Okay. So you can water it down. There's a good amount of pigment in there. 
Beautiful, and that's it included in there as well. Again, it's up to you how you design your box, how you create it. You've got all the elements there, it's down to you. So you've got all your little bits of lace in there, you've got your fabulous kind of velvet. Love this idea of fraying it and turning it into almost like a, a little um, piece of grass there. Very that, creative. That's vintage velvet, so you get more Clever. than you need for the base. Because the idea more. is it looks like a moss carpet that's yeah. inside. Um, but yeah, you've got more than you need, so you can put that little frayed element on the top if you want to. Like you said, decoration is completely up to you, but exactly. you've got full instructions of how to make all the elements and cover the box. Love it. So yeah, everything is in there. The base box to start with. The sheets, again, will tell you what goes on the top, what goes on the bottom, what goes on the side. You've got everything, your signage, you'll be able to pop that in there, put your own little treasure label in there if you so wish. And again, it's going to come with a fabulous um, little uh, treasure map and you will get your full instructions showing you how to create everything that you need to know within there as well. It's a really, really fabulous kit and it's again flying out. Um, 278982 if you wanting to get hold of this one, £19.99. pence. Now, let me give you a few updates. The Crow, the Crow stamp set. It is now limited stock on extended delivery. So if you wanted to get hold of this, please do not dilly-dally. Make sure you are getting it into your basket, but more importantly, get your basket checked out. 072974. Now that fabulous starter kit that we were looking at, the Heritage Garden, that one, um, it sold out, I didn't even have a chance to tell you, and it's been back on extended delivery. Um, and over half of that extended delivery stock has gone. So um, apologies that I wasn't be able to give you the update on that one. But yeah, you've got it now. So if you were waiting to get hold of this one, please don't wait much longer because you could potentially miss out on it altogether. Um, 410756. Now something else you might like to consider adding into your basket alongside any of those goodies is something that um, is quite quite a special thing but it's a digital download now this is brilliant because what this means is you're going to get loads of elements that you can reprint over and over again so 6.99 being your price on your screen there 238933 and of course everything is done electronically you won't get anything sent to you physically but you will get all the um, information that you need sent to you via your email address so uh, yeah it's uh, another way of actually crafting with these the crow let's say goodbye to the crow he has gone Christopher um, and um, hawking her again another the one that's gone we knew that they would do and the extended delivery has gone and also this kit that's just been chatting about that's gone as well so basically the first three items have gone 15 minutes into the hour i hope you can tap that <laughs> whoops yeah we knew we were going to be busy but my goodness so okay oh um, right so what do you want to have a chat well, about let me just mention that anyone that's bought the two stamp sets together okay there is a story that goes with the whole show. There's a theme okay. of uh, Christopher and Hawkin. Um, and I wrote the story out with an old-fashioned dip pen, oh, wow. which took me ages. I bet, yeah. Um, so anyone that's bought the, both of the stamp sets together, you will get a copy of that. Oh, Fabi, not um, you're not handwriting them all, are you? No. <laughs> um, I did handwrite it and then scan it in, um, and then it will be printed on a lovely weight cartridge paper. Wonderful. So anyone that's got the two sets together oh. will get that oh, thrown that's in fabulous. with their order. They could illustrate it with the stamps, couldn't they? Beautiful. So is there much point in me showing you how the stamps are done if they're gone? Well, not really. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got your original artwork, which yes. is beautiful. So well, that's I'll obviously I'll quickly everything. flip through because, you know, the idea is that they're all hand-drawn. Okay. So you can see from my original really rough drawings, they gradually get refined. That is what ended up being the final. Okay. The only thing that I did digitally on this one was I wanted his eye to be changed and I didn't want to redraw the whole thing okay so that was the only thing that was done digitally lovely um, oh his top hat yeah, yeah his top hat which also fits Hawkin as well wonderful right so that was Christopher lovely. and then again you can see um, <laughs> yeah, oh. cross the body out didn't like that but it's you know it's just to show you how the ideas start to come together I love it very very rough and then I thought oh, oh we could wings. have wings and then it starts to get a little bit more refined. Beautiful. Yeah, and then that's, that's how they worked out. Gorgeous. So, I can't do the demo that I was going to show you, which was okay. Hawking. Okay. <laughs> so, what do we have left, Hayley? Well, um, at the moment we've got the digital download and we've also got the little boxes, the right. little treasure okay. boxes. Okay, what I'll do then is I will show you one of the elements in the boxes. And this is the little mini book. Okay. 
So you've got a treasure. So this Hayley. is the little book that goes within the treasure yes. box. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want dark or do you want light? Ooh, I kind of like the light actually because yep. yeah, spend time with that and look into lighter tones maybe. And then in the kit you get a lighter thread, and with the darker one you get the darker thread. Okay. Okay. So you get uh, one sheet of uh, this is a nice heavyweight cartridge paper. It's a recycled cartridge. Okay. And again, all of these elements are explained in your um, instructions. Lovely. So we fold it in half, and it doesn't matter if you start this way or the other way, the, the end result is the same. Now, if you want to be nice and neat, which I rarely am, you can cut this, but I like to tear it because it gives you that nice feathered edge. So you're going in half, in half again. So you keep doing it in halves until you get eight pieces. So this is nice because you don't have to use a guillotine or anything. No. Like I said, you can do if you want nice, neat edges. And when I put it together, because obviously you're going to get one hard edge mm -hmm. and a soft edge, so I tend to rotate them. Oh. So is it when you're flipping through the book? That's a good tip. That, yeah. I'm getting worried now, Hayley, what I'm going to do for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're so, You have only got the one show with us, though, haven't you, yes. today? Oh, yes, that's I do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to take us off. I think you have now, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, so, yeah, don't forget, we've got some additional stamps that we've not had a chance to share with you either yet. Some gorgeous lace stamps and some fabulous border elements as well. So there's loads of other stamps for you to check out if you're into your stamps and you missed out on some of those. Can I just show you the little book... Can I show you the little book that um, Janie's working with? Because this is obviously the element that she's working with at the moment. So you've got the fabulous leather cover on the pale version that we've got on your screen. Um, if you're going for the dark version at the bottom of your screen, you will get your faux leather, which is that version of it. And then what you've got within there, you've got the little pages that obviously Janie is creating at the moment, ready and waiting for you to add your content and your details. So, and of course, you've got all your gorgeous little lacy elements there. And all of the elements that you're going to get, you're going to be able to put together in this fabulous little box here you're going to learn how to create your quill and um, this is the dark version that we're looking at um, but um, you have got your lighter quill let me pick up the right one so we've got the right details for you so the lighter one you've got your quill in there and you've got your little bottle with your little kind of lotions and potions labels on there and your antique key and it's mainly um, kind of one of those things it's a little treasure box that you can keep all your fabrics Fabulous heritage garden pieces in 19.99. If you want in your 278982, head back over to Janie now. So you've got all your pages ready. Yes, yes, all Lovely. folded in. Um, so it tells you in the instructions to cut your cover piece to the same height but a little bit wider. Okay. okay? So. I'm not going to spend time doing this precisely. Everything feels like a rush now oh, this morning. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. You take your time. So I'm just going to snip the end off. And then because you've got this bit, if you want to, you know I said with the map that you get in there, you mm -hmm. could fold it up or you oh, could roll yes, it like yeah. a scroll. If you wanted to, you could snip that down, stick it with some strong glue and then your scroll could That's go inside idea, yeah. so it's like a nice little holder for it clever so i'm not going to snip the ends off yet until i see how long they need to be because you've got the thickness now that means that this needs to be just a little bit longer to cover the edges okay okay so there's no technical binding um involved in this all we're going to do is wrap the string around it and do a nice tight knot at the top so double knot pull it tight now just as Janie's um, tying the little knot I've got a bit of news for you um, while I was showing you the little book we had a little chat with Janie to see if we could get any more stamps <laughs> and good news we have but these are on extended delivery beyond the week that we we're talking about I think it's about two weeks now so you can get hold of them again we've not got a huge quantities of these ones obviously um, if you wanted them you need to be quick limited stock already of that extended stock so £15.99, the same item number as we've been speaking of previously. So you Christopher Crote, 
details are on your screen there. Of course, hawking hair, if you wanted to go for your hawking hair, again, the details are the same as the original details, but just bear in mind the 16th of March with regards to dispatch again of these. It's worth every single um, day of that way because when you get them through and you see that gorgeous artwork that you'll be able to work with, you are going to have loads of fun with these. $15.99 for your hair. Um, well, they're both exactly the same price there. $15.99. Details at the bottom for your Christopher Crow. And then, of course, your gorgeous hair, hawking hair. They're 747096. Dispatch from the 19th of March now. Not 19th, the 16th, sorry. <laughs> 16th of March. So, yeah, there's too many dates on the screen there. Sorry, I do apologise. In fact, yeah, I don't know why I even bothered. <laughs> They've gone. Did Hawken put on the fairy wings and flew away? He fl flew away pretty sharpish. <laughs> They're like little fairy wings. They're like jet propelled wings. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, um, keep your eye open for Janie's shows. I'm sure we will be uh, revisited by those fabulous characters. We will let you know if any bounce back, but at the moment, if, they've got, if you've got them in your basket, please be, do the wise thing and check your basket out because we have got people ready and waiting to take those if you don't want them. So, yeah, make sure you check your baskets out. Okay, Janie. It's like I can see people fighting over them. It's like, it's, it's like being in the supermarket on Christmas Eve and people are taking things out of trolleys. Okay. I do just want to mention behind you some of the um, samples that we've got. Yes. I don't have a design team, but I do have, in normal circumstances, I have a craft club. Okay. And a couple of my ladies wanted to make a couple of samples, oh. and my sisters oh, we'll made some as well. Everybody so. in a moment, then. Yeah, yeah lovely. So um, all I've done is tie it, and because it's a tiny little book, that is enough to hold the book in. So okay. no fancy binding, not complicated at all. Um, I'm just going to slice a tiny little bit off of the ends. Okay, and keep all these little bits because they're all useful. Yeah, I keep the tiny bits. I'd say in the, um, although there are instructions in the treasure albums, there are guidelines. Okay. I say in there, keep every little scrap because yeah. you can make like your little snippets and things like that. Yeah, because they can become all sorts of little ties. So, and... tiny little bit. And that little slither there would fit perfectly through the little antique key if you wanted to use that. Yeah. And I'm just snipping the corners off just to round it very slightly. Okay, okay. Now, in the kit as well, you get this beautiful, and I don't even know what this would have been intended for. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually very stiff. Yes, yeah. It's kind of a gauze, but then it's got the nice metallic embroidery beautiful, on it. Beautiful, yeah. So it's perfect for cutting out the elements and nice. then it doesn't fray okay I love it <laughs> and again <laughs> you get, loads in there. yeah you get more than you need so you can use it to decorate inside outside your box you can use it to to decorate your uh, little book which Wonderful. is what we're doing here so I'm just going to cut out the motif and that's the beauty of this because of the nature of the, the fabric you're working with you don't have to prepare it or anything just go straight in with your scissors yeah exactly and that, that's no fray like that and then i'm just going to use so any clear glue okay and i'm just gonna pop it on the back and then let's have it up in that corner oh well, isn't that pretty like that Okay, and then you do have as well in your kit, let me just grab, with your treasure map, mm -hmm. which is on a, on a nice craft uh, paper, you've got three little labels as well. So one would be for your bottle, then you've got two more. So if you wanted to put a label, let's do that, shall we? Let's okay. go with explore. Ooh. So you've got explore, nature and beauty. So let's cut that one out. I use these ginormous scissors for pretty much everything, even my fussy cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big pair of scissors. There we go. Snip into the corners. And a little bit of glue on the back. And then we'll pop that there. Now you can see where I've done this, it, it wants to open. Okay, okay, yeah. That's because obviously we've just taken a flat piece of leather mm -hmm. and we're telling it to go around. So yes. for a while it's going to want to pop open. Um, inside the kit you've also got some uh, sari ribbon. Okay. Um, so what I've done on most of them is taken just a little snippet of that, 
tie it round, it keeps it closed, and then it almost retrains it, and then after oh, a while, it, it will sit comfortably. Yes. Yeah. Um, and again, very generous with regards to that sari ribbon. This is the, the colour that you're going to get with the, um, the uh, pale version, the Heritage Garden Pale that we've got on the screen. If you're going for the darker version, you can see you're getting a lot of that sari ribbon in there, so you don't need a lot of that, but just a little bit there, um, as you say, retraining the cover. Yeah, and it's also lovely tied onto the end of the MDF key as well. Good it's a point, little embellishment. Yes. So also in the kit, you get these little mini tags. So Aww. these could be stuck back to back yep. if you wanted to, um, or you could back them. I mean, this is 120 GSM. If you want them a bit stiffer, you could just put it onto a playing card if okay. you wanted to. So they could be, you know, you could write little notes or whatever to go in your box, or they could go in your little book here. Lovely. So let's just use this one. And these were done, so I actually made some blank tags which I stitched around and then inked the edges, scanned those in, and then for the different kits, I then just put the images oh, in I that see. go yeah, with, the, with the kit. Nice effect as well. So I'm going to ink around the edge. to age it down a little bit more. Wonderful. And I'm just going to put that in the front. I've got a bit of a glue spillage here. Actually, Ooh. I wonder if I can just do it with my finger <laughs> instead of wasting it. <laughs> well, don't waste it. That's for certain. And I'm going to put that at an angle. So then you could leave it like that or you could write along there as well. You also get some little mushrooms and some bugs these are really nice, the little snails. I noticed that on the front yeah. of one of the boxes, looks so cute. So, um, a bit of news, folks. I did say I'd let you know um, a couple of those stamp sets. In fact, I was to tell you that three of these have, um, have popped out of people's baskets. In fact, it's only two now because somebody's picked those back up again. So we've got a couple of these. If you are quick and you're shopping online, then you do stand a chance of getting hold of this. If you're phoning through your order, then I can't guarantee that you will get hold of these because I know that as soon as I've mentioned it, that people will jump onto the website and place their orders. So, uh, yeah, whichever way you're getting hold of these, please just be quick. But more importantly, please make sure you complete your order. Obviously, if you order on phone, then that's going to happen naturally. But if you're on the website, I know lots of people add goodies into the basket and then wait to the end of the show to check out. They're only going to be in there for about, I don't know, it's about 10 minutes or so nowadays. So you might find exactly as happens here. You're not paying attention because watching demonstrations or whatever, they fall out of your basket. Go back into our stock allocation and there will be people trying that item number <laughs> repetitively to try and get hold of them. And you might not have the opportunity to get them back in your basket. So check your basket out, but be quick with regards to those. Of course, Janie's working with a fabulous little box kit that we're chatting about. And these really are crammed full with all sorts of fabulous elements and your full instructions so when you actually get hold of these you're going to have your blank box so your box will come to you something along the lines of this but then the kit itself will have all the papers in there it'll have your leather if you're going for uh, the pale if you're going for the darker version faux leather you'll get your little vintage map in there you'll get all the elements to help you create your own own quill pen that is actually a usable pen as well and again you've got some fabulous elements there in fact shall I show you the darker kit since I'm stood behind it let me show you the darker version to you so the darker version a similar sort of idea you're going to get your box that you're going to be able to create with but you've got that darker theme running through it so you've got there you've got your fabulous um, garden of brown this one is called so it's still heritage garden but brown um, so you've got your faux leather as you can see there to create your little book that we saw Janie creating a few moments ago with that sari ribbon wrapped around it to retrain those pages but you're going to kind of keep it like that love the little charm as well you're going to get a little charm in there you're also going to get the element to help you create your own quilt which I think is brilliant because it is a working pen so you could actually use that to jot down little notes in your mini book that you're making. You're also going to get your fabulous little MDF key, your antique style key. You're also going to get some paint in there, a very generous pot of paint that will allow you to add the colour and it's quite a thick paint so you might want to add a little bit of water to that to maximise the use because I know if you're anything like me you want it to go further than just your little key uh, and then you're going to get that beautiful lace and all those other little elements. The paint Papers. It's brilliant. Let's have a little look at the kit because I'll explain the papers to you. Because the papers are printed with the gorgeous designs that 
that um, lovely Janie has, a, well, she's drawn these herself. I mean, I'm in awe of anybody that can draw. It's amazing, isn't it? So you've got the little tags that you've got down at the bottom there. Absolutely beautiful. The artwork that Janie was just showing us on the sheets there, again, absolutely beautiful. Um, don't forget, if, um, you can get hold of loads of the artwork that Jenny um, has prepared via a download that we've got on the website as well. The books, them, uh, sorry, the books, the pages themselves are giving you the um, elements there to create your inside flap, as you can see, the inside of your lid. You've got the walls, you've got the ends, and you can see all the instructions are there and the suggestions and the help that Janie can provide you with to make sure that you are getting those perfect results. But look at this artwork. I mean, how beautiful is this? This is going to be a little treasure box that you're going to go to time and time again. It might be sitting on a little side table in your living room. It might be on your windowsill in your craft room. But you're going to have somewhere, a little place that you can pop those elements. You're going to get, obviously, all those that are included as well. And have a look. The most cute little um, map here as well. And this is absolutely fabulous because you've got that vintage map in there that you can roll up with the leftovers that you've got of the different elements. And you have got so much in here. And of course, you'll have other elements of your own that I'm sure you will add to this. So always popular whenever Janie brings us something as creative as this. And that is exactly what's happening. They are flying out. So this one is your dark version, which is your brown. And then don't forget the per version that uh, Janie's been working on is the lighter version. Version, which is that light grey tone as well. So 772299 if you're wanting to get hold of those. So moving down, this is where you've got the lighter version that Janie is creating with. So the elements exactly the same, the same papers, the same tags, the same vintage map that you've got in the MDF. Now the things that are going to change on this are the paint. You're going to get a different tone of paint, but these paints are unique to the kits. So this is a special blend that Janie has put together. So this one is different to the one that you'll get in the dark. And likewise, the sari ribbon and the lace and the elements like so, they are going to be different because obviously this is more of a lighter tone, the paler tone. But the actual pages themselves are going to be, I think they are the same, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not, actually. When I look again, I do apologise. They are <laughs> different. Right. So you could go for both kits and have different styles. Oh, I love it. I didn't realise that. It's all going in. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. We are that busy, to be fair. Um, again, you're going to get that fabulous vintage element in there with that gorgeous uh, vel vintage velvet in there. And, of course, all the elements that you're going to be able to create with these. So, 1999-278-982. Now, it's been a popular bundle. We've seen Janie just start with this one, but half of the stock has gone. Okay. If you want to get hold of these, you need to be quick. You need to be quick um, with regards to the brown version as well, because that is proven to be popular as well. And I think now that you realise, and I realise, that the papers are different. As I say, it's all been a bit of a blur. Um, <laughs> lots of you adding both of those in, which you can do quite easily. Now, didn't even have a chance to show you these stamps. So I'm going to show you some other stamps that we've got on the show. These are absolutely beautiful. Now, Janie, you were chatting before when we started the preparation for your show, and you were explaining that the idea behind these is so you can kind of create your own almost lace elements. Yeah, so they you can see the border ones. They repeat stamp. Okay, these particular ones here, yeah. Um, well, and the lace ones as well. So you've got borders and you've got the longer elements. They will repeat so oh, you can make you a border yes, sorry, as, long yes. as, as long as you like. Okay. As long as your eyes are a little bit better than mine, you can line up the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also you've got elements in there that you can... So that up in the corner, the white on the brown, that one. Yeah. So that is a perfect stamp for making your own lace design. Okay. Because you can keep stamping that and rotating. Yes. And then within there, you've got a tiny little stamp, uh, which is like netting. So then again, you can repeat stamp that in between and create a whole lace panel. Beautiful. And I'll just bring those stamps in just to show you. So you're getting all of these fabulous stamps within here. There's a lot of stamps for you, 12 .99. And of course, showing you all the different variations of the ways that working with it. I mean, these are beautiful. I love this. Going onto your plain fabrics and multi-stamping. And again, that border, you're so right that just using it yeah. repetitively. I mean, originally, I designed both of these sets for, uh, because when I was making journals and albums, you know, when you just need those little background elements or the little um, bits along the edge of your page, that was why I designed these. But then I thought, actually, they're perfect on fabrics. Gorgeous. So if you use, like, your Versacraft ink pads that you can heat set, perfect. I mean, think of those on a lovely scarf. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. 
So there we go. Now, of course, that one is your lacy elements. Then you've got your fa um, your fabulous um, filigree with all your fancy filigree, should I say. This one, again, you are getting lots and lots of stamps in here. So you can see, again, you'll be able to recognise with these how you're going to be able to use them and build up your corners and tessellate your design. So you've got lots of stamps within there. Making your own fabulous papers. I mean, look at these. Absolutely beautiful. Teaming them together as well so you can see how they do work so well. I mean, look at that. Taking one of those corners, um, stamping it out back to back with those right angles coming into the centre there. What a huge piece. And then vintage elements. Again, you can be using those stamps to create almost your own little wax seals with these absolutely beautiful elements time and time again dependent on the mediums that you're working with including your fabrics of course the key thing is to make sure that the fabrics and um, inks that you're working with are going to be right for your fabrics if you're not washing then you don't have to worry um the the, the inks that you use but if it's something that you are wanting to wash then something like your vertacraft and obviously heat set that when you actually apply but this is where i love this adding that detail giving it the vintage look and don't forget if you've gone for those stamps that we were chatting about earlier on you've gone for both sets you'll actually have the story won't you that you could actually replicate it and get these stamps and use it as the corners but um, for the time being if you're wanting those stamps the details are there 12.99 whichever of those two sets you go for but they are both on the same item number so as many of you are you can go for both of them at the same time 535904 right do you remember right back at the beginning i showed you some <laughs> fabulous stamps and they sold out and then they came back into stock and then they sold out right okay we've had a chat with jane these well, actually, we locked her in the broom cupboard and we told her she couldn't come back out until we could have more stock. So with these, three weeks extended delivery with these, but they are back in stock and available for you as well. And that is it. She's, she's been quite firm. She's put her foot down with a firm hand and she said, there you go, that's it. 23rd of March, so that's your, heart, um, your hair if you're wanting your fabulous hair. But we've also got the crow. These are not going to last, though, because we've been having people that are waiting for these. And I know the frustration when things go out of stock, but Janie's managed to get these. Now, I think, are you working with these, Janie, in your yes, demo? I'm quick, quick, do it now, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. So, I'm going to start off with um, Hawking. Okay, so, and it's very rare, actually, it's typical with all these sellouts, it's very rare that I produce something in advance and go, this is what we're going to make. I normally just wing it. I was prepared this time and it's like, can't do that, they <laughs> sold out. So, right, um, I don't think we mentioned earlier that the stamps come to you in paper envelopes. They do, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because I try and cut down on plastic where possible. Okay. Sometimes it's not possible. Um, and also because we were saying off screen that I'm very messy and um, my stamps go everywhere. So it's ideal to keep them in their nice envelope. Nice and neat. Lovely. So um, as we said earlier, these are sizable stamps. So you can see with the size of my hand. So um, I'm using this I don't know what you call this platform, actually, the one with the sponge corners. Oh, um, um, Stan Paddock's um, girls used to bring something like that, didn't they? Yeah. I think this is a Crafts 2 one. Okay. Um, and actually, just before the show, <laughs> we had to lower the table, didn't we? Because I was we like, did. oh, the table's like too Crafts high. Two. I don't think I'm going to be able to stamp didn't on it. I like that Crafts 2 did one of these. I'll have to get one of these. I didn't know. I've, I've had one. this for ages, actually. Um, right, so I've printed off some papers which are from the Digi Kit. Okay, the Digital Download. And these yeah. echo through all of the kits that we've had on today as well. Um, and I'm going to stamp Hawking onto the repeat pattern. Okay. Single figures now with these stamps, folks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you need to have more confidence in your work. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's loving these. Right. So, I now feel like I'm rushing again, so if it doesn't stamp properly, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bless. It's one of those mornings, isn't it? And it's like I never sleep very well the night before a show oh, bless either. You. So yeah. I know that if any company that comes to us, um, when it's a small company, just like as Jane is, everybody gets very nervous about bringing new things. Um, I need to let you know that technically um, this one has sold out, but Jane, you, you, you need Can to I? continue. So. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, yeah, sold out. So fifteen ninety nine. Well done, and thank you to everybody that's placed your order. And I think we need to kind of campaign for more of these, don't we, from uh, lovely Jane? <laughs> I think there's going to be more in the story as well. So uh, yeah. Um, so Christopher Crowe is still available, she says, confidently. 
Not so confidently, because I don't think the stock of this one is going to last as well. But yeah, again, if you're wanting this one, you can get hold of Christopher Crowe. Do you know what the funny thing is, when you just said, jokingly, you need to be more confident, the thing is, when you do this on your own, and it goes from the sketches, the, the doodles, the scribbles that you've just seen, there's no one else to make a decision. Yeah. So it's all you. So, you uh, you know, you put your heart into it, and mm -hmm. you work on this, and it's it's pretty full on when you yes. when you're designing a whole thing mm -hmm. and then you put it out there and it's like I hope people are gonna like it and like now it's like thank you thank you so yeah, much I think, yeah I think they like it yeah <laughs> I think we, we've ticked that box <laughs> right so I've stamped him or her Hawking could be either onto the pattern here um, I'm just gonna roughly cut out I'm not gonna fussy cut the whiskers who's got time for that That's nonsense true. that is just silly <laughs> so I'm going to, and again, I'm doing this quickly, so excuse me if it's uh, a bit rushed. Okay. I've um, got keys on the phone line, folks, as well, just to warn you, if you are placing your order on the phone line, um, yeah, you need to be quick with regards to those. Um, can I quickly show you this? Because we haven't really shown you. We've spoken of the digital download, which is at the bottom of your screen, just while Janie's cutting out. You've got the details there. The digital download is going to give you the ability for you to print out elements as well, and as often as you like. And I think you'll agree, absolutely beautiful artwork. Obviously, you can get hold of the kits, the fabulous little treasure boxes with your pages in there and your elements that you can obviously craft with. But if you do have the ability to print um, your own crafting materials, then I would certainly suggest you get hold of this um, download $6.99 brilliant value for money and it gives you the ability to print and print and print to your heart's content so if you wanted to get a hold of those you're not going to get anything physically sent out to you so if you've ever bought downloads from us or anywhere before you'll know that you will get the information emailed through to you and that means it's going to come to you I don't know how quick it comes because I'm, I'm getting well, I don't know I don't know but it will arrive I don't know should, if it's pretty instant or I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there works. should be a link. So once you check out, I think you go into your orders and it's sitting there ready for you to download. Perfect. I'm not sure if it comes as email as well, but I'm pretty sure that you go to your account. Your account within the, the with website. Your orders, Perfect. yeah, and you can download so it straight from there. I think we're crafting with these this afternoon yeah. then. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to say that Jenny would... Oh, no, you're not back later on, are you? I was thinking no. that you're going to be back later, but yeah. <laughs> but you can show us what you've created later. Sorry, Janie, carry That's on. That's OK. So um, what I'm going to do, like I said, I didn't cut out the whiskers because that would just be silly. Okay. So I'm going to stamp again onto the background. So all I'm doing is inking up the whiskers and any little wispy bits that I haven't cut out. OK. OK, so move him to one side. So I will position this where I want him to be on the paper. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to stamp down these whiskers. And do you know what? It sounds funny. I asked my brother-in-law if he had any... He does a lot of really stunning photography. Okay. So I said, have you got any photos of hairs for when I was drawing it? And it sounds silly, but I didn't realise how hairy a hair is. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, it's not anything I've really it's, thought of. Well, you don't see them close up, That's do you? That's true, yeah. Um, so when I was really zooming in on the photo, they are, you know, and it looks like I've really extended the eyelashes yeah. and the whiskers and everything, but they are really they're hairy. Very really, pretty animals, <laughs> beautiful. Um, yeah, they're very popular um, around where I am. We're not too far from Glastonbury, and if you go to oh, Glastonbury, yeah. you'll yeah. see images of hairs everywhere it, it's kind of like a bit of a mystical well, it's got a bit of a creature. spiritual feel to it yeah it's kind of one of those spiritual animals, it's quite magical so, yeah. if we see them because where we are the you don't see them very often but and you they know. leap as well don't they yeah. they go quite high yeah they jump around. so i'm going to position this one over okay and i've used the glue that hopefully gives me a little bit of wiggle time so you can see what i'm doing is lining up the whiskers so once I stick him down, that's a really clever tip. I think I'm going to so, steal that. It's a very yeah. clever way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, so now you're not missing any of the detail, but yeah. we didn't need to fussy cut that out. And you've got the difference between the two prints. 
I'm not going to finish the whole thing off completely because it's gone again, hasn't it? It has gone, yeah. yeah. We've actually got the details up on the screen of Christopher Crowe. And, and many of you out there eagle-eyed will say, that's not a crow. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's the only stamp that we really can show you on the screen um, that relates to this fabulous story that um, we started, this journey with Jamie. Um, and I think many of us are going to be joining you on this journey in the story. <laughs> um, shall I show you a couple of little pictures that we've got? Now, these are fans of Jamie um, who have been creating some beautiful pieces using elements she's brought to us before now this one is from Lorraine and this is Lorraine's first project working with Janie's um, goodies so you can see if you are completely new to Janie's range then uh, yeah you, you are gonna be able to create some absolutely amazing pieces very very quickly and easily so Lorraine thank you for sharing that with us absolutely beautiful um, I bought the details up, well well I haven't bought the details because I'm stood here I bought the stamp up <laughs> to show you the stamp that relates to the details on the screen there I know that you've seen this already but it is flying out the story behind these stamps is we bought them to the top of the hour you found these yourselves I didn't even get to you um, to show them to you before they started selling out and they have come back on extended delivery that extended delivery stock um, sold out we managed to get hold of a few more we've literally pinned poor Janie down to try and get as much stock as we possibly can she's only a very small business a small enterprise so she can't bring thousands and thousands and hundreds and hundreds of different elements so this is why things sell out so quickly but it's purely down to the popularity as well because again it's a risk that um, any of our, our fabulous suppliers make when they come to us they, they kind of risk the fact that you're going to enjoy what they've brought to us and on this occasion she's hit the nail right on the head and I'm sure we will see more from Christopher Crowe and fabulous hawking hair now we've got about seven minutes left on the show and it's okay. funny because usually when we have a show we say where's the time gone but it's kind of like oh my goodness we've still got seven <laughs> minutes um, and so much has gone on it's been a bit of a crazy morning is. isn't it <laughs> I'm just going to quickly show you uh, with the lace elements okay but just while you were talking on this one all I've done is gone in with a little pen and you can see how I've drawn it. I kind of indicate to you where the shading would be. Okay. So all is you that do one of the there. the clean colour pen. Yes. Oh, we had and a couple of fabulous shows of those beige. yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, all you do is just go around, put a bit of shading in, and you know it's kind of coloured for you. That's it. Lovely. Right. So as we haven't got much time, what I'll do is because I was explaining to you about the lace elements, mm -hmm. let's just. Um, we're just going to have a play with them. We're Lovely. not going to make anything in particular. But I will show you how you can build a pattern. Just checking that sticks because I normally leave my stamp so dirty <laughs> they don't stick anymore. So I'll stamp it down there. I'm not going to re-ink. I'm going to turn it and stamp again. Keep going until there's no ink left. And then do the same again. And keep building up like that then I'm going to use this is the tiny I think this is the smallest stamp in the set and this is the um, netting and then again you can move it around in between and it gives you the idea of the lace. Just keep turning it around. Now you don't have to have this on a block if you don't want to either. Depending on what you're doing it on, it might be easier for you just to do it like this. Fill in all the little elements. Oh, that's a clever tip. So obviously, again, you would take more time than I'm doing here but it's just to show you how it how it builds and then you've got different elements like this one here so you can see how it starts to build beautiful and um, what should we go for next let's go with this one here it's brilliant because like you say you could build up a whole page and as long as you're using the right ink pad to start with, then you can start adding your base colours afterwards, can't you? And then, uh, obviously, with your permanent ink. Um, two choices of your stamps with these ones, twelve ninety nine. We will show you those a little bit later on, I'm sure. Um, and we've got the details on the download at the bottom of the screen as well, which is very popular as well. All I'm going to do, just to give you a better idea, is trim it down slightly. 
If you imagine this is a background, and then <laughs> let's just ink around the edge. So you can imagine that as a background that looks to fabulous. if you if you imagine Christopher Crow, because you mm -hmm. don't have to stamp the whole thing. Yeah. You could have just his head peeking out from here yes. with a little sentiment along yeah. the top. And also if you were to do this, say in a in a gold heat embossing, that would look beautiful as well. Good but point. it's just to show you how quickly you can build well, um guess a pattern. What? We're busy for those stamps as well, aren't we? <laughs> Everything that Janie's sharing with us is flying out. So the lace elements, that one is limited in stock. So 12 dollars you're going to get all those elements that Janie's just been sharing with us. And she's quite right. So easy to work with. Build up your design, place those down and create some amazing pieces. Um, don't forget with regards to that item number, you've got choices. You've got fancy filigree as well. So again, you could go for those ones. Um, Christopher Crow, just to let you know, incredibly busy with regards to Christopher Crow. He's hanging on by a thread. 80% of the stock has gone. And Jamie was mentioning about some of the fabulous things that have been created using the stamp. So I thought we'd take the opportunity, just because we probably won't have time to go to the back of the set to show these. So bringing these in. And again, I mean, absolutely beautiful the way that these have been used, Jamie. I mean, that artwork is fabulous. Thank Thank you for sharing it with us. And that one, uh, Julie did that one, so it just shows you putting the colour in like that. So that's uh, stamped in black and then clear embossed, Beautiful. and then obviously you can just colour in between. Um, mm. But then you've got the key, you've got so the uh, watch element there is from Hawkin, so that's the dandelion across clock, across them across, which yeah. also have little um, hands of the clock if you want to put them on there as oh, well. I see. And then that's you using a technique that we've done in workshops before as well to create a whole canvas piece. Fabulous. And again, don't just get, limit it to your paper and your card. Take inspiration and actually use it as a base to embroider. Absolutely amazing. A really, really pretty design. So if you're wanting your stamp, then please do get a hold of it. Um, digital download, um, as we leave you towards the end of the show, very, very, very busy with regards to these. And the digital download is giving you all the elements. So with the download, what sort of things are we going to find in there? Um, A4 so, sheets and things like yeah, that? Yeah, so they're all um, full A4 sheets. Um, you've got tags in there. You've got envelopes, pockets. You've got repeat pattern designs. You've got the scenes that you can see um, on the actual book there. So all your wildflowers and your mushrooms. There's loads of additions on there. There's, Will we there's find loads. Hawking on there? Um, yes. Yeah, so in the digital download, you've okay. got... So that is from the original painting that we saw earlier that Melissa sent in. Yes. And that's the only place that that print will be. So there's um, two, I think, with Hawking on and one with Hawking and Christopher. So if people missed out on the stamp, I know it's not the same as the stamp, yes. but if you just yeah. can't be without a little Hawking in your pasta <laughs> stash, then the digital download is the way to go, really, isn't it, to get hold of them? Janie, thank you so much. I mean, you, you've worked like a trooper, bless you. I feel you. like I need a lie down now, but I've got you a lot of packing to do. You need a lie down. Do, <laughs> what do you think I feel like? <laughs> thank you, everyone. No, thank you. <laughs> We're all exhausted, but thank you. Beautiful artwork. And please bring back more from these fabulous stories. Um, so, yeah, what can I say? Anything in your basket, you need to be checking your baskets out, especially if you are going for any of the stamps, because, again, the lacy elements flying out. Christopher Crow again, flying out, as are those wonderful little treasures box kits as well so whatever's in your basket please check your baskets out if you're watching on repeat stands a chance that the items that you're wanting are no longer available that's why it's so important to tune in and see these live shows stay tuned though we've got another live show coming up straight after the break And again, we've got another fabulous hour with Cricket coming up. The lovely Emma Jewell will be joining us via Skype. Then we're going to be making it with Joe straight after that. And then, of course, it'll be 12 o'clock, so it'll be one day special time. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. 
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Well, hello everybody and welcome. If you did miss the earlier hour, we've got another look at the fantastic machine of the month. It is this gorgeous Cricut, beautiful, beautiful machine. The Cricut Maker, it comes in the rows. So you've got that beautiful rose. And then as we open up, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. it is just such a good machine. The price is incredible, but before we get on to uh, all the details, I want to introduce you to a lovely and very talented crafter. It's our Emma. Hello, Emma. Hello, how are you? 
I'm very well. Emma, my favourite game whenever I work with you is to see your, uh, what customised T-shirt you're going to be wearing each show. And I, I love the sentiment on your top. Keep being kind. Yeah. Yeah. Keep being, I like it. <laughs> Keep being kind and enjoy your crafting. Is that, I know we're getting ahead here, but that looks like, is that the, uh, the fusible ink? Yes, it is in Fusible Ink, which I'm going to show you lots of today on the show. So, very, yeah, very that's cool. It's it's a clever ink because the way it works, it doesn't sit on the surface. It actually uh, infuses into the materials on there. So we will be getting into that. Uh, right now, details for our now. This is our machine of the month. It is the Cricut Maker. Every time we feature this, the standard price is normally $379.99. And Emma, if you, I've seen it in department stores, I've seen it elsewhere. That is what you would pay, the regular retail price for the Cricut Maker. So the price we have on the show today is really, really good. Uh, apologies, we have got a few issues with our graphics, but the price is $344.99. I mean, Emma, that's a good price, isn't it? really good i mean amazing and look at it in that lovely pink rose color it's just yes. so beautiful the it's a nice colorway too so you are getting that beautiful rose gold it's it's a really classy colorway but everything about this machine i know i say it every time we feature anything cricket but uh, the maker i'm going to open this up and look how smoothly it all just glides open and offers up. It is just such a lovely, lovely, lovely machine. Um, and the possibilities here as well. So, Emma, what can we do with our maker? Yep, so we can cut a really wide range of materials with the maker. Um, anything from paper, card, to your iron-on and vinyls, um, and then through to any fabric. So this is the only Cricut machine that will cut any fabric with mm -hmm. its rotary blade. So think silk, cotton, leathers, all of that. And then you can also cut thicker materials like balsa wood up to 2.4 millimeters in thickness. So you've got such a wide range of materials you can use for all of your different projects here. Um, remember, you can put the pen in as well to draw or write. Uh, there's just endless opportunities here to create some really lovely projects. I like that endless opportunities. Every time we've done a show with Cricut, we always suggest just download the Cricut design software. If you go on to uh, anywhere where you get your apps from, download the software. It's Cricut Design Space. I'm right in saying that, Emma, Cricut Design Space? Yeah, Cricut yeah. Design Space, that's right, yeah. yeah. And so once you download the app, you don't need to have a machine. You can download the app effectively, try before you buy. So you can see all the uh, all the different designs, patterns, themes, everything in there. Emma, you always impress me with this fact, and I should know off the top of my head, but how, when we go into the cricket design space, how many elements have we got at our disposal? How big is the library? Yeah, it's actually just gone up. So it's now over 170,000 images in the library. Uh, then you've got hundreds of projects as well and hundreds of fonts. So, yeah. <laughs> loads of possibility there and you can upload your own images too so there really is uh, no end to what you can create upload your own image images you can customize in there as well there are free uh, so within the library some you pay for uh, you got a lot of free options too so do have a look at that details on your screen look at this saving 35 pound saving and what I love about Hochandra as well uh, different to say going onto the high street you're able to spread the cost so you can pay 115 pounds today we send the machine out to you and you can spread the cost over three months but Emma my goodness 115 pounds today as the first part of our flexi payment and you get this fabulous machine and you effectively can get crafty yes yeah, you can get it straight out of the box, pop pop a material onto the mat and start cutting straight away. And, you know, you've really just got so many options and so many um, materials that you can cut with this machine. I think if you're on the fence about which one to go for and you're someone who does lots of different projects, the Maker is definitely the one for you. It is such a good machine. Do read the reviews. Look, odds are, and I, I fully accept, this might be your first time discovering cricket stick around and Emma's got some great demonstrations to show you what you can do I think uh, for those of you that are going to be buying today odds are you cricket's been on your radar for a while and you've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to get hold of it all I can say is personally this is my own personal experience 
The price we're offering as our machine of the month is the lowest price I've seen the Cricut machine here at Hochanda. So typically, the regular retail price for a Cricut machine will be uh, $379.99. That is the regular uh, retail price. We've got it on for £344.99. You're saving £35. And you've got access to those three flexi payments, 115 today. And then obviously, in the, across the three months, then you're going to be paying the two remaining payments. So uh, great value for money. Busy for our machine. This is what you are getting. What a saving. Now is the time. So many people have actually started businesses with the Cricut Maker. And the only reason I mention that is it shows the quality that you're getting with the machine. So the finish, the professional finish that you're going to get, the amount of files at your fingertips, same in, well, the same theme really with the Joy. It's a professional machine, but here we've got a little bit more um, portability. Uh, you're getting a bundle now. So this is not only the Joy, but a fantastic bundle. You're getting the carry case, you're getting the Joy in itself. That's a fantastic machine. Then you're getting your uh, carry case as well, which is just a beautifully made carry case. We can protect, we can take our Joy on the go. But not only that, we've also got the infusible inks. So you're getting both the infusible inks in the pen form and also in the foils. Then down here, we've got your tool set, which you'll need. If you're just starting out, you really do need that tool set. And we've also got a little project for you as well in the form of the coasters. You're getting, well, I've got to show you this. Wow. Look at these, the ceramic coasters. So you can, you can hear that. Isn't that beautiful? Or could you imagine doing something like this? Hello there. Or how about this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was nearly good. There you go. Butterfingers. Oh, well, there we go. Turn that the right way. How beautiful is that? So the finish is incredible. Um, it's your, I'm going to get this right now. Is it your brother in law that likes to work with this or your brother, Emma? Oh, they both now have okay, machines, they both so have a cricket okay. support for the whole family. <laughs> yeah, what, I like, I'm literally one-on-one -on -one hotline. Emma, I want to do a project. Um, this is a yeah. really good bundle. What I like about this, Emma, everything in this bundle you are going to use. Uh, the infusible foils and inks are a game changer. We will get into those. The weeding tools, so important as well. The actual carry case, and it's the build quality and everything you get. Every time I work with you, Emma, I kind of give this analogy. There's a well-known mobile phone, and it's really expensive, but for good reason. It warrants it. And when you open it up, you take it out of the box, you feel the build quality. And I kind of get the sense, and in touching uh, the machines with Joy and the, the Cricut Maker, they've got that same kind of level of build quality. And just here, just from the zip, I know it sounds like a silly thing, but every part of this bag is so well made and your joy will just sit into your bag there. There's even a little diagram showing you how to put it in. The only reason I mention that, <laughs> I faffed around. <laughs> there was a very awkward TV moment where live TV goes wrong where I was just trying to put the joy in the wrong way and it was not working. So just follow, follow the little diagram there. But um, it's a great machine. Now, I'm just going to speak to... Uh, we've got a few of you right now with the joy in your basket. It is, I know from experience, and actually I know because a few of the team have the joy and they've spoken to me about it. It is such a good, good machine. And the finish you get with the joy is incredible as well. What, what's been your experiences with the joy, Emma? Oh, I just adore it. I mean, how cute is it to start off with? Um, it's been out for almost a year. I think it's its birthday next week. Yeah. Um, and for me, it's just so portable. And especially around the house, obviously not able to take it out anymore. Uh, but around the house for me to just take it downstairs, craft in front of the telly, not have to, you know, use any muscle power to pick this up yeah. or carry it around. Um, is something I just love about it. And it, it just looks so cute in my craft room. I know well, that's not a reason to buy anything, but for me, what, look, <laughs> it just looks adorable. It is cute. It, it really, I know it sounds like a silly thing to say, but it really is very, very cute as a machine. So it looks aesthetically, it looks good, which is important. Um, but also, with this machine, there are so many nice features. It's got its own design software, so it's got its, got its own app, which you can download right now. Um, if we wanted to find that app, how would we find it, Emma? 
Yep, if you search cricket in your app store, um, you're going to get Cricket Design Space Turn Up, which is the one we use for all of our machines, and you can yep. use that for Joy too. And then you'll notice the Cricket Joy app as well. Yep. Um, it's got a kind of uh, coloured logo similar to the colour of the machine, and uh, that's a really simple kind of click and go project yep. um, app. So you can use both depending what kind of mood you're in. If you just want to select a project and make it, Go Cricket Joy app. If you want to design from scratch, go more in depth, you can of course use the Cricket Design Space app as well. It's so nice having the ability to use both apps and also you could, it, directly from your phone. So literally with your phone, it is, everybody, it is off. Uh, but with the phone, it works directly with your machine so you can literally from your phone to your joy and print off your project. So do have a look at both apps. Uh, I've got to tell you, there is extended dispatch on uh, the joy. It's going to be dispatched from the 15th of March, but not long to wait at all. Can I just show you the infusible inks? Now, you are getting the uh, foils and you're getting the pens in this. Such a clever innovation because the image you're seeing there is actually infused into the fabric. So that's not sitting on the first surface. You can see it stretches, comes back. It is, I would say, Emma, it's a game changer. It really is. It's one of those things that when I use it, I can't actually <laughs> believe I made the project because it's so professional. Um, and that's because it fuses in to the fabric or to the material that we're popping it onto. So we're not gonna, it's not gonna scratch off or peel because it actually mm -hmm. becomes one with the fabric. We're not gonna get any fading or washing off uh, because it is part of that fabric. Um, and of course, you've got it either in the transfer sheets, which yeah. give you uh, lovely colors and patterns, or in the pens, which mean we can draw with it um, or color in, draw mm -hmm. by hand, draw with the machine uh, to make some really beautiful projects. Now, with the pens, these work specifically in the Joy, so they won't go into the Maker, is that right? Yes, yeah. Joy has its own sized pens, so just okay. bear that in mind. These pens don't go into the Explore and the Maker like our normal pens yeah. do and vice okay. versa. These ones are just for Joy. Well, it's adapted to the fact, and it, it all boils down to the portability with the Joy. i tell you a real endorsement for this machine. I was um, chatting to, I don't want to name drop here, but a well-known uh, social influencer, Jermaine Swede, and he started to use the joy to create, I think what, what the term is, I want to sound, sound like an old man, but he creates his own merch, they call it like merchandise and stuff like that, and that shows the level of quality that you get with the joy. So if you want to create your own merch, this is the way to do it, either with the joy or the maker. Uh, okay, so joy's been busy, 229.94 your price, you're saving 35 pounds, you're getting your Cricut Joy, which is an incredibly portable machine and gives you such a great finish. Then you're getting the bag within the bundle, both infusible inks, the foils and the pens, and if that's not enough, you're also getting your weeding tools, or your tool set, I should say, and you're getting four of the ceramic coasters. So all of that, uh, really nice price, and I think a lot of, this is the kind of machine where it's a good access point to cricket if you just want to dip your toe into the fabulous world that is cricket. But also, a lot of uh, cricket fans and aficionados who maybe have the maker and just want to add to the family, it's a nice machine. Uh, your item number here is 731945. Something else to get that, now just talking about that professional finish. Um, this makes all the difference, Emma. So we've got the easy press, and uh, this is your nine by nine. Thing is, with a lot of the uh, techniques and the mediums that we're using, they do need to be heat set, and there is a massive difference. I mean, it's worlds apart just using an iron or using the heat press. What would you say to anyone who's sat at home thinking, well, I'll just use an iron, it's fine, I've got an iron at home? Yeah, so your home iron, of course, has steam holes. Those aren't giving out any heat, so they're completely cold spots. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're using um, iron-on or infusible ink, um, it, would be, it would be even worse to use an iron with infusible ink. Please don't do that. Please use an easy press. Um, what you're going to get there is places that haven't been heated up at all. So in the case of iron-on vinyl, mm -hmm. those are going to peel later on because they haven't actually been pressed at all. Um, and Or in the case of infusible ink, your iron just doesn't get hot enough uh, to make that uh, science happen for the infusible mm -hmm. ink to infuse into the fabric. Also, only a really tiny little piece of your iron, about an inch square in the middle, is actually hot enough 
for iron on um, and you don't really know what temperature that is yeah. whereas with our easy press we can set the exact temperature and time and that whole plate is going to stay exactly the same temperature edge to edge um, it's going to stay at that temperature it's going to keep a that. constant so as opposed yeah, to having it, just a tiny hot spot on your iron which you don't even know where it is you're getting that whole plate that heats up to temperature there is a digital display as Emma was saying you've got the countdown so it, it ensures that you get the perfect amount of heat for the perfect time to set and give that professional image yeah yeah okay. so you can be really specific as well there with yeah. uh, what type of material you're using and what type of iron on or infusible ink and you can set it to the degree and the second you can be that precise so it just gives you that really professional finish and it's a lot quicker in under 40 seconds generally your projects can be pressed and finished so emma i've been talking about the fact that i am going to be joining the cricket club it's going to happen i've just been busy <laughs> being a new dad and I, I have been busy but and I'll, I'll be posting pictures so i promise you hand on heart i will be investing in a cricket machine it's just for the personalization i'm personally going to be going for the maker so i've got my eye on that I'm tempted to go for the monthly mega deal for the price that you're getting there, but I told myself, and I already, last time we did a show, in my head, I'd already bought it. I'm going to go for the maker and I am going to go for the easy press. But last time we worked together, there wasn't a special deal on the easy press. And I said to myself, I'm going to wait because I know we are going to come up with a deal at some point. Can I just say, the deal we have on the easy press right now, for an extra £17, not only are you getting the easy press, but you're getting the mat there as well, which is look, obviously so important. Now that by itself is twenty-four ninety-nine. but here's the other biggie. You're going to be getting your smart iron-ons there as well and your Joy infusible inks. So you're getting all three of those as well for an extra £17. And not only that, you've got an instant project as well because it includes a tote bag as well. So you can turn this tote bag into, now remember all the designs that you can find design space. Look at that, or if you're using your Joy. So we can say, be bold, love that. Or maybe you want to create something like this. It's that to me, Emma, it looks like that's been shop bought. The finish you yeah. get with, and it is all down to obviously using either the Joy, the Maker, but the Easy Press makes a massive difference, and it really does. And I'm, we're not just saying that, the difference between using an iron and the Easy Press, they are polar worlds apart. Yeah, it's that professional finish. That's the big difference here. It really gives that that finished look that makes it extra professional yeah. you, and you're not you know just hoping for the best when you give something or sell it it lasts you know when you've pressed it with these press that it's going to have yeah. that durability because you've pressed it properly that's it and 45 pounds saving and you've also got the flexi payments the three flexi payments as well 62 31 your price there uh 476 680 your item number right we're going to be quick we've just got a last little bundle to show you it's a good one. This is the infusible inks. The first time I saw the infusible inks, I was sold on them. And they, they are a game changer. The way they work is incredible. And in this, this is really good because we're getting, the, uh, we're getting the markers in here. We're also getting the transfer sheets and you're getting the square coasters as well. So square coasters, they're ceramic topped with a cork background. Just gonna show you. So there's the cork background and the ceramic top. And you can do whatever you like. I've got a few examples of uh, what you can achieve with the coasters. Just having a look here. It's the vibrancy with the inks, Emma, are incredible. And just imagine yeah. all those designs. This is a nice one. Yeah, how cool is that? You've just else? got so much to play with because you've got those beautiful pattern sheets, the colors, and then you've got the pens as well. So, you know, that one you've just picked up, um, that was both uh, the previous one, yet yeah, it's both a sheet and the pen on top of that. So you've got ah. a bit of both of them. <laughs> well, they all work together. They, I'm yeah. so impressed with this, though, and it is that vibrancy of, oh, like, be kind. This is uh, see something that I think of you, Emma. You're, very, you, you're always a very <laughs> positive person. Um, I really like this bundle now. You are saving £12. And within this bundle, Emma, I'd use everything. Like, the markers are incredible. Now, are these markers for the Joy or the Maker? These are for the Joy. These okay. are Joy-sized. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, these will work within your Joy. 
Uh, actually, uh, this whole bundle is for the Joy, and our Joy has been busy. So if you want to get uh, the bundle for the Joy, this is where to go. Thirty-four ninety-five your price, saving twelve pounds. And it does actually. It says on the packaging there. I should say, look, it's, it's Cricket Joy. Uh, well done, Yanis. One 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 seven seven zero your item number there. Okay. Now, uh, Emma, I'm going to let you get set for your demonstration. Is that okay? Yes. She's like, yes. Uh, right, we're going to have a quick look at the website as we head over to Emma for our first demo. There is so much to discover, so do have a look. If you want to get hold of the infusible inks, uh, transfer sheets, there's lots to discover there. Uh, we've also got tool sets. We've got cutting mats in the mix as well. Uh, there's freedom if you want to add freedom into your basket. And where else have we got? Iron-ons, fabrics. Here we go, foil, vinyl. So you can just keep on going and going and going. What I would suggest is just type in Cricut and see all the goodies on offer. But uh, there is so much to enjoy. Uh, I think the best way to really appreciate how good the Cricut is, whether it's the Maker, the Joy, the Easy Press, is to see it in action. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to head to Emma. What we got, Emma? Cool. I'm going to use one of the uh, patterned uh, infusible link transfer sheets. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop this face up onto the mat. I've already chosen my design. Um, I've mirrored my design so it's going to cut the other way around. Uh, and that's because we're going to flip our uh, sheet over onto our blank. So just bear that in mind, especially if you've got any writing or anything. Okay. I'm going to load that into the machine. Now, I've already chosen infusible ink transfer sheet as my material setting on my device. So there's nothing else I need to do here except for press go. Oh, I've lost my mouse. Where has he gone? There we are. Okay. And that will now get started cutting. Right. And so, Emma, we talk about the possibilities within Design Space. And it is incredible because you can pick when you think about what you're going to be doing. So what type of events we craft for. If you've got a wedding coming up and uh, think I know how much I paid for my wedding stationery. You can do all of it, whether it's with the joy or with the maker. So weddings covered, invitations covered, christenings covered, birthdays covered, uh, Easter. And this not only for and I know we're looking at the uh, joy right now, but if you're going for the maker, we can also do uh, we can cut fabric. So thinking about making quilts, cutting blocks, all of that coming through. There is literally you can type in anything. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot, Emma. What's like a random thing we could put into the design software? If we put in, say, skulls, would something come up for skulls? Oh my God, you'd get thousands of stuff up for skulls. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's all sorts on there. Um, worldwide holidays. Um, we now have different languages as well. So, I mean, oh. it's just endless. Um, oh. If you can think of something generally, you yeah, type it in, you've definitely got at least a couple of things to turn up, if not hundreds. <laughs> yeah, it, loads in there. It is the personalization. And the reason, sorry to keep on talking about me wanting to go for the maker, but I'll tell you what prompted it. And I've always liked the machine, but um, so two things. So becoming a dad, I'm thinking about that personalization now. Um, oh, I'll give you a prime example. I can say this because I don't think my mom's watching. But um, I was going to get, so a, a Greek grandma is called a yaya. -ya. That's what you say in Greek. And I wanted to get my mum a mug because it's obviously Mother's Day and say congratulations being yaya, -ya, world's best yaya -ya grandmother. But I'm, it's about 15 quid to buy one. Now you can just make, obviously with your maker or the joy, you can make it and also you can make your own design and you can really personalize it because it's not just, yeah, yeah, you can say the actual name of the baby, whatever, put loads of things on it. So that's one thing. But then we can go on to clothing. I know when uh, my little boy Archer, when he gets a bit older, being able to personalize clothes because as a parent, you've got like book days or uh, little plays and stuff you have. The maker you are going to use and use and use and I know you use yours every day. Yeah, there's just so many uh, re reasons to craft and even more reasons now I've got this because it's so easy to whip up a project or like you say, personalize things to somebody, um, you know, even la I'm a last minute person, you know, <laughs> so if someone's having a baby, I probably won't have thought about it until yeah. the baby's here, but then I can whip up a personalized baby grow, pop it in the post to them and that's just a really lovely personal gift and, um, it and it makes me look 
great because it makes me look like I yeah. spent a lot more time yeah. and, and effort. It's funny you say person. that because we, we received a lot of personalized um, clothing. Actually, one of uh, the team here who has a maker made us some uh, baby grows and clothes with, with uh, Archer on it. And it means so much more when you see the baby's name on there. So you can just go and buy some baby grows and personalize it, give a really special gift. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How are right, we getting? I have my um, transfer sheet. I've taken it off the mat and I've just trimmed around it because I can use that bit another time. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm going to do something we call cracking. I will just okay. roll it through our hands and you'll hear that cracking noise. Right. <laughs> and that just helps us weed away our design. Yeah. Um, so I've gone for a coaster here with a kind of uh, leopard print pattern. So if well, I start to pick out my, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, pick out my pieces, and then you'll see, you'll start to see the pattern here. Um, I don't often personally use a weeding tool with infusible ink because it feels like a, a, a cardstock rather yeah. than a thin uh, sheet of vinyl. Oh, um, okay. So it's really easy to just peel it and pick it out with your fingers. Of course, use whatever tools you fancy, but you don't need to. Um, you don't need them as much for infusible ink. Yeah. Um, it's really satisfying. And of course, you could use these pieces again. Uh, that I'm picking out, I can use them for another project, so mm -hmm. I'll just pop them to the side for something later on. And pick all the bits out. Nice. Almost there. Now, you are part of a group, um, so if anyone wants to follow, I'll become part of that group on Facebook. How do we find it? Yes, my group is called the Cricket Club, um, and there's lots of, well, there's me giving loads of help in there, and everyone's really lovely. They share all their lovely projects and makes and uh, ask for help, and it's just absolutely lovely. So that's the Cricket Club on Facebook. Brilliant. You'll find me there most of my, my time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, right, we've got all our bits out there, I think. One more to go. So if I hold this up, you can see now that lovely pattern yeah. and you might notice that this is quite a dull blue yeah. um compared to the it's going to be this aqua color on the box and they look yeah. quite different um all will become clear as we press it uh, okay. because that color will brighten up as we add heat right. so when you get your um box home and you take your sheets out of the box and you think oh no these have gone off they've gone <laughs> they've yeah. lost their color not the case at all. Uh, when when they react with the heat, that's when all of their colour vibrancy is going to come. So we're going to put this face down onto our coaster. Yeah. And I'm just going to use a couple of bits of heat resistant tape to just um, help me stick that down and keep it in place whilst I press it. Right. Yeah. Now I've heated my Easy Press up to 205 degrees centigrade yeah. for 40 seconds and I'm going to pop that on my uh, easy press mat yes. then I've got a couple of sheets of paper to protect the mat okay. then I'm popping the coaster on top of there and then on top of that I'm sticking uh, what at Cricket we call butcher paper but here in the, the UK name for it is baking parchment yeah. and you get a sheet of this in the box with your um, infusible ink. Right. Uh, but if you do need more, just any old baking parchment from the supermarket does the job too. Perfect. So pop that down on top. Okay. And the reason for this protection is that the infusible ink turns into a gas mm. as it um, seeps into into your project, into oh, the coaster. Really? Um, if that, that coloured gas gets onto our um, mat or onto the plate of our easy press, what could happen when we press it next time is a kind of ghost of our project Transfer, appears yeah. on that next project, which okay. we don't want to happen. No. So that's why you're just going to collect those spare bits with this. Okay. So we're going to pop this straight on top, press the go button, and you're going to keep it as still as you can. Um, if you've got a nice firm tabletop, then the weight of the press is plenty. Um, I haven't, so I'm going to give a little bit of pressure okay. uh, just to be sure that I'm getting a good press. Nice. Um, we're counting down 45 seconds, so I'm 
about 25 mm. seconds to go. This is what I like about the Easy Press because you have got that digital countdown there as well, which you can set. And uh, the, the most important aspect of it is the edge to edge heat because, as Emma was saying, typically if you're trying to do this with an iron, you have a very, and I, I never knew this until uh, I worked with Emma, but you have a very small hot spot that you're trying to find. Whereas with the Easy Press, I will just grab it here, you can see you've got that edge edge to edge. The whole plate will heat up to wherever you, whatever you set it to. So, uh, and that's a, a game changer, really, Emma. Yeah, completely. Um, and especially for infusible ink, we need that hotter temperature and we need that constant temperature because we need to press, um, we need all of that sheet to be pressed at the same temperature. Okay. So we take off our butcher paper and then uh, what I will do is very carefully, because it's quite hot, <laughs> uh, peel away the transfer sheet. Now, of course, if you're at home, I would wait a good 15 minutes for this to cool before you touch it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be naughty and peel it carefully. And what you'll see happening is you'll see that my oh, wow. sheet now has no colour on it at yeah, all. Yeah, okay. And let me just peel this bit off. Okay, there we go. And here is my coaster, and you'll see that beautiful, bright so aqua colours come through. And that is completely, let's see if I can get a bit of light on that, um, infused into the coaster that's now. Amazing. So that's not sat on top, it's not going to scratch off, it's actually in the glaze of that coaster. So just from start to finish, we had our infusible ink sheet. You put it into your joy, and then you find the design. What's the joy doing? Is it cutting out the design then from the sheet, or how does that work? And then we just weed out the design. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. we stick it down. And when you heat it up, the way the sheets, infusible sheets work, the gas, yeah. it turns to a gas and then infuses into the medium. Yes. And just so you can see the difference in colour there between the two, yeah. uh, that was what our original sheet looked like. Yeah. And then that's that beautiful colour. So and you can see there gone, where yeah. the machine has cut the pieces away and then where all of that colour has disappeared now into my project. But what can we put the sheets onto, Emma? We, we've seen it goes onto, so with the coasters, there's, uh, we've got ceramic and we've also got acrylic. Uh, you've put it onto your tote bag. Is it any type of fabric or are there uh, any mediums we need to avoid? Yep, so it needs to be something that is at least 80% polyester mm -hmm. or has a high polymer content. Right. Um, so the Cricut compatible blanks are going to work perfectly because they're made for this purpose. Uh, so yeah, we've got tote bags and coasters on the show, but there are many more, <laughs> which I'm sure we'll have available another day. Um, yeah, but those are the kind of materials you're looking for. If you did put it on a cotton, for example, what will happen is you'll get really dull colours. Um, and it will probably wash off because there's nothing for it to hot fuse into in the fabric. There's nothing for it to hold on to, so it's just sat on top <laughs> and then yeah. it will just disappear. Um, so really make sure you don't waste it and you're using it on the correct compatible blank. Okay. Uh, Emma, thank you so much. I'll let you get set for our next demonstration. We've got a lot on the show. Uh, show. We have the Maker, the Joy, the Easy Press, Infusible Inks. We're going to go back to our Maker. This is the machine of the month and we are offering I really do believe a great price because everywhere that I've seen regular retail price and when we were, uh, it feels like a, an age ago, but when we were allowed to go into shops, um, I remember seeing the Cricut Maker in a department store and it was, lo and behold, regular retail price, $379.99. When you see it here at Ho-Chanda, that is our regular retail price, $379.99. The only reason I mention that, it's a genuine saving. You know, sometimes, and I don't know if you've ever done this, you kind of, you're on the internet and you see a saving, a supposed saving, and then what I do is I check it against other people selling it, and then suddenly that's the price it is elsewhere. So you kind of, it's a false economy, it's not a saving. That 35 pounds is a genuine saving for an incredible machine. Now, firstly, let's just point out, this is your rose machine, and the rose is just alluding to the colorway. You've got that wonderful sort of rose gold effect there. But as the machine goes, now just open that up and you can see every aspect of this from the fact that it's a machine that will grow with you. So when you buy this machine, you're going to get your cutting mats for both fabrics and for your vinyls and papers. You've got your rotary cutter 
that's what allows you to, and that's where the maker comes into its own because the only machine allows you to cut fabrics. So we can cut fabrics. We've got our marker, so we can create designs there. And then obviously we can cut our papers and vinyls as well uh, with the machine. But then if you want to go on and grow with your machine, there are more blades. They allow you to take on thicker materials, different specialty materials. We've actually got different blades on our website, so do feel free to have a look. You have got the two flex, uh, sorry, three flexi payments as well, and this is another great aspect with shopping Hotanda. £115 today, we send everything out to you. I know that a lot of you are just watching the show, enjoying cricket, uh, and just enjoying the show. You might not own a cricket machine, maybe it's something you're looking forward to in the future, or have you had your eye on this machine for a little while and been waiting for the right opportunity? Because that's what I'd be doing, and that's what I have been doing. You've been waiting for the right time to get hold of the machine. That is a great saving. Do take advantage for a phenomenal machine. I'm going to show you as well. It's the professional finish. I'm just going to pick up a couple of things, like, I'm going to go here. That was a mistake. So I'm, I knew I would pick it up, but I just want, the reason why I really wanted to show you this. Have a look at the finish that you are getting with the Cricut Maker. Now, same with the Joy, but obviously a Cricut Maker allows you to tackle fabrics as well. If you are a crafter, and this is a, a game changer in how you craft, um, all I would suggest, and please do this right now, if you're going to go for this machine, if you're thinking about going for this machine, go on to where if you've got a tablet or phone uh, or computer, wherever you get your apps from, download the Cricut Design Space and just have a look and test yourself. because. Think about who you make for. So type in, say, cards, uh, themes, birthday cards, or Mother's Day. Oh, this is a good one. Just type in Mother's Day and see all the projects that come out. Not just cards, because there's soft projects as well. You can use your rotary cutter cutting out fabric. So try before you buy. See all of the uh, files at your fingertips. I mean, a massive, vast, vast library. The reason why I want to go for this machine, I say I also, when I do get it, I'm going to go for the easy press as well and take advantage of the savings because seeing the easy press, if you want to achieve the results, the easy press makes a massive difference. You're looking here now at some of the professional finishes that you're getting and it really boils down to, I'm not just saying this to make it sound good or it gives you a professional finish. This is the machine that, and Emma was saying, a lot of people have actually created businesses with this machine. So if you do want to pop it into your basket, your item number is 058209. We have got a lot of you with this machine in your basket right now. All I can say to you is hand on heart, you will never, ever, ever regret investing in a cricket machine. You'll never look back. And it's a machine you're going to use time and time. You're going to put, first thing you will do is personalize everything in your home. So just looking here, you will custom you will look around and customize that cups water bottles t-shirts absolutely everything will become personalized uh, okay so that's your cricket maker it is our machine of the month we have got another fantastic bundle for you as well this to me it's kind of like a second uh, machine bundle of the month this is our joy so with the joy it's uh, you're getting the same precision the same professional finish as the maker it's a portable form the only difference is the joy does not cut fabric got to stress that 29 uh, sorry 229.94 your price here but you know what you're not just getting the joy but you're getting the joy of all the bundle that you're getting here because you're getting the carry case which is just if you're going to invest in a machine do it properly you know you're getting the case that by itself is 39.99 as a bag in its own you would absolutely pay that, and you'll know you only know what I mean by that when you get it home, and you'll just see how um, it's just the feel of it. It feels like an expensive bag. I know it's a silly thing to say, but trust me, when you get it home, you know what I'm speaking of there. Uh, you're going to get the infusible links, both in the foil, the transfers, I should say, and the pens. You've seen these in action. Now, the pens are specific to the joy, so they only work in your joy. Uh, you're also getting the, um, the tool set as well, which if you don't have it, the weeding tools and the scraper and everything, you're going to use all of those. And you're getting the coasters in the mix too. It is a great machine. It has its own design software. We use the uh, Cricut Design Space, but it also has its own app, which you can use. And it's so simple, just with your phone, so if you have a smartphone, it will link, it will pair with your joy. You can use your app and literally off your phone, create your inspirations. It's that simple. All right, we're going to move on to our Easy Press. Um, 
Seeing the, oh, just, sorry, I just want to give you the item number, 731-945, your item number there, and you have got the three flexi payments of 76.65. So with regard to the Joy, uh, sorry, the, uh, well, the Joy or the Maker, the Easy Press, and this has been very, very busy, makes a huge amount of difference. Ben, do we have any iron backstage at all? I don't know, do we have an iron we can just grab really quickly? Sorry, Ben. It's, it's, I want to show you a comparison, the difference. Now, things to point out with your Easy Press. There is a bundle going on here, and I will explain. I'm going to get to the bundle in just a second. But with your actual machine, so uh, ah, perfect. All right, thank you, Ben. So you've got your digital display. You can set how long you're pressing it for. Ben, you're a star. I'm going to show the difference actually. If I just show, you, I'm going to turn this around. So here's the difference. And as Emma was saying, with your iron, where you've got your steam holes, they're cool spots, so they won't heat up. But an iron has a, a certain amount of filaments, and you'll get a hot spot. Don't know where it is. I'm guessing it's here. But it's like an inch by inch hot spot. That's it. And that's your main heat with there. But it's certainly not. You will not get edge to edge heating across your whole iron. So if I was to press with an iron, you're constantly moving around and trying to heat up. And also, do you know how hot? I know you can kind of set, well, it's more cottons, or that's how you set it by materials, but you don't know how hot that will go. With your easy press, you can set the temperature straight away. So we know how hot it is. You are getting that heat edge to edge. So that whole plate will heat up. So when we are pressing down, you know whatever you're covering is absolutely getting covered with the heat. And also, you're going to leave it down for the desired time as well, so you can set those specifications. It will change, genuinely change, how you work. And I've got to tell you, this machine, with you're going to invest in the Joy or the Maker, it's something you will at some point. You don't have to get it straight away. By all means, try your iron. Easy press, as the name suggests, it really will change it. Now, with this bundle, so for an extra £17 on top of the price of just the Easy Press by itself, uh, and got it at the bottom of your screen, that's the price of your Easy Press, £169.99. Today, for the price we're offering, you're saving £45. For an extra £17, you're getting the mat, and you're going to want to use that because we can have that on our craft desk. So you've got your pressing mat. This alone is £24.99. Then you're getting. Now, these are cool. So we're getting our uh, these infusible ink sheets. So your smart ions. So we're getting those, uh, three of those. And then we're getting a tote bag as well. So you're getting your project to do. You've got your ink sheets. And let me just show you the kind of finishes that you can achieve. I mean, it gives you. I mean, that is just a lovely bag in itself. And the tote bags are really well made. Uh, too. It's just something that's a signature of cricket. Everything they offer is, it really is of the highest level. Very good bundle. It really is. And it's one I've, I've got my own actually. Uh, 476480, your item number there. This will change, especially t shirts. If you're going to, and I'm thinking the reason for the maker as well, why I want, I've got my own the maker, you want to achieve that professional look. Imagine customizing all your tops. So, say what I'm wearing here, I can suddenly put something on there that makes it personal. You're going to need this. You will really well. Uh, details on your screen, three flexi payments of 6231. Your item number is 476480, and we are busy for our easy press. Uh, final option for you, we've talked about the infusible inks. Seeing Emma demonstrate them, it's like that light bulb moment. I remember the first time I saw Emma introduce us to him, I was like, oh, these are amazing. So the way they work, uh, this is a bundle for your joy, so they do work with your joy. Um, it's the actual inks. And the inks, the way they work is as you heat them, the ink turns to a gas form and then actually permutates and infuses in the medium that you're uh, sticking down to. And you've also got the pens, you're getting six pens and you're getting the infusible ink sheets as well. And you're getting your coasters so you can jump straight to it and start creating something there. So if you have got the Joy, if you've just maybe bought the Joy bundle or you're looking to uh, get the Joy, it is a great bundle for you. Saving £12, £34.95 your price there, 111770. Enough from me. I think Emma's set for the next demo. What are we going to do, Emma? Um, let's use one of the infusible ink pens this time to okay. draw a design. 
Um, so the way these work is you we just draw onto normal paper out of your printer. So um, like your laser copy paper works perfectly. Um, I've just cut a piece down to pop onto my mat. Okay. And I'm going to let the machine do all of the hard work and draw the design for me. Um, but remember, you can do it by hand. So if you've got little ones and they want to just do a drawing and then you pop that onto a coaster or mm -hmm. a top or whatever, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to let the machine do the hard work. So okay. I'm going to take the blade out, um, pop the pen into the port and close the clamp and then load the mat into the machine and then we will press go and we'll start drawing. There we go and go. And so now it's going to go off on its way and start drawing out my design. Mm -hmm. Um, I love watching it do this. It's really mesmerizing to just stand here and stare at it doing doing its thing. Um, but this is a really nice way to get some quite intricate designs. And then, of course, you can color in by hand, which I am going to do a little bit here, uh, just so we can fill in uh, some of the elements as well. So it's nice that you've got these two options with the pens. Yeah. Uh, but it's important to use them onto the paper so that then we transfer them onto the blank. Okay. So it's drawing away. Um, we're about halfway through the drawing. Okay. And I'm going to put this onto a tote bag. Nice. So I've heated up my Easy Press um, again, the same temperature and time actually for this. 205 degrees for 40 seconds. Um, so that's all ready. So, Emma, it's going back to the iron. You yeah. need to set it 205 degrees. Is it 205 yes. degrees you said? Yeah? Yeah. I, with my iron, I, my iron set, it's, you've got the little dots, so the three dots is at the highest temperature and it says, you know, the different fabrics on there, so you're sort of lighter fabrics, so you've got one dot. So I would not know how to set it to 205. I'd probably just whack it up to top temperature. And it's also finding those hot spots. That's why for me, the easy press, we, you can use a lion, but I would say it's an essential, really, to get, if you want to get, especially with the inks, get that perfect finish. Yeah, well, you'll be hard pushed to find an iron that actually does go up to 200 degrees, yeah. hot enough to use with infused oil ink. So you definitely want the easy press. And when you do use it with um, infusible inks, if you've got any cold spots in, in an iron, you would just get, it would look really patchy and it just wouldn't press nicely at all. So you really need to make sure you've got that constant heat mm. over the whole press you've got infusible ink. Okay, so I've set up my mat again. I've got those sheets of paper on the bottom. Then I've got my tote bag. Now, I'm not going to pre-press this. Um, you'll know if you've seen me do iron-on before, I always do a little pre-press for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do that with infusible ink because if my blank was hot and then I straight away pop down uh, my uh, design, it's going to start working straight away. It might not be where I want it to be. <laughs> oh, okay. So you best to start with a cool blank, yeah. um, position your uh, piece, and then you yeah. can um, make sure you're all in the right place. Mm -hmm. So that's finished nice. uh, doing that. So we'll unload that from the machine. Um, so I've got this Be Kind. I seem to have a brand new theme here today. I don't know how that's happened. Um, it's it's a good Be Kind, but you'll see it's mirrored uh, because we're going to flip it down onto the bag and then okay. it'll be the right way round. So I'll just remove that carefully uh, from my mat. And, what and then I'm just... Carry on. So I was going to say, Emma, what we, with our pens, what we, just to remind anyone who's tuned in, what we've drawn onto, do you need a specific sheet to work with this? Um, just your paper from the printer, like your laser copy paper. Really? And actually, the, yeah, the cheaper the paper, the better, because you don't want the pens to bleed at all. Um, mm. You just want, yeah, your everyday paper. I literally just stole this out of our printer, so next time I go to print something, there'll be yeah. no paper in there. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Um, and I'm now going in with my um, with some of the other pens and just colouring in some of the elements just to add a bit more colour. Okay, um, so you can see that. But what you'll notice is the colours are quite different. Um, so I've got this kind of burgundy colour here, but this looks like a lovely bright vibrant red. Mm. And you'll see when I um, go to press it, those colours really come 
up and look really stunning. It's so like the trans don't fashion. worry if they look. They, they might look a bit murky when you first start with them, but okay. uh, they will come and brighten up. So I just add a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. Of course, normally I'd take a lot more time with this colouring. But just so you can see how you can add a little pop of colour yeah. in here. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to pop that face down onto our tote bag. Like so. Get that lined up. And then I'm popping my piece of butcher paper. Um, that comes in the pack with your infusible ink sheets. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you haven't got it for the pens, um, baking parchment is exactly the same thing. Okay. So pop that down on top. Nice. And then I want to make sure I'm covering all of my design at once. So just make sure I've got this lined up. Pop that down and press the go button. And I'm just going to hold this in place to make sure we get that lovely even press. And I'm not moving it at all, because yeah. I don't want to move my design, because um, that would not work very well. Mm -hmm. Leaving it down. Now, uh -huh. we do have, uh, I know right now, uh, a viewer has an easy press in your basket, and it's easy press by itself, which is absolutely fine. We do have a special bundle on the show and for an extra £17. So within the bundle, you're saving £45. So you're getting your easy press, but you're also going to be getting your tote bag here. So that's your project. You're going to get all three of these. So this is your uh, Joy Smart Iron-On, and you're also getting your infusible as well. So you're getting two Smart Iron-Ons and your infusible, and you're getting the mat. Now, the thing is, with your easy press, you're going to want the mat because rather than putting out... Uh, a board, your know, ironing board, and using it, get the mat to it. Uh, you will definitely use the iron-ons there, so the smart iron-ons and the infusible, and you've got the uh, tote bag. That's all for an extra £17, and you are saving £45. So everything here you will use. It's just something to consider. Um, by all means, if you just want to go for the machine by itself, feel free. But if you do want to take advantage of the show bundle, and this is a special price for the show, your item number is 476480. How are we getting on, Emma? So I'm going to take these pieces away okay. and we'll peel off our paper and then, ta-da, we now yeah. have our lovely design infused into our bag. So that's not going to scratch off. That's totally Can you wash um, it? on there now. So it says be kind and you've got these lovely colours, yeah. um, but you'll see the colour difference between the two. So you'll see that darker oh, yeah. burgundy that it looked like it was going to be. And now we've got the actual colour that the pen told yeah. us it was going to be because right. uh, it's brightened up onto our bag. Nice. Emma, can we, um, can we wash anything that we do with the infusible inks? Yeah, wash it straight away. Um, just as with anything, be careful, go a bit lower temperature on the tumble dryer, but you're good to wash, yep, straight away. Um, yeah, happy Perfect. wear, wash, put it on. Um, and just wanted to show you that it hasn't gone through either. I, you didn't see me protect the inside because yeah. I didn't have to. Um, it's not bled through or anything onto the back. Um, we're just on the front, exactly where we want it to I be. I love it. Busy, really busy for actually everything on the show, from the maker to the joy to the easy press. There is something for everybody. And what I like about cricket, they give us the fun mediums to play with too. Emma is a prime example of somebody who, first and foremost, was a fan of cricket. She had the cricket. Uh, what was your first machine, Emma, that you had? Uh, so I had the Cricket Explore Air. So yeah. we, we don't do that machine anymore. Um, the model before uh, this one behind me. Right. Uh, yes, uh, about five, six years ago. Um, mm -hmm. And I did originally get it to paper craft. Yeah. And as you can see, the obsession has taken hold. <laughs> and well, I now own too many machines to tell you. <laughs> well, I mean, but it's a joyous obsession. And you personalize absolutely yeah. everything. Like From a day-to-day -day basis, tell me, wh when do you most use your, your machines? What kind of projects would you do? Oh my goodness, anything and everything. Uh, so this week, for example, I've added 
uh, vinyl to a mug, onto a vase. Um, I've made uh, oh some shoes. Have I got those to hand? No. Um, I've made a 3D paper pineapple, as you do. Um, <laughs> what else have I made this week? <laughs> like, really, just anything yeah. that pops into my head or anything that I need. I've been making paper flowers this week. Um, just yeah. all sorts of different projects. Well, we've got a... uh, I just love that we can yeah. get them going and on the machine. We've got a quick picture. Uh, this is one of the team, our producer Emily. Uh, she upcycled a desk. She said it was a desk that had seen better days, and now look at it. She said it's made her boudoir fit for a queen. So uh, just showing you what you can uh, personalize it for. Uh, Emma, thank you so much. Time has beaten us, but I always love working with you. Mm -hmm. Give your uh, group another shout out. So anyone at home who wants to uh, join your group, how do we do it? Um, it's the Cricket Club UK on Facebook. And do make sure to do it. Post pictures of your makes, or if you do have any questions, uh, you've got the wonderful Emma on hand. Uh, Emma, thank you so much, and thank you for watching as well. If you do have anything in your baskets, if you're hesitating, have no fear. It's all awesome. Seriously, you will not regret it. Thank you for watching. Plenty more coming up at Hotel. One of the nicest guys in craft coming up next. It's Make It Joe, and he's going to be hanging out with Haley. After that, Lou Withers is back with Studio Lights One Day Special, designed by herself. It's incredible. And then Daisy B Crafts will be here. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work. And at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration.
exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello there and welcome back. Well, we've got an amazing hour again, uh, again, because you, well, again, they always are. As soon as you see that name on, that name on the screen, <laughs> forget where I was, um, and then you know that we are in for a treat. We're going to have a good hour because fabulous Joe is here. How are you doing, Joe? Hi, Hayley. <laughs> so <laughs> all over there. We were just saying, like, it's like people. I've seen people outside <laughs> my house. So it's, um, it's a pleasure to be here, as oh, always. Oh, bless you. No, it's good to have you here in the studio. Joe. And you always bring us a brilliant products. Very affordable prices, as you will see on the screen. I mean, for just £10.99, you can get involved with our first bundle. And it is a bundle because we're looking at a variety stash. Now, talk us around what we're going to get within this particular bundle then, I, I think you hit the nail really there, Hayley. It was about affordability for me yeah. because, obviously, we're all at home. Um, we're all still trying to do our craft, and we want something a little bit different. And people have known from doing the boxes and the stash and variety boxes, this is my little mini pack. I say mini. There's nothing really <laughs> mini about this, to be fair. But... <laughs> It's great because it's, it's your envelope of prettiness, loveliness, there's all sorts in there. So you get 10 different fabrics. The Gorgeous. key is, it is that variety that comes through the door and you will get it in your lovely little envelope which you will see I've hidden a few next to you. You have, and, you haven't even And this is your little in a surprise, while. so there's more there. So this little mini pack of loveliness, you've got so many fabrics in there. And for me, it has been a pleasure to make them. You know, to put all those little fabrics together, there's felt in there, you've got some felt squares, you've got a lovely little handmade charm in there. It's absolutely amazing. You've all got a few bits pieces. of ribbon and you've got the printing sheet. So the Fuserweb calico sheet where you've got in the middle there, Hayley. Okay. That, I've, what I've done there is we've got Easter coming up, little sayings, little pictures on there that we can use in our craft. Not everybody has a printer, so I was very conscious of this. So I wanted to do one of my printing sheets and the calico printing that a lot, I know a lot of people have had a go at is so, so good and we can use it for so many different projects, different makes, but that sheet is in there ready to go. So we can peel the backing off, we can iron it straight on to all our little makes and little details that we're going to have a go to today. I love it. And this is what I, I love, little challenge packs. Quite often you'll see them on uh, Facebook, there'll be a theme or there'll be a project. You've got to use this element, you've got to use that element. Well, I kind of see this as being a challenge pack and some because you've got so many fabrics in here. You can see it over them all laid out. There's absolutely loads in here. The kind of the... Um, the continual with all of these is you are going to get that fabric, um, fabulous um, printed fabric piece which has got the fuser web on the back so you can cut out those elements, iron them in place straight away but then that's when the variety comes in. So you get first of all all your fabulous fabrics, 10 different fabrics, you might get felt in there, you're going to get cotton, ribbon, um, all sorts of different bits and pieces. So things like your grow grain ribbon, you might get some of those in there, you're going to get um, uh, your embroidery thread in there, your little tag, I love the little charm in there as well. So all of these elements you are going to get but these are going to be a variety so you could go for two three four of these and they will each be different because i know joe he will make sure that you've got a good mix when you get an <laughs> yeah, order and i'll have great fun doing it as well do, well this is it should we open up another one yeah go we move for down it. A bit? So, here, yeah this, i think this is the fun bit isn't it i love I it i could see you were desperate to open another one there's so, a lot in here well i can't remember what's in each one so it'll be a nice surprise for <laughs> oh, me well, as well have a look together first of all it is crammed full there is loads in there so 
what have we got? Well, first of all, you've got your fabulous calico piece. Because you know that there's a continual. You're going to get that in any every one of those envelopes you go for. But then fabric-wise. Now, the first thing that strikes me with this is the colour scheme. Yeah, I do you've try... Not, you've not just thrown fabrics in No, here. no, I do. There is some sort of logic to it as well. <laughs> so I am trying to put those fabrics together so you've got a bit of a theme. And you don't know that sort of theme coming through, but they will complement each other. Um, you've got a nice... I mean, that's a love, some lovely rich some colours there as well. Fabrics. Hey, I Big love that. pieces so. of fabric. I mean, that alone could be a piece of um, binding. I mean, you could cut several strips of that and have a good-sized piece there. Yeah, Maybe no, you can definitely. make you know, a small cross. I mean, every single piece of fabric you get there is at least an A4 sort of size. So you okay. know you're getting a good sized piece of fabric and for the mini little makes that we're going to attempt to do today And I always say attempt because you know me oh, bless If the sewing machine works it might work, it they might not They have personalities though in machines <laughs> <laughs> um, Pieces that you can fussy cut as well, I mean this piece here, I mean that would be brilliant You could use the PVA theme, you've got little bunny rabbits on there so Easter themes there You've got the little deer, the little owls in there, you could be using those Good sized pieces, maybe this is going to be a cover to go around a notebook or something like that You can see. You've got another fabric there. You could use one of those other fabrics as a liner, and there you've got one project that you've created for ten ninety nine, and you've still got all the other fabrics in here. There's loads in here. I'm going to, have to move the envelopes out of the way. I think we can pretty <laughs> and much you will cover find the as well, All the fabrics are 100% cotton, but they will be different weights. So you get lighter weights, heavier weights, all sorts of different weights in there. But you know you're getting that natural product in there. Well, this is it. Oh, you've got. Oh, this is a funky one. I like this one. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a real retro in there. Yeah. Again, it all works so well together. 10% of the stock has gone of these. Oh my goodness, these are flying out and I'm not surprised. Whether it's small pieces that you're fussy cutting, whether you're using them as elements to embroider, covered buttons, really good weight. I mean, that one's almost like a canvas weight there. Really good weight with that particular piece. Then you've got your felt. So your felt are going to be perfect. Maybe if you want to do a little bit of a plique on any of these, of course, felt's a perfect fabric to work with that. But again, the embellishments. You're going to get your grow grain ribbons in here. Um, a variety different ribbons you're going to get the fabulous oh that's polka dot on as well your yeah, skeins there so of course if you are doing your applique your raw applique you've got your threads in there ready to go and then of course you've got your fabulous little tag there with your peg and your all important little charm there 10.99 that is an absolute bargain i don't mind saying joe you have really <laughs> been generous with these envelopes now if you wanted to get hold of yours and you want to go for a couple of them then you can do because these are personally picked so of course joe can make sure that you are getting two separate envelopes two different color schemes so this one you can see predominantly pinks and blues and lilacs in there absolutely beautiful the one that we just opened lots of gorgeous yellows and golden tones in there and then you start creating and this is the thing as I say it's almost like a little challenge pack because it's what can you make with it could be that you're creating something like this 20% of the stock has gone love this your little Lily's made this I know yeah so we had a little bit of challenge because we've got another kit on the show and she's made me one okay and I'm gonna make her one a little bit later as well so you're not gonna win the challenge you do know that I, already, I'm not gonna you? win no because she's far competent than me. She's a little girl. So. Yeah, she's a little girl. Exactly, she's yeah. She's Don't win. tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, we are busy, busy, busy for these. If you want them, the details are on your screen. 421578. And as I say, you can go for several of them if you wanted to. 1099, absolute bargain. But then if you want a project, a base project, just like that little organizer we were looking at, then this is definitely the set for you. Because in here, again, you're going to get another one of those fabulous sheets. You're also going to get your hoop, which can form your base for that project or another project. It's up to you. That's nine inches and a nice bamboo hoop as you can see then you're going to get additional bits and pieces so again you've got your little adornments your embellishments ready to get started with these absolutely beautiful again joe very very um generous bundle for 12.99 yeah no and, and i was very much on that line so hayley so there is affordable so when we're at high mean we want those little projects sunday for me is my little project day now okay um, whichever craft it is whether it's fabrics cards all sorts and for me this is one of those little projects that we can have a go at at home um, young or old and you've got your fuser web in there you've got your back fabric as well so a cotton piece that will fill the whole hoop and you've got some buttons, the charm, the printed sheet in there. So it's everything that you can do and combine it with one of the little mini packs and you can make all sorts of goodies. I love it. And you can see there where that little piece has been ironed in place because obviously your panel has got your fuser web on the back, but Lily has added a few, little bit of free I like, motion I think there. she has, yeah. She's no, very wait, She did show me that and I saw it when she made it and I was like, that's yeah. really sweet. She's done really well. You have done yourself proud there. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, Lily. Um, so uh, there you go, if you fancy that one. 634171. Uh, and again, it's one of those ones, if you want to go for multiples of, 
you can do. Now, next bundle that we've got for you, oh my goodness, cotton calico. Now, if you are going to be printing yourself, because of course, this is a technique that you've shown us um, yeah, on the no, shows definitely. before. Yeah, see, the, the technique itself is the calico and your fuse web. So I've got here, I will just show you, so I've got your printed sheets, which are available individual now. So you've got your calico A4 and your fuse web A4. We bond those together and basically creates a printing sheet. So we can pop for our printer with images and all sorts on there. But with the, the little combination of the calico and the fuser web rolls is great because you can do loads of printing sheets on there. What I have done, because not everybody's got a printer, so with this bundle on this show, if you do purchase that bundle, I'll give you one of the Easter printing sheets so you can have a go yourself. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have a computer to have a little go. And also, I've got to throw a little mini charm in there, haven't I, as well? You have. You've popped one in there as well. So that's a bit of a bonus for us as well. So. I mean, the beauty of the printing as well. There's a lovely, The lovely Christine sent me a picture the other day of her late husband, Morton, had done a painting oh, okay, of yeah. a train. And yeah. I think the studio's got it. Yeah, I don't know and if you've got it. Oh, we have there, it ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, look that at is that. a painting is that, that um, Christine's husband, Morton, wow. had done. And that's on calico, so it shows you the detail that you can print. You can print colour, black and white, anything you want on that calico sheet. Well, my mind has just gone into overdrive. I don't know if you caught the show earlier, or the lovely Janie was here, and she had an amazing download with the most incredible artwork on there. All kind of, uh, it was a, a heritage garden was the theme. There was hair, there were crows, all sorts of different elements on that download. You could actually print onto your calico and then actually stitch and embroider on top you of could, it. You so, could, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yep, yeah, definitely. Very envious tough. of these artists. Oh, I, yeah, I can't draw a straight <laughs> line. I'm terrible. Um, 11.99, 10 percent of the stock has gone. It's a popular bundle always is a good one to go for because you just need an inkjet printer um, and then away you go of course do be mindful that if you are using it on a laser printer don't put your fuser web on the back of your fabric to start with because a laser printer works with heat so you're going to find that that is going to be fused when it goes through. So <laughs> you can take these to a carrier sheet. So I've done it myself before. Take your calico, tape it with a little bit of masking tape, top and bottom to just an A4 sheet of paper, and you can feed it through most laser printers. But, yeah, just be mindful that you don't want to put the fuser web on the back to start with. Yeah, so yeah I can explain how I learned that one. <laughs> um, 812514. Now, what about some fabrics? Well, we've shown you some amazing deals, obviously, with the fabrics Joe's been bringing, but we have got a happy hour deal for you. From Material Magic, who Joe works so much alongside, this is a brilliant bundle. You can choose any two half metres of these, and you've got your gorgeous cotton drill. It is an incredible weight fabric, beautiful, and at 12 99 for two half metres. And 60 inches wide. I know. Wow. It's so much fabric. There really is. So it's over a metre and a half width, um, half metre, any two. Amazing price, yeah. as again, that we wanted to mm -hmm. bring today. But the quality of the drill fabric, I mean, you, you know your fabric, Hayley, yes. and you, you're probably more than me. You can feel it. You can see it. It's a great weight. It's a great canvas weight as well. So if we're using it for bag making and things like mm -hmm. that, I'm going to sneak a little bit of it and okay. try and do a little mini make of my version for Lily of the Hoop. Yes because I love it. I think it's so good. It's so strong and durable, yeah. and also there's no shrinkage in it. Well, this is it, and it's also got a nice weave to it. Now, we have had a question come through about stamping onto calico. So, yep. bring the calico back in, and the answer, I don't know, who's emailed in? Liz. Was it Liz? Lynn. I apologise, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Um, thank you for getting in touch, Lynn. Really good question. Um, the calico, she's asked if you can actually stamp onto it, and I've just brought it in. It, calico has naturally got kind of little kind of loose fibres in there, so you will find that you kind of get little lumps and bumps to it, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I mean, I've it. stamped on it before. Yeah, yeah it is good. All. Obviously, you, like you say, it's that natural fibre. Yes. So it will take it. It won't. It will take a little roughness as well. Mm -hmm. So, but it's just be careful on your stamps that your yes. stamp hasn't got too much ink on it. Yeah. Because a bit like if you're using it's a, a marker pen and it, it, it absorbs and it bleeds. That's so just right. be careful on that. Not too much ink and just a level of experiment. But yeah, it's a smooth enough finish. Um, I would say it's no diff no more difficult than stamping onto um, maybe like a linen effect cardstock. In probably less so to be honest because linen cardstock has got a lot more texture to it but if you want something that's the equivalent of almost like you're super smooth then you can't go far wrong with your cotton drill because this is beautifully smooth so you could stamp on the lighter versions of these 
as well. And of course, don't forget if you are working with you, um, your stamps with the fabric capacity and you're wanting to wash what you're making, make sure you're using something like your Versa, um, Versa Craft ink because that will become heat set when you iron it. So uh, there you go. Your fabrics, you're loving these ones. Happy hour price means that our price is going to go up by five pounds at the top of the hour. But of course, until then, you can take advantage as many times and as many different combinations as you so wish. 414. One five eight. If you fancy getting hold of these, Joan, over to you. What well, are we up we've, to? we've got to go for it. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a mini make using the hoop, um, using my Easter sheet, and I've got a bundle here, and you can see there's very much a pink bundle here. Ooh. It was just by chance. So I'm, I'm going to show a little few bits there, and we're going to have a little play with that. So this for me is one of those mini makes that, with the hoop kit, you've got your plain piece of cotton there so you've got a plain base that we can work on but I have actually noticed that there is a pink one in there so I think I'm going to play with the pink all right I'm okay. just going to make sure that my iron is on so I've got a piece of pink fabric Lovely. I'm going to use that as my base for my little picture I'm going to do a picture with this one and not so much a utility okay. sort of for your tools and oh. things like that so um, I will do one for Lily later don't worry <laughs> <laughs> it's like that competition in my house who can craft and we're, we're all all crafting at the moment so <laughs> well, it is great. I know your mum's an avid viewer as well isn't Yeah she? so there's a few little mini mates and my mum's been really really busy and you can see them the, the variety of colour next to me on the desk. I will hold a little bit up. These so can, are fabulous. These are amazing aren't they? I love them. I just, I'm just so tactile but we'll all go into those a little bit later. Okay. She has been a busy bee. So all I'm going to do mark around the outside of my hoop just roughly doesn't have to be very neat just give us a guidance not on the inside because we don't want to see obviously the ink or the mark in there so it just okay. gives us a bit of a guidance of where our area is we'll put that to one side I think I'm gonna use so the large I've cut a smaller happy Easter out I'm gonna use the the larger happy Easter so without cutting into the font because obviously all these bits on this sheet are here to use so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna snip this out roughly and then nice we one will to use your fabric pens on this one as well. Yeah, massively. So we can colour these in, we can embroider on this. We can really let our imagination and our inspiration go wild on these. It's um, so I've got that roughly out. I'm gonna look at that. I've also looked at these fabrics and they are beautiful. So I'm gonna pick a couple. I'll pick that one, I think. Um, and I'll pick oh yeah, this Paisley one is absolutely stunning. And a little bit of ribbon and maybe a little bit of felt. Okay. Obviously, I'm, n I'm always with a little roll of fuser web, so I've always got my fuser web with me, whether it's on a roll or little cut off pieces. Always remember, even the smallest piece of fuser web we can use in our makes. So I've got bits of this everywhere. I'm sure my kids find fuser web in their bedrooms at some point. <laughs> it's everywhere. So I'm going to cut some little strips off. Okay, really simple. Just to fuse onto my fabric so that I can then use them. Another little strip there. Okay, pop that to one side because we will use it. Okay, I find my ribbon's a little bit thick, so I'm going to snip that in half and I'm literally just going to cut it down the middle so I've got a thinner little ribbon. So I'm actually cost control here and I'm using as much as I can out of the little bundle. But you will see with this little make how little I'm actually using for a little inspiration here. And I love the fact that it's one of the, again, one of those projects that we can all have a go at and have a bit of fun with. So we'll put them on to one side. I want to start with, I think, this beautiful piece of paisley fabric. Okay, I'm going to turn it over. We've got the fuser web. So the fuser web, we have the glue side and we have the paper side. You can see on the overhead probably there that it's a bit shiny. So it's very shiny on there. That is our glue side. So we mustn't put our iron on that. We're going to literally iron it into the corner so we're not wasting any fabric. Okay. Like so. There we go. All irons are very different. Obviously, just make sure what you will find is the Gore-Tex, the crisscross of the glue will come out as you're ironing it. Okay. And just have a little peel on the corner. If it's stuck, it won't come off. Perfect. So I'm just going to cut that piece off ready. And from personal experience, don't be too quick to peel that backing back because if it's still hot, then it stands a chance that the, the glue is still active. This is it, yeah. So you will find yeah, when patient. it's red hot from your iron, won't yes, you, that yeah. it's a little bit there. So just a minute or so, so it's not too long to wait. I'm going to do the same with this beautiful piece of fabric here. So I'm basically creating little bits of fuser web fabric that we can use in our mini make, he says, hopefully. So we're going to, again, do the same there. Shouldn't take too much time on the heat now. It's on there. I'm going to cut that little piece off that we can use. 
there we go and I, I love the fact that I'm just using small pieces all the little pieces I'll use for another make at some point okay and I've got a bit of felt there as well we'll do the same so it just shows you the capability of the fuser web it can be thicker fabric it can be felt obviously card wood all sorts of things that we can use the fuser web on to bond the surfaces together now, I know we had a busy show earlier on um, with the cricket and lots of you taking advantage of our monthly mega deal with regards to the, the me well, it's machine of the month, isn't it, should I say. With that one, it does actually come with a rotary blade. So any of these fabrics that you see Joe working with, maybe you, in the last hour you placed your order for your machine. This is a nice set to go for. And at, um, at 10 99 for that fabric stash pack, then it's perfect. All those different fabrics you could be using on your machine. Definitely, definitely. So what I've done now, I've got the little ribbon piece that I've cut. So it shows you how how strong the fuser web is. So I'm going to cut a little strip for my ribbon, okay, I'm going to pop that on there and we're going to iron that on as well. Let's just move those to one side. A little bit fiddly, especially for my clumsy hands, but we're going to pop that down, okay, and we're going to iron it onto the back of the ribbon. Again, it's a different surface, a different weight that we can see that it's still sticking to. So if we haven't got needle and thread and we want to have a little play with it, young and old, we're just getting used to fabric. I know a lot of people are scared of fabric and using it. Um, and I, you know me, Hayley, I will always say I'm never going to admit to being the greatest sewer in the world, but I love it and I love playing around with it. While well, I'm there, even I'm just the greatest iron. sewers do like no sew projects. Sometimes it's a breakaway project and you just want to make something quick and easy. No, that definitely. Looks pretty. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. So we're going to do the same with the other piece of ribbon that I've cut there. So we're going to literally just cut a little snip, a little strip there as well, and then we can start building up our little uh, image, I, I'd say. I won't say artwork yet until it's finished. <laughs> so again, we're a little bonding the fuser web onto our ribbon piece. Okay, just holding it steady. Okay, lovely. Again, the paper side, we must be using the paper side and not the glue side because we will get into a mess and we will get that glue oh, we've everywhere. We've had some fan mail come through for you, Joan. <laughs> That's probably not for me, it's probably for weatherman Joe. No, Yeah, no. he's not here today, this unfortunately. This is from one of our viewers who's had a, um, Gillian, she's had a couple of um, not so good weeks and she's been watching um, her channel and she took advantage of one of your boxes. Oh, wow, your yes. Swag boxes. Yeah, no, excellent. Oh, yeah, okay. so that, again, that was a bigger version, so okay. she's really uh, She was absolutely packed. thrilled. Oh, lovely. Yeah, thank so you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and she loved the fact that the personalisation, there's a little smile. Do you know what? You were the only one that got that. Time, you know, <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> she must have been a purple box winner as well, oh, so I there see. you go. Oh, there you go. That'll yeah, be it Yeah, because I always do it. You know me, Hayley. I've always got my purple boxes, and it's got one here today. So there will be four of these given away on Facebook either tonight or tomorrow as well okay, for okay. any purpose just in the hour. Lovely. So I've got my three fabrics there, lovely designs, loving the paisley, bit of felt and my ribbon with the fuser web on. So what I'm going to do is going to cut with my crocodile scissors, just going to cut some little triangles out, okay, on there, probably about that size, I like that. Lovely. Another one. You're probably getting an idea of what I'm trying to create now, Hayley. Not at all. No. I'm got <laughs> <laughs> And there we go. Another one there, and I'm going to do some out of the fabric itself as well. Okay. These, this is, I mean, the fabrics in these bundles, quite often we've got books or we'll download patterns and get ideas, and you don't necessarily want to break into a large piece of fabric. No, definitely. I've got loads of fabric, but when I'm wanting to create something like a little makeup bag or a, a pencil case or something like that, I don't necessarily want to break into a half metre piece. No, you're, I'll have you're right, Hayley. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Uh, sometimes as well you've just got that amazing little piece of fabric that yeah. you don't want to use but it'd be great for a little bit of make as well so on the reverse i think that's where this mini pack came from that all those beautiful bits of fabric like you say you don't want to use a large mm -hmm. piece you just want a smaller design english that we can paper use. piece in that kind of idea you've got your fabulous cotton weight fabric so you'll find fa several fabrics the same weight perfect for your english paper piecing um, and we've had uh, well we've had we've got a viewer who is a lady after my own heart charmaine <laughs> Charlene, I do apologise, I'm changing your name. Charlene, um, and she's done exactly what I do. So you've sent an email um, saying that you've, you've sent a photo or an attachment, except you forgot to add the picture in. 
That's my classic. I always do that. Oh, see the attachment. And I don't put the attachment on there. So if you can email back in again, and we'll take that picture and we'll show everybody. So thank you for that. <laughs> so you'll see now, I've done my little triangles. I've got my ribbon, nice and rustic looking, on the backing. So this is where we know if our uh, fusel web is stuck. When we're pe peeling off the backing itself, okay, we should be left with just a crinkly piece of paper. And you will sort of feel the... If you rub it, you will feel the fuser web itself there. So we're going to take a few of those off. There's different sizes. This is obviously very much my artistic license here. That I'm just having a bit of fun with. A little bit of playing with different sizes and different designs. Wonderful. There we go. Now don't forget all the elements that um, Joe is working with, with the likes of your fuser web on the back of the fabric. So you can get that bundle obviously in with the calico if you're wanting to get hold of that. Um, and you are going to obviously be able to get more of that if you're wanting to. At the bottom of your screen is the calico bundle there, 11 99 You're going to get your roll of calico and you're also going to be getting that fabulous fuser web. So if you want to create projects just like Joe is working with, then you can do as well. So uh, yeah. Right. Right, Definitely so we're going to have a little in. play. So obviously I've done my template of my hoop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a little play with my, as we can start to see now, my mini little bunting. Oh. Okay, we're going to have a little Phew. play with that. I want to pop it in there. Okay, make sure we've got the glue down, obviously. Oh, yes. <laughs> and a little bit of ribbon there across the top, like so. Okay, and then we're going to get our little iron. And Lovely. we're literally going to iron it all the way on. I'm going to make sure that it is lined up to my little bunting triangle so it does give that effect of a finished bunting on there. Again, you can see, even on the actual felt itself, that just pressing down on that will bond it straight away to our fabric. And oh, make sure that so one's cute. in line as well. Okay, there we go. And then the last one in there, like so. So all of a sudden we've created something quite special with very very little fabric mm -hmm. so i'm now going to get my happy easter element here nice i'm gonna snip around a little bit more obviously we can play around with this at home but i'll make it a little bit more usable and a little bit more attractive than a just a blob going on there getting right into the edge there yeah so we're going to get in there we're going to wiggle it around give it a little bit of feature this is i think you're right Haley. we'll get some fabric pens on these and yeah. paints would be really lovely well we've got obviously if you jump onto the channel website you'll find loads of fabric pens you'll find paints that you can actually use on fabric as well um and of course when you're talking about paints and fabric then you could actually be stamping onto your fabrics as well and charlene guess what she sent the picture in there here you go yeah. she's been stamping on her calico so that helps yeah and i love that this, we're kind of uh, bringing it together viewers have one yeah we are indeed about this is, what, this is sharing the love of craft, aren't Isn't we? Just, uh, yeah. One viewer asking about stamping and another viewer sending in a picture of stamping. So thank you. Keep them coming. Love so the I'm entire gonna, company. I'm going to have a little look where we are positioned. I like that. Do you know what? I quite like the fact if we could peel that off because it's still warm. Sometimes you can Probably kind of not, reactivate yeah. it I'm going to put another iron, one on there. Yeah. So I'm going to peel the backing off. Okay. So again, we know that it's stuck. The fuser web on there. We have a crispy piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that little saying, little happy Easter element is on there. Do bear in mind that it is ink. So if it's freshly printed, don't just pop your iron straight onto it. Just get a bit of old fabric, a plain piece, or a bit of calico, and pop that on top before we press it because we don't want those black stains on our iron and our shirts. And, and also, the, the paper that you took off, you could actually use that. Although you'd have to be careful which side of it you're using, but you could always use that almost like a little pressing mat. The paper yeah, that you came could, off yeah, the yeah. I mean, it, it does get a bit of ink on there and a yeah. bit of mess. So that's why I've always got a piece of fabric knocking around on there. Oh, look at that. I'm going to get, you know, we could have a little button maybe or a little handmade charm. We could pop in the middle there. We Aww. could do all sorts with that. I will experiment with that and do more Love and it. we'll post a picture of it later. But for now, what we're going to do is going to cut out. So roughly cut out our area to our circle. It doesn't have to be neat at the moment. So we're just going to cut round and then we're going to get our little hoop. Okay. This is where I'm concentrating, so my tongue sticks out. And <laughs> I love it. People 
<laughs> and of course, um, go. Joe's got this circle shape from the nine inch hoops that we've got on the show as well. So um, if you wanted to go for, it's kind of a kit that's going to support that lovely little um, kit that we've got with all the different fabrics in there. So this is a brilliant one because you're going to get the frame, um, which is a nine inch frame. It is a usable frame, a workable frame there, bamboo frame that you, I'm sure, are familiar with when you're working with your embroidery. You're going to get that, you're going to get your backing fabric. You're also going to get some, a lovely little selection of buttons. Um, you'll get a little charm. Now, your buttons may vary um, because obviously um, Joe's going to be going into his stash to bring out those gorgeous buttons. So you'll get some buttons. You're also going to get that fabulous fuser web that Joe's been working with on the back of his um, little bunting flags. And of course, your Easter design came from the sheet that you're going to get within that bundle as well. And you'll also get one of those bundles within, sorry, that one of those sheets within your stash pack if you're going for that as well. So very affordable. Um, Joe's working on his project. The lovely Lily has created using hers. Using that backing fabric, as you can see on the back there, to support some of those fabrics that she's chosen from her stash pack. Turn it into a very practical little use. Yeah, like that's that. good. That's going to go by my desk. Yeah. Good or my homeschooling desk, my dining room table, <laughs> my craft table. <laughs> it's all the same place. Yeah, it's all the same place. So I've got my hoops. I've separated them. The one thing I did forget today, and thank you to the studio, they lent me a screwdriver. Because oh, okay. usually I've got an old knife, you know, we get out the drawer and we use yes. a knife. <laughs> so we've got a screwdriver there, we've separated them. I've got the smaller hoop, so the internal hoop, I'm going to pop that down on my mat and we're just going to centralise my lovely piece of fabric there that we're going to do a little bit more to later. I'm going to get the outer hoop and we're going to literally push that down. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice and quickly. Oh, look if at we that. have to open it up a little bit more, we will do. There we go, just a little turn. I want it nice and tight. There we go, I'll adjust that in a minute. And then we can tighten that up. And then we've got the basis of Isn't our le fabulous. lovely little bunting make. That's I feel so I should cute. hang it around my neck. You've come a close <laughs> second, close second to Lily's. Yeah, well, I'll try and make her a more practical one in a short while as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, Joe's been working with some of the fabrics from his stash pack. Now, which fabrics are you going to get in yours? Well, we've already opened up one envelope. We can have another look in another one in just a few moments. But this will give you an idea of what you are going to get. Now, nearly 60% of the stock has gone. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are going for multiples of these because you are going to get at least 10 fabrics they featuring within easy, yours. They do, you they all want more. that variety, that's what it is. <laughs> Excuse me. So you are going to get your felt. So, of course, the felt is perfect if you're wanting to work with those. So you can use those for your applique and maybe use some of your embroidery threads. We've had a request as well um, from Tim. Tim, I'm wondering if Tim... Kim. Kim. I do apologise. I thought you said Tim. I was wondering if it was a Tim that I know who's those, but Kim, I do apologise. So Kim's been in touch and she loves the idea. When, when the packs we opened up earlier on, they've got a very kind of retro, funky look fabric. Yeah. Can you do some retro versions of these? That's a yeah, request well, for you. you generally will find there will be the odd bit in there, but okay. yes, that's something I can look at. And it's good to get that feedback because well, for me, I love it. Packs Absolutely and all love sorts, it. You yeah. know, different yeah. packs and things. Having craft in the family for many generations, obviously my nan, but my mum, she's avid, so we are a massive fan of the retro theme as well, yeah. so we'll have a Brilliant. look at that for you. Good suggestion, Kim, thank you for that. But this particular bundle, very much kind of floral, so you've got loads of gorgeous pink colours in here with your flowers down there. Love this one that we've got over to the side here, that gorgeous kind of teal tone in there. Some of these fabrics, it's hard to tell which is the right side and which is the wrong side, that's the sign of a quality one, isn't it? It's really pretty. All of these gorgeous fabrics, they're ten different pieces, different weights but of course beautiful fabrics within there you're also going to get your sheet now your sheet is printed onto calico this is already done for you and it's got your fuser web on the back so this is all ready for you to fussy cut just as joe was doing early on and then you can iron it in place you peel it off the backing when you're ready to pay and place it down iron it in place with a hot iron and that glue will affix to your fabric you've also got your adornment so you've got some gorgeous grow grain ribbon there with polka dots on there again very much themed to the color theme of your bundle You've got a little peg there with a little tag. You've also got your little charm there, adorable little handmade charm. And then, of course, you've got your embroidery skein in there. So you've got lots there, whether you're looking at doing embroidery or just doing um, fabric painting, maybe, or colouring in with your fabric pens on the panel, making your smaller projects. 
I say smaller projects, some of these pieces are really quite sizable. And Joe's mentioned that um, with the size of these, you're looking at around A4 size with those. There are no little tiny scrappy pieces with these, but it's a nice way for you to have a good sized piece of fabric without actually having to cut in to your fabric stash. If you're like me and you've got loads of fabrics, but when you've got a half meter piece or a full meter and you wanted to make a smaller project, you don't necessarily want to take any fabric off that larger piece. You want to keep it for when you are working on a larger project. When yours comes to you, it comes in a fabulous envelope like so, and it's absolutely crammed full of goodies. So, uh, should we open another one? Yeah, oh, look, no, you couldn't one? resist, could you? <laughs> please, say, please say yes, please say yes. So in this one here, now this one is different to the one that we looked at a few moments ago. So, ooh, obviously you've got your envelope, brilliant, just check it. Yep, got everything out. There are loads in here. Obviously you've got your ribbon, so again your polka dot um, ribbon in this one. Gorgeous pinks and blues there, so maybe you're thinking baby projects, potentially with these, couldn't you? Then you've got your little charm there, you've got your little um, tag, and of course you've got your peg, and you've got your fabulous embroidery skein, so you've got those to start with. Then you've got your felt. Again, four pieces of your felt, beautifully coloured as you can see there, with your pinks through to your deep blues, so we've got those in there. On this occasion we've got your fabulous gingham fabric, and this is almost like a a canvas type, so really good ways. That'd be a nice one to do a little bit of embroidery on as well, maybe a little bit of applique with those felts. Then you've got your florals. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is beautiful. Again, that's a really good size piece. If I fold that in half, add a zip to that, and you've got a really nice size makeup patch or a little goodie bag, and then you've got your lining fabric included with this as well. This is the beauty. Joe has put these together with colour in mind. So he's going to make sure that those elements all come together and work beautifully well together. Isn't that a pretty little ditzy daisy? Again, perfect that one if you're doing your English paper piece in with that small repeat in there. Larger print on this one, but again, those gorgeous florals, they're almost like a watercolour um, style image on there. Beautiful. Again, oh, that's a cute one, isn't it? I like so that one. That's definitely got a bit of retro theme definitely. to that one, hasn't it? In fact, we've got more of that with it. Oh, no, I like a twofer. This fabric, oh, look at that. Very a nice. sneaky little extra fabric at the bottom <laughs> there. I like that idea. Oh, now this reminds me of a certain very kind of English style um, very English designer. Very English country rose, that one, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, this is a nice one as well. Look at this, keep going and keep going with oh, these. Oh, that, that's full that's on retro pretty, there, isn't it? Isn't Definitely. It? Beautiful. Again, lots of pinks, lots of blues within this particular bundle. And again, a lovely one there again with that kind of free motion stitch on there. So maybe you're going to be using that for doing a little bit of free motion embroidery. Again, nice one if you're wanting to make your binding. There's quite a few in here that you could cut into your strips and create your different smaller pieces. Um, covered buttons, things like that. And then, of course, you are going to get your sheet, your Easter-themed sheet. Well, I say Easter-themed. You've got a few little elements relating to Easter, but lots more relating to calendars and memories and um, sewing and birthdays and again you are going to get that with that fuser web already on the back so it's ready for you to cut out to iron in place and away you go that is an amazing bundle for 10.99 all those fabulous fabrics and the additional embellishments brilliant value and proven to be very very popular rapidly approaching 70 percent of the stock so if you're wanting to go for your bundle you may get blue things you may get yellow and kind of golden tones that we saw earlier or you may get your pinks and purples whatever you get you are going to get a fabulous bundle and if you go for multiples then joe will make sure that you're not going to get two repeats of exactly the same theme obviously some of these fabrics may appear multiple times in different color groupings but you will not get exactly the same in two bundles so you've got lots of variety variety there. 421 578 1099 absolute bargain. And a nice little bundle to put in alongside this is the bundle that Joe's been working with. So you're going to get another of those fabulous um, printed calico sheets with more of those elements on there. Again, fuser web on that as well. You're also going to get some of the fuser web of your own. So if you want to apply this to the back of the fabrics that you're getting in your stash pack, you can do. And then you're going to get obviously the nine inch embroidery hoop that Joe's been working on. These are brilliant if you want to to paint them and make a feature of them as well you can do that quite easily your backing fabric which is going to support the fabrics that you're going to be working with and then of course you're going to get a selection of buttons that may vary from these ones because obviously um, there's a lot of these kits going out so you might not necessarily get exactly the same but you will get your fabulous little elements and your gorgeous little charm with this one and again team it up with the fabrics that you're getting in your stash pack and you could be creating something incredibly practical like Lily has made here, making use of that fabulous peg there, as you can see. 
Love it. So um, it's 634171 if you're wanting that one. 12.99. Add it in alongside your fabric if you're wanting to. But of course, we've been uh, chatting a lot about calico. Now, this is a duo pack, so you're going to get a roll of your calico. You're also going to get your fuser web. And they work really, really well together. You've got, is it a metre and a half on each of metre these? metre and a half on each roll. That's a lot. There's a lot in there. That is a lot. And there's, it's lovely because what you've got here, you've got the width. I'm just going to bring in this piece of board because that's an A4 board. You can see slightly larger than your A4. So if you are popping it through your printer, you may need to trim it down. But it means that you have got extra there that you could be using, stamping on it and using it in loads of different ways. Um, and, of course, the fuser web. You can put the fuser web on the back and then print if you're wanting to. But if you're working with a laser printer, as I say, put this onto a carry sheet. Use a little bit of double-sided, well, not double-sided adhesive because you may find that that will melt. But, um, yeah, using um, a low-tack tape with that. Um, 11 99 if you're wanting to get hold of these, both of them coming together. It comes with your instructions so you know exactly how to work with your fuser web. And, of course, it comes with your fabulous little charm that you're going to get included in there as well. Um, and it's a brilliant one to go for. If you wanted to stamp, stamp for perfect, dyeing it, painting it, mixed media, you are going to be able to use it in a whole host of different ways. And because you haven't got too much of a texture to that particular fabric, perfect if you do want to stamp on it as well. Obviously, you're going to give you that printing sheet. Oh, yes, of course. That's and the little mini charm. You can't have... Well. You can't purchase something without having a mini charm today. Well, the today. mini charm is I mentioned the mini charm. I forgot <laughs> about the sheet, and I've pushed the sheet in. I can't get it back out Yeah, again. I'm just I, very conscious, Hayley, that obviously not everybody has a printer at home. So point. just to have a little bit of font, a little bit of detail that we can use and that we can have a go with uh, and use those in different elements as well. Love it. There you go. So uh, 812514 you wanting to take advantage of that. I'm going to leave that out, then I won't forget about it next time. Um, happy hour. What sort of time have we got left on our happy hour? This is the thing. About 20 minutes left for you to take advantage of this deal. And we're looking at a fabulous deal where you are going to choose any two half metre pieces. Could be two repeats of the same if you're wanting to, or you can go for a mix and match of these. Now, they are 60 inches wide, so it's kind of like a metre and a half wide with these, and you've got a half metre in length. And it could be any of these, even including the fabulous camouflage that we've got in three different colourways, as you can see there. Then you've got your fabrics in your solid colours, and cotton drill is a lovely fabric to work with. It's got that weightiness to it, so if you are wanting to create projects, you can still create things, obviously, to wear aprons, things like that, absolutely perfect. But um, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of this, just £12.99 for two half metre pieces. 414158, but the price will go up by £5 when we get to the top of the hour. So, Joe, what are you up to well, next? before I go into the lovely garlands, okay. and I know my mum's going to be desperate to see them because she's been <laughs> so busy with them, bless her, I thought I've got to quickly make Lily one. So we're going to make Lily's little uh, tool here as well to put okay. all her bits and pieces in using the drill cloth because she loves the camouflage and it's so hard wearing. So if we're putting scissors in there or anything, it's yeah, really going to last. Point. So all I've done is very quickly just draw around the outside. So I'm going to snip that out very roughly just to show you so how simple it is to make something that is a really nice little make, whether it's for a gift, whether when we can, we'll be selling at fairs or mm, for charity and things like that. It's, it's a really simple and quick make where we, if we've got a sewing machine or hand sewing, we can use it. If we haven't, it doesn't really matter. We can have a little play, obviously, with the fuser web. So all I've done is going to cut that out. There he says. There we go. Very rough there. And earlier what I did, I'll just run through. You can see on the overhead there, a straight stitch. So I've folded over to create a hem. Okay. If we haven't got the sewing machine, obviously, I've got another little piece here. So we'll get a little bit of fuser web, okay, and we will pop that on the back. There we go. That was good. Good Ooh, guessing. Oh, that was clever. Yeah. Wasn't it? So we're going to fuse that to the back. So being a, a stature of man that I am, I generally have to turn the trousers up. Oh, so okay. the, the fuser web is great. I was for that. worried where we were going for a moment. <laughs> then I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so they've either got to turn up or they've got a bit of fuser web on there. So I'm going to pull the backing off. Okay, and we're literally going to fold it over to create our hem, like so. So if we haven't got a sewing machine or, you know, we struggle with the sewing element, but we want to use that fabric, again, we've got that lovely edge there, nice and clean edge, a hem ready to use. So we're going to use this in our very quick little make. This is for Lily's little tool station. So we've got the inside of our hoop. 
I'll just shake off the threads there and we'll pop the, the fabric, the lovely camouflage, absolutely love this. I'm going to get my other little tab there to create a little pocket across the middle, like so. I'm going to get our outside hoop and we're going to pop that around the outside, pushing it down. If we need to open it up, we'll open it up a little bit, it says, just about. There we go, one more turn. I'm going to pop that in the middle. Oh, there we go. One more push. Needs a little bit more. And the key is that this fabric is so strong, so the drill fabric is so strong that if we're going to put scissors and pens and things on that, it is going to last. Okay, one more turn. I want it nice and tight. There we go. It's going. It's going. There we go. Look at that. We're going to tighten that up. Okay, really You've got simple. a lot of fabric in there, especially on the turn, the pocket. You've got multiple layers there. Yes, you have. So, yeah, yeah, so we'll take it. I'm just going to snip those bits off around the back, just so we can have a little look at it. I'll tidy it up. Okay, and then instantly there, what we've done, this can hang up above our workstation. Nice little pocket where we're going to put our scissors in there. Okay, so we know where they all are. Brilliant. Really nice camouflage one. And I know it is a simple make, but I know Lily will like that one. She, she still would. Yeah, I know. <laughs> to be Sorry, honest, guys. it didn't matter what you made. It could have been gold plated and she still would have yeah, won. Yeah, she is the craft master in my house. Exactly, so there I'm you go. As long as you lie. know your place, Joe. <laughs> um, now, of course, Joe has brought us these amazing bundles. They have been flying out. They are now limited in stock. So we've tried to get hold of more of these. We can't get any more. The stock that we've got is it. So if you've been waiting to get hold of yours, now is the time to do so. We are coming to the end of the hour. And of course, if you have just joined us, you are going to get 10 fabulous fabrics within your bundle. Or it's going to get your fabulous felt, which is brilliant if you want to do things like your applique. And then you've got your little kind of stash builder um, here where you've got your fabulous printed sheet. Now this is printed onto calico. You've got your fuser web already on the back, which means you can fussy cut those elements, trim around them, iron them in place, I can't get hold of it, um, and then of course they are ready to go. So you haven't got to put your fuser web on the back. We have got more fuser web should you want it with the details at the bottom of your screen. Grow grain ribbon on this particular occasion, we've got pink and purple in there, polka dots in there, really, really pretty. And you've got a thread to complement the colours within your pack as well. You're also going to get your little tag, you're going to get your little peg in there, and also your wonderful little charm. Now, the contents of these will vary with regards to your fabrics, but the consistent thing is you're going to get that fabulous sheet that we've been looking at and then elements to complement the grouping of fabrics that you've got. But your grouping of fabrics may vary. So that one is very much a pinky themed, but we opened up an envelope earlier on and got lots of blues and pinks in this particular one. So some gorgeous printed fabrics. The fabrics with regards to these are going to be at least A4 in size. So we're not talking about little tiny scrappy packs. We're looking at pieces that are going to be usable pieces for your smaller projects, things like your um, little I don't know, pockets and it might be a case that you're doing a little bit of um, English paper piecing so you'll use some of these pieces, binding, edging, um, piping, all those different things where you don't necessarily want to cut into your larger pieces of fabric. So that was one of the packs that we opened. We opened another one and got a different colour grouping because you could go for three of these and get different groupings within each of them. The consistent thing is you will get obviously your grow grain ribbon, your embroidery threads and you will get that fabulous felt all very much in keeping with the style that you've got. You've actually got four sheets and you've got your grey there as well. I'll just move that out of the way. Then this one has got some beautifully retro style fabrics in there. Absolutely amazing but you're going to have to be be quick. £10.99 is your price, but they are limited in stock. 421578 if you're wanting to get hold of these. Not got a lot of time left, Joe. We've got about nine minutes left. What are you up okay, to? Okay, so I've got to go to these, haven't I? Must I must say, look at you. Look at this. That, I mean, this is stunning. This is something that um, I have to thank my mum for because she's been super busy as well. This is one of those crafts that I say that you know, it's hard at the moment at home, I know that, but also that when we've got a little bit of time, we want to do a bit of craft, but we don't want anything too serious that we have to put a lot of thought into. Yes. We want to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And for me, this is one of those projects that 
we've got our little pack obviously we can use yes. with the felts and the fabrics or our little scraps that we can combine and what's left are these beautiful garlands they're so so simple to make you've got a big purple one it's behind you there as well here. this one Absolutely. i think that one took a lot of man hours it's like an alternative style of bunting really, it is isn't, isn't it? it but it is one of those that we can go for as long or short as you want with them you can just extend them keeping those color themes in there it doesn't matter about the cutting as well so if we just want to cut little shapes you've got this beautiful one here and um, this is a lovely green one and this has got like little flowers all cut together i absolutely love that i mean that is stunning this one here this is my attempt it was a bit of a multi-colored one so i, I like will take it. that one off so there's felts and fabrics in there all combined it just really, for me, there's a little bit of colour there, a little bit of fun, and they're so simple to make. So in the pack yourself, as you've got uh, your embroidery thread, so a little bit thicker in there. So I've got a little bit here. You can see, been busy with the little circles here. I've used a pink theme here. I've got fabrics, I've got felt in there. And what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to grab a little button. I'm going to pop a little button on the end just to stop it. Okay. Okay, just to, I don't want to lose them all and we can sort it out later. But this is again, I'm just going to show you how simple it is to make something and it's something that then this can be my Sunday project. I love it. Keep you know, out of so trouble, Joe. Finish. Keep you busy for hours. It would um, do. Now, the stash pack that we've got on the screen, just to let you know, technically they have sold out now. So if you've got them in your basket, you need to check your basket out to ensure that they will be on their way to you. So uh, thank you to everybody that's taken advantage of those. I'm sure Joe will be back with them at some stage, but obviously there's a lot of these <laughs> were available to you, and he's got to get them all ready and prepared. So no extended stock on this occasion, but do make sure you tune in the next time that we do see Joe here, because you never know, he may well have brought them back at that point. Of course, this hour we have got that that fabulous happy hour deal that um, Joe um, has obviously mentioned about the quality that you've got with regards to your material magic and with this one you've got a whole host of different styles now is it 21 different 21, 21 different options, yes, yeah. 21 options including your fabulous camouflage you've got your three different cam um, camouflages there as you can see so you've got your traditional camouflage there with your dark greens your black and um, obviously your brown tones in there then you've got more of a gray version and then you've got a real bright one which I love this one with regards to your, um, nice, your blues. Blue, there. Yes, nice one, that lovely. one. These fabrics, they're cotton drill. You could be using them for trousers if you wanted to. Obviously, weightier trousers. You're thinking about kind of like um, canvas style trousers. Well, you know, canvas style. Obviously, it's canvas fabric. But you know what I mean? Workwear. Love the day glow that you've got in there, that bright tone. So it could be that you're using a um, splash of that with things that you're creating, maybe little tabards for the kids when they're start, starting to school, walk to school and things like that. But all of these are your choices. 21 different choices all on the same item number with regards to these. So, uh, yeah. I She's think the key is with, without the shrinkage. Yes. I find a lot yeah, of fabrics and I will, I will experiment with all fabrics I get and I do wash them to see what we've got. Mm -hmm. But with those, you haven't got to do that. That's a good point. So actually, it is yeah, ready to go. That, yeah. So, you know, aprons, perfect. Because yeah. then again, you've, you sew it and it's ready to go. You yeah. don't have to get that allowance in there for the shrinkage lovely to work with Love it. i'm getting carried away here you are. You're getting i'm just sort of <laughs> getting carried away you can see on the overhead though straight away that within a minute i've started to get my little theme there and what i'm going to do with this during the day and tomorrow i'm going to finish this off and because i've made some bigger well, i say i made some bigger garlands <laughs> mum thank you she made some garlands as well we've had fun making them i want to make this in to a little charm bracelet. Oh, that's a nice idea. So just a smaller version, and we've got to put our little handmade on there as well. So oh, we'll pop that little charm. handmade charm on there as well. So we'll try and get that finished over this evening and tomorrow. I will be busy, obviously, getting those lovely packs out, but we'll give that a go. Lovely. Love it, love it, love it. Now, we have been very, very busy with regards to the fabrics, obviously, that Joe's been bringing to us. We're busy with the happy hour as well. But we have been busy with your calico bundle. Um, lots of you taking advantage of this one. And it's kind of one of those, it's like a, a bread and butter item, I would call this, because it's something you should always have in your stash. Because if you want to trial products, you can use this as a, a backing when you're working with things like the hoops, obviously, the size of it, perfect for your hoops. But also, when you're sewing as well, you can use it as a lining because the quality that it is is perfect for that wonderful for stamping on wonderful for drawing on printing on coloring mixed media using it in a whole host of different ways and you're getting a meter and a half of that one 
on your roll there. So that is one half of your bundle. The other half is your fuser web. And this is brilliant because this is where you've got your heat activated glue on the back there. So that is um, okay to iron onto any fabric. So it could be on the back of your calico, could be on your fabric if you did manage to get hold of one of those fabulous stash um, by, um, packs as well. So again, brilliant, a metre and a half on there, plenty for you to work with. And you are going to get your instructions with it. Now you are also going to get, obviously your, your little sheet that we've been talking about that you're going to get that included so you can craft with that one as soon as it arrives as well and of course that fabulous little charm you're going to get one of those little handy charms in there as well so 11.99 um 812.514 if you wanted to get hold of these We've got about three and a half minutes joe there's a challenge can there you make go. anything let's do, in that let's time? go through it i was just having a look there so we've got some fuser web We've got some of our lovely pink fabrics and the envelope. So what our mini pack comes in, say. obviously it's got that cardboard on the back. So just quickly to show you, I'm going to cut a piece of that off. I'm glad you're not using your fabric scissors. No, I'm not. I'll get told off. I've had a few people tell me off if I do. <laughs> it's okay to use your fabric scissors on the fuse web. Trust me. Okay. I've done it for years. <laughs> mm. So I've literally just snipped a little bit of card off there just to show you what we can do. We're going to bond our fabric onto our fuser web. Let's move those out of the way, not lose those because I'll need them this evening. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to pop that down, pop some fuser web on the fabric like that. There we go. And we'll do exactly the same with another piece of fabric there as well. So two pieces there. No, no five minute makes here then Hayley, three minute makes. Three minute makes. We're three minute we've makes. got cutbacks. Very, very quickly there. Okay, a little bit of card. I'm just going to make sure that it's slightly smaller than the actual fuser web size. Okay. It's just to give us a bit of rigidity. Yeah. It's a big word for, I'm a, for a Tuesday. Okay, and we're going to pull that back in off, so the fuser web off. We're going to pop that in the middle, like so. We're going to do exactly the same on the other piece of fabric. Okay. There we go, pick that up. So, Find the edge. There we so go. So you can fuse onto card as well as So fabric. onto card as well. I'll get rid of those little bits, fluffy bits there. <laughs> Before I use the iron, I've just cut a little bit of ribbon here. So I'm going to snip the top off here with my crimping scissors. Let me grab those. So we've got a nice finished edge. Okay. Like that. I'm going to fold over a little bit of ribbon. I'm going to pop that in there as well. So it's either side of the actual cardboard, like so. So the fusing agent obviously will work just the same on our cardboard. We're then going to iron that all down together, like so. There we go. We're going to get on here. We've got on our little words, we've got books in there, I just noticed. Oh, now I know where you're going. <laughs> so we're going to snip that out. Okay, very easy. Obviously, I'd spend a bit more time if I was given more than three minutes. Well, you've got a minute now, mate. <laughs> a minute, there we go. <laughs> so that's going to go on there. Remembering not to press straight onto the ink. I want to pop that on there. Going to get my crimping scissors, my crocodile scissors. Okay, just to finish around the edge. Lovely. It's all bonded together. Now, just as you're doing that, Joe, when are we due to see you back here at the um, time? I'm not sure. I think it's a couple of weeks. Lovely. Yeah, a couple of weeks. I will be back with some we'll more look goodies. Forward to that. And okay. we got some lovely new wool fabrics from my Ooh. friends at Material Magic. So I'm really excited about those as Definitely. well. Definitely. So then instantly, very a quickly, little a little bookmark using the card from the envelope. So it's nice and rigid Love with it. a little font on there. I'll pop that in my book. Fabulous. Joe, thank you very you're much. You're welcome. So there you go, what an amazing hour, so many projects and of course if you did get hold of that stash bundle then of course you could be making projects just like that with Joe. Make sure you're checking out your baskets though, it's been a busy hour. So it's one day special time, so penultimate hour with lovely Lou, so make sure that you stay tuned for that one. Then I am back with the Daisy Bee Crafts Girls, looking forward to that hour, before we do a little bit of embroidery with Common Thread. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words.
Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows on Hachanda, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows on her channel. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Well, hello, everybody. A hey, warm welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If this is your first look at the one-day special, you're in for an absolute treat. If you have seen previous shows, do stick around because I'm joined by the fantastically talented Lou, who is going to be showing some great demos. Lou, hello. We, we will show. Do you want to show everyone you a little trick? Oh, yeah. Right, ready? Oh, that way. Yeah, right. That way? That's right. one look. So we figured out, Lou, it's, it's <laughs> two different looks, two different styles. That's the um, only way I can get away with wearing black, look. Yeah. There you go. Got that. Um, with this release, now this is Lou's third release under mm. her own name, just Lou, and my goodness, have you got it right. Oh, thank you. Well, um, we, we people were, love it, yeah. Well, we were talking earlier on, 
the you know sometimes with a big collection I'm going to talk about the one day special but everybody's been going for the big collection normally with a big collection you have your absolute faves that you jump to straight away Absolutely. The thing with this collection the collections my favorite no so there's nothing in here and when you consider what you are getting the most amazing and I really not bigging this up on Julie the most amazing background stencils that you're going to build on then you've got your uh, dies, you've got your stamps, we've got journaling stamps, we've got rice papers, we've got cardstock, we've got um, your die cut block, all of those included. And you're seeing it here as an absolute feast for the eyes. We're already getting busy for the complete, the details for the complete at the bottom of your screen. Can I say very quickly, and this is just for the benefit of anyone who's putting the complete into your basket, it is such a good way to go, and I'll tell you why, two reasons. If you have got the complete in your basket, and this is the only reason I'm talking about this now, please don't pay full price. You're better off becoming a Freedom member. Uh, you're saving more money as a Freedom member. It covers your Freedom membership. You're uh, in total saving as a Freedom member is 58 pounds and 77 pence. 58 pounds and 77 pence. It works out per element, and there are 24 elements. Uh, Three pounds 67 per element. For instance, Lou, this hour is going to be demonstrating. Here, you've got a journal die. Yeah. That, if you break it down uh, within the big collection, that works out as a freedom member. Three pounds 67. The stamps that I'm about to show you with the one-day special here, three three pounds 67 per stamp. And when you see it that way, Lou, it just clicks. It does. It does, and that makes makes you understand. Can I go for it? Yeah. Or am I better to go for the whole thing? And that makes sense then. Well, I, I, I kind of had that eureka moment when we uh, kind of broke down the price. I'm going to tell you, we have got one day special. Now, you can go for the options one day special. That's absolutely fine. You're saving five pounds in each. Any saving individually with regard to, because you can break down the complete collection into the two one day specials and then all the other items individually. All those savings are already factored into the price. That's why with the complete, I say as a Freedom member, you're actually saving in total uh, 58 pounds and 77 pence. Three flexi payments. 70% of the complete is gone. It's where everyone's going at the moment. Lou, before we get ahead of ourselves, yep. just talk to me about your inspiration for this release. We're going to bring up the details for the one day special. There are two options. We'll start here, but I know with every time, every time you bring out a release, you like to tell a story, you do a lot of research. Yep. So what, what prompted you to bring out this release? Well, research gives you ideas and inspirations. And sometimes you just get an image and you think, I think, where does that come from? How does that work? Where, oh. blah, 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 blah. And then that inspires you to do more and more and more. Yeah. And inspiration finds you when...